What happened? Uh, well, if only I was just streaming it. I got killed by a dude. Right, let's uh, let's have a little drink of my... God, that tea tastes like shit. That is not the best cup of tea I've ever made. TRMZ Love. Uh, Goon Squad, thanks for the nine months. Predator, Liz, uh, thank you very much. Hobnob, thank you for the resub as well. Whiskey Tango, cheers again, dude. Guys, thank you very much for the support. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you. All right, what do we have here? I ran all this way to check this picnic table. A long horny. I'm horny. Horny, horny, horny. There's a boat there. That would imply I'm on the side where you can go to, uh, you can go back to the island where I just fucking died. It would imply I'm on that side. Very nice sabotage. Uh, Predator Crow and Goon Squad. Liz, uh, thank you again. Cheers for the resubs. Also, Glow Aqua Art, thank you for the follow. Uh, I don't know what the name of the mod is, dude. It's called Boaty McBoatface mod or something, but I don't know. I remember Sorry. 21 a long time ago. Had my first brandy from a snifter. Now I don't drink. Just a heartless. I learnt Dear R without using an external map, but I've got a lot more time than you have, so that's a very subjective thing. Daisy Diards will say don't use a map, but anybody that's got half a brain would say do what you think is best. You're not you're not destroying anything if you use like I survived to, to to navigate your way around. You know, just do whatever you feel. You could try it for a few hours without a map, play for ten hours or so over a couple of nights, three nights, whatever. But if it's not working for you, don't do it anymore. You know, just just use a map. Don't feel any don't feel bothered by it. Like do what you want to do. It's completely fine, you know. Leto, uh, I think it would be a good idea as a beginner to start on vanilla Daisy, like no mods, just to get a little bit of a feel for the game, just at first, you know, 20, 30, 40 hours, whatever you think's best. But uh, you can do that without going on official though. Some like servers, for example, like Spaggy servers, S P A G G I E. He has some Chernerus and Livonia servers that are vanilla. They play like vanilla. But they're in the community tab. So whilst you can get hackers in there, they're much less likely. You get a hacker in a server like that, they get banned really quickly. Uh, so you're not likely to see too many issues. Owen, thank you for the 21 months. Cheers for the support. I'm still not entirely sure if I am where I think I am, but I'm going to go there. I don't think I am. I think if I go this way, we're going to hit Stonington. I am. I'm not where I thought I was. Oh, well, let's go this way. What do I think is a good amount of time for a Daisy session? Well, I'm going to answer that as a streamer, Barney. I'm going to say six hours or more. Like, when I used to play before, like three, four hours was a decent session, you know, like... Before I was a streamer, I was starting at 9, 10 p.m. and playing till like 1 or 2 a.m., you know, like if I was lucky. Uh, I think three or four hours is... If you're playing with like two or three or four hours, you're doing okay. But it's not a game you can pick up and play for 45 minutes, really. Unless you're like, well, I'm on the way to the airfield and I'm half an hour away. I'll move myself nearer for tomorrow kind of thing, you know. Go on, thank you for the resub. Uh, Rave Man, thank you for the resub too. One year plat badge is upon you, thank you. And Gringo, cheers for the raid, dude. I hope you had a good stream. The mouse can occur a slightly less time in time intensive. I agree, Kempers. But if you're starting the game, I really think it's a good idea to start on Cherneris. If you're new to the game, start on Cherneris. If you're not, play wherever you want. 
And the only reason I say that is Chernarus is the OG map, but also it's a really good map to learn on. It's it's a really nicely balanced map in terms of travelling in the map, starting somewhere where there's usually a well, a few bits of loot on dead zombies that you kill yourself and whatnot. Chernarus is a really good balanced map to start on. Cheers, Gringo, dude. Thank you. Uh, guys, if you click on uh, Gringo's name, uh, you can give him a follow if you wish. We He's the dude we teamed up with the other the other week. Uh, strangely enough, on Cherner, strangely enough, he was called Gringo. See how we go. Am I running to the ocean here? Well, I didn't mean to be running to the ocean. Oh well. Looks like we're going to Stony Balls. The nice thing we're going this way is we might, if we're lucky, find a boat, I suppose. Yeah, this is kind of on the way towards Stonington. We'll we'll carry on this way. I might stay on the coast and then we can go... Uh, we can keep going this way. I'm really frustrated about that, Death, to swim all the way to Alcatraz. I should have had my gun out, really. There's no there's no sense in not, but because it was only chambered, I'd kind of just thought, well, I'll keep it away. You never know. They might hold you up or not kill you or whatever, but uh, I should have had my gun out. I still would have died, but... You've got that one chance hip fire. You might just land a uh, you might just land a shot that knocks a monk on. Did I see the men's Wimbledon final? No, I was streaming. I was streaming while it was on Guna. Uh, the chat were updating me. I'm pleased Alcaraz won. Uh, it was kind of a cool result, but yeah, no, I didn't see. It. I did have a vest. Yeah, I had a uh, a camouflage press vest. So I had the second best vest, well, except for the defender, but kind of second best. You missed magic? Yeah, maybe. Well, I know I know so from what I heard, but uh, I'm not the hugest of tennis fans. I've watched like, quite a lot over the years. Like, back in the day, I, I used to watch tennis like, when Jeremy Bates was playing and like be like all eager. Jeremy Bates was like Britain's number one tennis player for a very long time and... He used to sometimes get through to like the last 32 or maybe even the, the last 16. Uh, but that was as good as he ever did. But, but the, in the halcyon days of uh, Greg Rosetsky and then uh, t Tiger Tim and whatnot, on to Andy. Uh, get to get to almost glory support if you're watching tennis nowadays, you know, compared to how it was. You can always watch it back. You can, but I, I don't. I, I can't really do sports if I know the result, you know. It, I don't really like watching non-live sport, but for example, if it's Formula One, sometimes I'll watch the highlights if I've managed to not know the results. But if I know the result, I can't I can't spend an hour and a half watching something knowing the result. It's like watching that Titanic movie, you know? You spend three hours like like basically enjoying the bit where you get where where she gets painted like one of the French girls. But you spend three hours just sitting there going, when's it going to sink? 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 Fucking hell, he could fit on there. There's room for both of them, you selfish cow. And then it ends. That's basically the Titanic. Uh, cheers for the support, Anonymous. Thank you. A whole year. Hope you are well, Captain. It, well, it doesn't matter whether it's a good match or not. I, I don't... Like, an enthralling match. I'm sure it's good to watch if you're a hardened tennis fan, but I, I've always been the same. Live sport or no sport for me, you know? The, 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 the drama is in... The, the drama is in the... Uh, is in the not knowing, you know? Like, like, if I was watching that live, I'd be rooting for Alcaraz, and I'd get a real buzz when he wins, you know? It, you can't root for somebody when you know who's won, can you? You know, that takes away... Sport is all about drama. It's not like sexy time, you know. Like, 
if you do it right, you're going to orgasm, right? But getting to the orgasm is a lot of fun. You know, it it's not like a spoiler, is it? It's, it's like, it's, it's kind of what you're aiming for. But when you're watching live sport, you're not aiming for the crescendo. You're, you, it's all about the journey. What the fuck? She's juking me, she is. Yeah, I, I don't really like watching sport if I know the result. Like, if, like, Liverpool beat Man U 6-7-0 or something like that, let's say, then I might watch the highlights on Match of the Day. But Match of the Day is so much more... Like, imagine this, right? You know that Liverpool win against... Let's make a fictitious result. Liverpool win against Man City 6-0, right? And you know they've won it that way. You'll be, like, chuckling. Ha, ha, ha. Fuck you, Guardiola. Ha, ha, ha. Fucking shake your money. No, not today. But when you watch it, you know. But imagine the highlights are on and you didn't know the result. And you're watching it and then one goal goes in and two goals go in and three goals go in. You'll be creaming your pantaloons, won't you? You know, It's much more exciting when you don't know it's going to be 6-0. What team do I support? Liverpool. Hiltzy, yeah, I know, I know they did. That's why I then went on to talk about City. I don't want to stir the pot. Do, 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 do. you reckon there'll be a boat? I'd like to find a boat at Stonington. That would be good. Gribbly, if you're really interested in that, I, I tend to remember, like, I, like, at the end of a fight, for example, I'll, I'll have, like, a vague thought about how it went. And I, I think from my gambling days... I'm, I'm normally pretty good at storing what I think, if that makes sense, and forming an opinion. Like, now, I, I lost a lot of money gambling, but I used to have a good picture of things, and the reason I lost is I was putting quite a lot of money on, like, fucking massive outsiders in the end, and I won some as well. I got some really big wins, but I lost a shitload of money gambling. Don't gamble anymore. But uh, gambling's mug's game anyway, isn't it? You know, everyone knows it, but a little bit of the weekend for fun, so what? Uh, anyway, yeah, if I watch something, I, can tend, I tend to kind of... Remember the headlines, if you like. For example, like, Deontay Wilder, not Deontay Wilder, Delian White versus Anthony Joshua, I feel the next one is closer than the last one. I, I, I feel like Joshua doesn't believe he can fight anymore. I, I feel like he's got no confidence. I, I think beating Dillian White could restore his confidence, but I feel like he's a bit shot to pieces. He's a bit like a rabbit in headlights kind of thing. And I, I fear that Dillian White might beat him. I don't think Dillian White's as good as he used to be, but I don't think he'll need to be, you know. <clears throat> uh, futurism, thank you for the 12 months. young Larry Fishburne. Matrix 1 Fishburne, let's have you. They're very colourful around here, aren't they? Oranges and reds. I'm on Twitch's carousel, very cool. I do go on the carousel. I was looking at my, uh, I was looking at where my viewers come from the other day and it said, I had not prepared a rehash song to serenade you with, so instead this Floridian will thank you for turning me to Yorkshire Gold. Starts me every day now. Ah, very nice, God Troll. I'm, I'm in. I'm drinking some right now myself. Cheers for the support, God Troll, dude. Thank you. Yeah, I was looking at my where my views come from on the subject of the carousel, uh, and it said 51% of my views came from the Twitch front page, and that scared me. I was like, what the fuck? Am I getting 51% of my views because I'm on the Twitch front page? I was like, what? 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 That, that scared the living shit out of me. Thank you. That's okay. 
Uh, but I then looked down at the bottom and it said 1% of my views were coming from the carousel. So I get 1% of my monthly views from the carousel or slightly under 1%. <laughs> the front page just means people come to Twitch and because they follow me, they click my icon. Like, not the carousel, but the level down, like people that you follow. People find me from there. I believe you pilot a joke, Belly. Pilot. Pilot. I didn't see the joke, but you pilot. Anyway, that was an interesting story about carousels. Oh, someone's gone to Katadin. Someone's in Kamuk, as people like to call it these days. Have you heard that a Discover feed is coming to Twitch in October and storied at some point? Uh, Kempers, I don't do a good job of reading the Twitch update, so I haven't really, no. Stories. Catadin is a long way from Stonington. I could make it before the doors close, but I have no intention of making it. What's the point? We've got bigger fish to fry. Can someone explain the siren noise to me? Yes, there is a door in the north in a secret underground military base. That's like in a mountain, a big, big mountain. Mount Katadin. You're meant to pronounce it Katadin. Anyway, when that door gets opened, it sets off a siren. And then the door stays open for about an hour and a half of real world time. And then it closes, but it's a really cool underground base. Ebram, uh, I don't know. I, I don't like that comparison because my gut feeling is the answer is uh, eerie. And people don't like that because people like to idolise what's come from before. Uh, but I, I think... I, I, I think his height and his speed... And his ability to take a punch might have... But you just never know, you know. Peak, peak, uh, peak Tyson was insane. But he fought all of the best boxers when he wasn't Peak Tyson, in my view. Like, the best boxers he fought were people like Lennox Lewis and Evander Holyfield and Riddick Bowe and whatnot. And he was fighting them when he was spent, you know. He, didn't, he did beat some very good boxers when he was younger, but his best opposition were the ones he lost to. You know, like, I'm not sure Peak Tyson beats Peak Lennox Lewis. But I'm not sure if peak Tyson Fury beats Lennox Lewis at peak either, you know. It's hard. It's hard to know. <laughs> Torres or Suarez? Suarez. Apparently Discovery is going to be a vertical video type thing. Focus on streamers you may like, so not ones already followed. That's interesting. I don't think it'll do very much. I think it's hard to say, but I, I think it's interesting that they're trying to work on Discovery. A lot of people have Discovery as an issue with Twitch. Uh, but I think the reality is that, much like if you're opening a shop or a business or something, it's on you to get discovered, not on Twitch. I, don't, I think people have it the wrong way around, person. Could be wrong. Uh, Hot Pocket, thank you for the three months. Cheers for the support. I really, really appreciate it, dude. Thank you. I don't think there are any boats spawning around here, but we might as well have a look. It's kind of cool. Badly damaged, that's great, is it? The boats work, Deckard, yeah. I, I, I really find it hard to do that whole uh, cross-generational comparison thing. You know, like, like, in my opinion, the, the best football of all time that I've seen with my own eyes, on the telly at least, is Diego Maradona. 
people much older might say Pele, people much younger will say Ronaldo or Messi, you know. And, like, there's no way you can judge. Like, somebody that's, like, like, tossing himself off silly over how good Ronaldo is, that's maybe 25 or whatever, would maybe feel differently if they were 45. And, and you can't really compare because the times were different, the way people played were different, the, the the technology was different in terms of preparing for matches, the size, of the weight of the ball, you know. Comparing somebody like Stanley Matthews to uh, Ronaldo is just, you can't do it, can you? Gunnar, I haven't seen a lot of news the last couple of days, to be honest. I haven't seen a great deal of news, perfectly honest. I had my head firmly burrowed in... ...in... ...not the news. I agree that Ronaldo was the best player of his time. I think Messi's better than Ronaldo, personally, but again, it's subjective. There's not much in I think Messi's also won the World Cup as well. Ronaldo has two World Cups. Well, if you if you mean uh, if you mean uh, the striker, I, I presume when he said best player of his time, I think he meant Cristiano. But it's all personal opinion. It really doesn't fucking matter, you know. You you might think uh, you might <laughs> think David Batty is the best player of all time. You know, you're entitled to your opinion. My missus brought me sandwiches up a while ago, and I've not eaten any of them. I'm trying, but they're falling apart, they are. That's not a criticism of her, it's the fucking gluten-free bread. It's on the turn. a motorbike. I think somebody used it to come and get a boat. I think I'm about to get shot. I'm going to be able to get through there. said he would, he would like to manage Liverpool, would you sack Klopp? No. Guardiola is probably the best manager in the world, but he's been the best manager in the world with the best cards, you know. He's he's always winning the poker tournaments, but he always gets the best cards, you know. Klopp, Klopp, Klopp wins some poker tournaments, but he doesn't have the best cards. Wyatt, thank you for the 27 months. Really, really appreciate it. Dude, Hot Pocket, thank you for the three months as well. I'm finally gonna play PC Day Dead soon. Any tips? Any tips? Uh, have fun. Don't get annoyed. 
if at first you do, re do a respawn, I try again. Well, this is definitely a death coming. What motorbike caps out at 40 kilometers? Well, I can make it, I can press shift to go quicker. But because it's running low on fuel, I'm not pressing shift. It's time to start running. Hello again, old man. Hello, hello. Dicky fucking bastard. Memphis, thank you very much for the 20 months. Really, really appreciate it. Wyatt, thank you for the support as well. Ooh. You're a fucking liar, Wyatt. Not you, Wyatt. Different Wyatt. Uh, cheers for the support, guys. Really appreciate it. Uh, no, I don't need that one. That's four of those I've checked now. Four and no loot. Ah, oh, I'm not looting that. They're fucking night. There's never anything in night, is there? Uh, Memphis, thank you very much, Wyatt. Thank you again. Hot Pocket, cheers for the support also. Where's that one gone? Went uppy. Uppy, uppy. Did I check downstairs? Yes, I did. Memphis, thank you very much for the support. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Did I hear it's your birthday soon? You did, dude. It's my 38th birthday on Friday. I won't be st streaming. Uh, so, yeah, no, no stream. I might stream on Saturday, but I doubt it. I don't normally stream Saturdays, obviously, but I might be streaming this Saturday, but maybe I won't. I don't know. Snake man? Why am I the snake man? I know. I don't know if I do death. Who doesn't love a good square number? Let the dear isle self-flagellation continue. TRMZ worth it, man. I don't think I'm somewhat reptilian. I'm interested in adopting a 29-year-old man. No, only only someone that's 28. Sorry. Num 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 num. No, only someone that's 28 with the name of that that guy. Aki, happy birthday, dude. Right, there we go. I go that way or do I follow the coast? I think I might follow the coast. See if we can take this puppy to Paris Island, why not? Yeah, 
he is getting paid a lot of money for uh, for two seasons, but he's possibly the best football player of all time in some people's eyes. And a lot of that money is coming from companies that are getting... Uh, the companies aren't doing it for the goodness of their own heart, you know. Apple are paying some of his wages, I think, aren't they, along with other companies, you know. They're doing it because of how much benefit it gives them, so it just kind of shows the value in things, you know. Way more people complain about how much Lionel Messi might earn compared to how some, like, financial guru that's a quadrillionaire or something, you know. Num, 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 num. Of course, it's obscenely large amounts of money, but he's going to make it back for the company's paying it, you know. You might need fuel. I'll go as far as I can, and then it'll, and that'll be that. It's still going to save me a lot of time. Boat. I thought I could hear a boat. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. There's a lot of zombies. I need to finish my sandwich anyway. <laughs> Try and melee them, Paul. It's the best way. Good advice. No worries, Jack. Thanks for tuning in. Dude, dude, thank you very much for the... Let the dear old self-flagellation begin, yeah. Right. I finished me sandwich. I only stopped here for these two things. These two here, they done spawn some stuff sometimes. Like a new backpack. Got one of those many weapons that's good for killing zombies as well. Do I think Victoria Beckham put, ever puts a smile on her face? I've got to be honest, I don't think any spend any time of my life thinking about Victoria Beckham, positively or negatively. It's just not something that's ever concerned me. Well, it's not. She's not. <laughs> got to keep on running, but I am too fat and lazy to do so. In the club. Just try walking instead. That's what I did. Alright, fuck these zombies. Let's carry on. Hudley Orc, thank you for the 16 months. Uh, cheers for the support, dude. Thank you. Keep keep running. Try it. Yeah, keep at it, dude. You'll be alright. Or well, try to. Apparently, she eats the same meals every day. Well, I do that. Chimkin Pitters. Think about leaving everything behind and start a new life on DRI. 
Of course, you could take your family with you. Have a great day. Yeah, sounds legit. I could take the bike over the trike, but no, I'm going to stick with this. I know it's nearly out of fuel, but I don't care. As long as it gets me close to Paris Island, I'm kind of happy enough. There's a cool summer camp over to the right. I should probably go there, but I can't be fooked. Honey Badger, you would be at a disadvantage if you can't hear sounds, especially when you're getting shot. The visual aids when you are shot would help a little bit, you know, now they give you a visual aid when you're shot. Trying to run him over, but it doesn't seem to be working. Anything to avoid melee, right? A spare knife is actually okay. Hot tub stream at six subs. Hot tub stream at six thousand subs. Well, I already hit seven thousand once upon a time, so you missed it. I've already done two. And for the seven thousand one, I did a hot tub stream in one of those mankini things that Borat made famous. At one of those mankini things, but both of my gonads were either side of the string. Uh oh. Uh, Tasty Placenta, what a name, Jesus Christ. That was worse than what I just said. Raven, thank you for the very long resub, dude. Holy shit, thank you. Kiro, thank you very much as well. Cheers for the four months. You're not really potato, I know it. If you've currently got the semi of shame, everyone knows it. What's my longest resub? I think the longest anyone can be resubbed is 98 months. There's a couple of uh, people that subbed in the first few days of me being a streamer that are still subbed. Oh yeah, 98 I think. Uh, I don't think bears de-aggro, dude. If it's aggroed on you, I don't think they de-aggro. I could be wrong. And if you're staying prone and the bear doesn't know where you are, it will leave you alone. It will just carry on doing whatever bears do, you know. Searching for picnic baskets. But yeah, if it's aggroed on you, I don't think they give up. Eating porridge that's either too hot, too cold, or just right. Interesting, Gringo. Engaged bear hacks, eh? That's the best gun I've got. I 
And it's not even the only gun I've got. <clears throat> I don't really want to go to... Uh, I don't really want to go to the thing in Medili. I, I really don't. In fact, should we... Uh, I don't really want to go to Paris Island. That doesn't get me any closer to doing the temple, does it? Am I far from the temple now? Yeah, fair ways. I could make it, but possibly be a struggle if the bike runs out of fuel. Oh, I should have checked that, but never mind. Does Thor's hammer actually do anything? Yes, it allows you to get into an ice wall that you can't get through any other way. Hi, Dell, dude, you're right, man. Oh, you're, you're sticking with the first one today, hey? Blimey. Any streamer event coming up? Yeah, there's a. Uh, there's a. Uh, well, I can't remember what it's called. Ariana's hosting one of the uh, Skillisti Island battle videos. War of the Survivors, it's called. There's a War of the Survivors video. Uh, sorry, video. There's a War of the Survivors event coming in August, but I didn't get in it. The day the day for entries was when I was going, taking my missus, mum and kids up to see uh, my grandma, my mum's mum. My kid's great-grandma. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I didn't get back until it was too late and I was like at the end of the reserve list, so I just pulled out of the reserve list. To be fair, it's on a Saturday, which I don't normally do, but I probably would have tried to switch things around for that, probably. Uh, tasty, thank you again, dude. So, I've got the sound really, really low down at the moment, but... Kind of makes sense. It's so fucking. I think I'm going to try and get the bike somewhere close to the temple and see how we go. Someone's probably already in and camping it, but I haven't got any food. The only, the good thing is though, while we're doing this, we're burning next to no energy, are we? So that's good. Does the bike possibly have fuel in the inventory? I, I haven't checked, have I? It could have. When it runs out, I'll check. I don't think it will have any fuel, to be honest, but... Oh, you're right, I do have food. Yeah, I've got several cans of food. It was because my knife was badly damaged, but I just got a screwdriver, so... Yeah, I've got plenty of food. You're right, I have. I've got, like, three cans, four cans. Yeah, I'm not seeing very many deer on Deer Isle lately. I'd seen a lot in the past, but I'm not seeing them very much now. I wonder if I should have gone right there, you know, that might have been quicker. I also wonder if I should have took that. We are still making progress though, this is going to run out of fuel at some point, but it's so much quicker than the bike. Yeah, I don't have anything to fill the, uh, I don't have any container, so the gas station's no use, is it? I don't have any water bottle, cooking pot or anything to, or jerry can. So yeah, petrol stations are no use. Uh, Lost UK, thank you for the follow.
Running Man's to collab with Street Hawk. Used to like that show. It wasn't as good as the A-Team or Knight Rider and whatnot, but it was alright. They always give you a little bit more than, than empty, don't they? When the tank's empty, you can normally go a bit further. You get another 10 or 15 miles just on fumes, I reckon. I actually need to get on the train tracks now. gap in that fence. I think the train track's just on the edge of the town somewhere, but it looks like we're going back to the town. I didn't really want to do that. I think the train track's actually to my right. I think I might have got that wrong, but anyway. Let's face it, we're running out of fuel any second, it don't really matter. Right, this is good, the train track's coming up somewhere, isn't it? Any team ups this week? I'm only playing tomorrow, so my stream week this week is only three days long. Yesterday, today and tomorrow. But I am playing with Amish said tomorrow. Yeah, I wanted to be on on these tracks though. That sucks. Right, we'll have to go outside the wall. This is starting to take a little bit longer than just going on foot would do. The way we're going. Oh my god. <laughs> Meant to do. Gamma is still on, yeah, I've been driving, but I can turn it off now. Blank screen for a second. If you hear a crashing noise, it wasn't me, okay? I need to go left. Ah, oh, what about here? Can I fit through there? Cheers for the support lost and Big Mac. Thank you. This is a mod. This is a motorcycle motorcycle with uh, sidecar, but it's a mod. It's not uh, not something that's in the regular game. It's a mod. It works really, really well. It's based off a car. So it's modded like it like it's a car, even though it's got three wheels. Neko, yeah, no, I'm st I'm still smarting about yesterday's one. Uh oh. This sub cost me one hundred and thirty nine dollars. I'd rather give it all to you, but the wife needs her knick knacks in two days or less. <laughs> Anyways, thank you very much for the support, dude. Thank you. 
<laughs> and now I understand the cost of Twitch Prime and what you buy with it. I, I didn't understand at first, but I, it was pretty obvious, really. I'm a bit tired this morning, to be honest. I've been up since 5.30am. Uh, I had to take the missus for a hospital appointment this morning. Uh, and it was early. And so yeah, it's going to be a long day today. That's why the title says maybe not 12 hour, because I... Yeah, I might be like a fucking zombie by about 10 p.m. tonight. Hackers, hackers, thank you. It's all good. Yeah, it might, nothing major. Neko, the two biggest chat. Well, there's three actually. There's one on Deer on uh, Deer Isle that you know about. Obviously, there's one on Namalsk where you're trying to print a 3D. Go to a 3D printer and th print a special suit which allows you to go teleport to an alien planet and survive there. Those are the two most common ones. And then there's an also another one on Banoff where you can find an alien cannon, a scope for the alien cannon somewhere else, mags for the alien cannon somewhere else, and also an alien suit, like an armour. Uh, so yeah, they're, there's the th they're the three main ones. There was also a cool one in Istek, but I don't think Istek's up anymore. Yeah, Livonia Bunker is not quite the same level, though. But you, obviously, Vanilla Livonia does have their bunker with a keycard, too. I think I'm. I think I'm probably going to die doing this. I sincerely doubt. Well, I can't believe the petrol has lasted. To be honest, but I sincerely doubt we'll make this. There'll be somebody here. Hello, hello, friendly. Hello, hello. I'm friendly. No trouble needed. Hello. Actually got bullets for the Marlin. This is cool. And it conveniently timed. It does probably mean that somebody's inside the thing though, so we're probably about to die. We're basically gonna take this loot and then go and get killed inside the thing. good condition rope but that'll do I'm not fucking around
probably sucker. Come on. I hate the way it does this. I hate the way it does this. It's really fucking annoying. Friendy? Hello? There's a guy there. There's, there's loot on that dude. Can't loot him. So somebody else has come through. That's from a while ago. There's campers in here somewhere. Or whatever. Two people went through close together and one got killed. Unfortunately, he's right in the middle. There's no way of looting that, dude. Oh, no. That sucks. You can get properly stuck in here. Thankfully, we're not properly stuck. Again. Right, so we've got an ACOG scope and a Marlin. This is fairly powerful, this Marlin. I'm not sure exactly how much damage it does, but it's pretty decent. <laughs> Take the ammo for your pistol. Ah, oh, well, too late. Why can't they loot the fella? Because he's in the middle of... You can't loot someone that's swimming unless you can stand on him. You have to be able to stand on a rock or something right nearby. You've been washing for two hours and have not, you've not seen anyone. Well, I got killed 58 minutes ago by a player. Uh, so I'm calling bullshit, dude. You ain't been watching for two hours because I got killed 58 minutes ago. But if you've uh, if you've not played Daisy before and you think you should be bumping into people every five seconds, it's probably not for you. Uh, black eye, black iron, no, uh, black Ryan, sorry, or however, whatever it is. But yeah, you uh, if you can't pick the hammer up, it's because you bugged. You have to log out, log back in, then you can. Yeah, I held a guy up as well, but that was on the that was before that. But yeah, I held a dude up before that too. And even in Stonington, there was a few shots and whatnot. But I wasn't trying to find people. I didn't have any gear. I was trying to avoid people, you know. I wonder how long before me these guys went through. <laughs> Thought I had a suppressed shot then. Yeah, 
Diral still says work in progress on the uh, loading screen, but the creator's done a little bit of work on Diral, well, quite a lot of work on Diral, to, to smooth out how it works with the new player controller, where the, 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 uh, the inertia and things were changed. So it's had some update recently, a couple of three weeks ago, which is why it's got more people playing it at the moment, because of the update. I hate this bit. This bit gets you very often. Oh, fuck. Come on. Yes, there we go. I'm scared of going left there now. It is what you need to do, but I've gone left there and sort of been kicked down and died, didn't I, not long ago. You get stuck in an impossible uh, glory hole. So we know there's players here. At least one, possibly more. I didn't have the uh, the jump through alert message turned on. But if someone comes through now, I'll know, but who knows. trying to go as quick as I can to give myself the best chance to catch up with the people but you never know with this but I think most people are going to know the quick route to go like we're going now this is the quickest route pretty much to get there but most people are going to know it you know it's not a secret anymore but there are a few places like here where you might just catch up with them I hate this bit. This bit coming up is quite scary. How to deal with hammer campers. Uh, cry when they kill you, I think is probably the, the honest truth. If people are camping the hammer, all you can do is look around for where they might be. If they're on the other side or something, you're in trouble. But all you can do is keep your wits about you and stay still. But the biggest problem is that the, the hammer sometimes bugs out and you need to relog, you know, so if you can't pick it up, you're going to have some trouble. We might already be past them. The people that we, the people that came here, we might already be past them. Probably not, but we might be. Right, the bits I hate are coming up. First one is this one. You have to vault that, and that little gap there makes me think I'm going to fall every time. And then the next one is not is the last one. This one coming up now, this one gets me every fucking time as well. It's horrible. Alright. If you fall, is it death or broken leg? Depends how lucky you are. We The, the other day I had three other people that were here, uh, randomly. And one of them fell there and they died. But if you fall in the right place and you're full health, you'll probably break your leg but survive. Uh, cheers, P MP. Thanks for coming in. Hope you're good. Cheers for tuning into the video.
What's worse, break, breaking your leg? I'd much rather break my leg and still be here. The heal time for a broken leg is way less than the time it will take you to get back here. Never noticed that table there before. Well, it wasn't worth the bother, was it? Uh, Pennywise, thank you for the resub. Uh, just for the support once again, dude. I don't know. I wonder if we're past them. They might be camping the. Uh, they might be camping the hammer. Cute, don't, don't, uh, give me a false sense of security, you know. I can soon fuck this up. Nice. How are my monitors are set up to do that? I only have two monitors, Reggae. I've got one monitor for the game, second monitor that runs OBS. I also have my stream labels alerts on there, so it, it tells me when I have a Streamlabs alert, like the one that just went now. It gives me like the the recent history of those. But inside OBS, I just have a chat window on the left-hand side of the window. So the first third, nearly, of, of my monitor, not all, not completely top to bottom, but the first third widthways is the chat. I just focus on it a lot because that's kind of how I've built built my stream, you know. Interactive stuff. Marky, yeah, I wish I'd played the Daisy uh, the up map, but uh, unfortunately I was so strong in the Deer Isle adventuring I never got to it, but I would like a go, yeah. Uh, Kuru, thank you for the six months. James, thank you very much for the five months. And Shmee, Shmeh, thank you very much for the four months too. Hero, right, cheers for the 20, dude. Thank you very much. Starting to wonder if perhaps we're ahead. I do have a very nice outfit. I am basically a new spawn that found a motorbike and came to the temple. <laughs> the only reason I've got this Marlin is I saw a dead dude. Rice, rice, baby. I meant to go back and check the dead guy to see if I could get his boots, but when that zombie made me bleed, I was just going to go back. I would, when the zombie made me bleed, I thought, fuck it, I'll just take that bleed and go into the uh, temple then. But I wanted to go and uh, see if his shoes were better, because mine are damaged. That's not ideal, is it? What happens if you do the ritual on the motorbike? I don't think you would be able to. Even if I could, you'd just be stuck in water when you came the other side. <laughs> 105 for a bang average midfielder. You're definitely not an Arsenal fan. I think Declan Rice is, is a pretty top-class holding midfielder. I, I think that's not true. He's he's had some amazing games for England. He's been a very important player for West Ham. I, I think it's a lot of money. Uh, I think if he was not English and he was coming from, I don't know, Germany or something, he'd be 60 or 70 million. But there's always an English player tax, dude. Everyone's paid it. I don't know who you support, but if it's Man U, you certainly played the English tax on Harry Maguire, didn't you? You know, Liverpool have certainly played it for, paid it for Andy Carroll, you know. 
just the way it is. It's, it's never going to change. I think I'd, I'd be very happy if, if Liverpool had Declan Rice because they need a holding midfielder and he's a very good one. Well, Kane hasn't signed yet, but uh, I'd, I'd be happy to see Kane go to Bayern Munich. He deserves he deserves to be a, a club that's going to potentially win things, you know. Be in the latter stages of the Champions League again. I think it's a shame to see him going to Germany because it'd be nice to see him in the Premier League still. But as a Liverpool fan, if he stays in the Premier League, I think he's going to Man United. And I'm glad he, if he's going to Bayern, that's much better as a Liverpool fan because I feel like... Uh, United with uh, Harry Kane is a much, much stronger United. I think Andy Carroll at, uh, at Liverpool was kind of like a... Uh, what up, Davey Dave? It, it was kind of like a, a Route 1. Like they had like like a way of playing in mind with him up front. They also signed, uh, they also signed Suarez, I think it was, in the same transfer window, so... Despite the fact that they signed Carroll, they, that was actually an incredibly successful transfer window. The same January, they signed Luis Suarez. How do I think Spurs will do? Uh, I think they might struggle. I, interesting with the new manager, but I think Spurs are going to struggle until they've got somebody else in charge and not Daniel Levy. So Bosley looks like a very good player. Those tapes are always deceiving, but he does look like a very, very good player. Don't die without a gun in your hands. I'd never do that, dude. One thing about Suarez was his hunger. He was a very hungry player. Yeah, he really got his teeth into the game, didn't he? What's my favourite segment of the Dear Isle PVE? I think the Temple probably is my favourite. The Crypt is very, very close. The Crypt, possibly because it's more of a challenge. The Temple is easy. The, the Crypt is really quite challenging, especially on your own. Right, how many... Uh, I've got two strips. I need to try and find some more, really. I wanted to have a quick look in case some fucker was coming. Jay Swizzle, thank you for the 25. Rad, uh, Radios, thank you very much too. Why can't the Vanilla Rads, uh, mops, Mads, sorry, Vanilla Maps have shit like this? Well, Livonia's got the keycard and the bunker and whatnot, but the devs themselves for the regular game are bound by keeping it in the spirit of the regular game, you know? Teleporting into temples with blood sacrifices can't be in the vanilla game. It doesn't make sense, you know. That they, they can't do that for the the way the game is meant to be. It's not a fantasy game, you know. It works great for modding, but like they're doing it. They've done the gas zone in Livonia. They want to update the. Uh, they want to update uh, Chernerus Northwest Airfield. They may well put something similar in there. Uh, sorry, I called it gas zone in Livonia. They've got the gas zone for both Livonia and Chernerus. They've also got the underground bunker on Livonia. They're redoing the Northwest Airfield. Maybe they'll put a bunker on that. You never know. But they've got to keep it within the realms of what makes sense for the game. And Namalsk's teleportation orb or this having a temple that you can teleport to makes no sense. 
I always do the same way back. I do now, yes. Now I know the way to go back without hurting yourself. I always go that way, yeah. How old is this knife? Not very old. Maybe an hour and ten minutes. Maybe a bit less. Hour and ten, maybe. Sorted. Uh, Parker park One, thank you very much. Right, we need to have a bit of a loop round and try and find the... Uh, try and find all the tables. I've got to find as many burlap sacks. Ideally, I'd like to find enough to be done. What I really need to find is eight... I need to find eight burlap strips. That would be amazing. So that, that's kind of my aim at the moment. That's actually really good. The struggle to find one of those at times is uh, real. Right, I am going to leave something here. What can I leave? I'm going to leave that there. Because I'm going to see that again in a minute. I'm not going to be sure if I've been there or not. Scary, well, I hope you're the men, dude. Hope you feel better soon. Hi, Paul. The first watched your YouTube last night. I'm sure that character has a great future ahead of him. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, no, no doubt about it, dude. You know it. Cheers for the support, man. Cheers for the bits, Regan. Thank you. Uh, Jay Swizzle, thanks again. Oops. <gasps> Might be a risk taking there, but it'll be alright. Right, I I do need to go FK right quick. I need I need to go uh, coding. You can let your own. You, you can let the emotes decide which which code you think, but I'm, I've got to go for a code situation. Oh, nice! Two! Two is definitely better than one. That is very cool, right? Look at that. If we can get a few more of those, we'll be, we'll be fucking laughing. Uh, he spilled the beans, literally. <laughs> Uh, shit, two people just came through. Oh, well, ideal time to go AFK, I'd say. Right, be back in a sec, guys. Won't be long.
Uh, I wonder if we could get to a point where I could kind of cover the, the hammer. I doubt there's any steps around here. There's no gravel. If that's what you think you're hearing. Paddy, thank you for the resub. <sighs> the hammer respawns, so there'll be another. Oh, I feel much better. Got one hammer per restart only? No. We, we were here the other day and another one respawned in about five minutes with no restart. The restart used to affect the card, but it, never the hammer. Yeah, two people came in before I went away, Iceberg. Yeah, I saw that. So we, we need to keep an eye out for those guys, for sure. Well, Legions, this time it's true. <laughs> Usually it's not, but this time it's true. Here you go, good sir. TRMZ love. Right, there are more of these things. There's one over the other side coming up. There's one there. Look, let's go and get that one. I've got to try and get more of these. I've got four burlap strips, which is a good start, but we need another six. That's quite a few more yet, isn't it? We need, we've got to try and find as many as I can. Put all my AK bullets in there. Yeah, well, you don't need to jump on the great scoot, as I finally worked out once chat told me. There's another one there, too. Another person's just come through, so that's three. So there's three people in here. We might hear some shots in a minute if those guys decided to wait in camp. Oh, I've prematurely released once more. This is good, so now we're up to six. We need four more. <sighs> guys, English in the chat if you can, rather than the, the German. At some point, if there's a mod knocking around, then you might all get purged, so just be wary, okay? Boom. Alright, let's just make sure there wasn't another one back here. I don't think there is. Uh, Mr. Derp, I ate Mr. Beast chocolate from Asda. It made you fart. Whoa, thanks for the uh, review. Two stars. I ate. I ate Mr. Beats chocolate. Two star review. I I saw a uh, I saw a headline. I didn't read it, but I saw a headline that said, "I only made one hundred and seventy thousand dollars for my video, and it cost me three million dollars to make, or something like that." About one of Mr. Beast Beast videos. I I I don't know why we're meant to feel sorry for him. <laughs> I think he's quite a wealthy dude. He gives a lot of money away. To be fair, he, he's a, he's an all right dude. I'm not trying to shill him out or dig him out or anything, but. If you've got three million dollars to spend on a on a YouTube video, I think you're doing okay. I thought you can only be teleported at night time. And that was only 170,000 in like a day and a half or something, you know. Uh, just Jay, this server's got a short night cycle, so even when it's day, it's still before 6 a.m. So the sun's coming up; it's not actually like fully day yet. You can teleport between midnight and 6 a.m. But it goes light about 2.30am. 2, 2, 2 Nearly close to my earnings. Yeah, that's right, Shropshire. Cheers, belly dude. Take it easy.
Ah, oh, you set of bastards, you. There's another table there. Let's hope there's some on that one. So we've got we've got six. Was this where I was shot from? I don't know, dude. I don't know where I was shot from. It was either over this side or it was like on the same thing in the temple with me. Right, now we're up to seven. Seven is definitely one more than six. Am I planning on playing scum later, Crookender? No, I'm not. I enjoy scum, but I kind of, I feel like, if I'm being completely honest, I feel like I'm better off saving scum for when it's a sponsored stream because it will have more impact. If I keep, if I start playing scum re regularly, uh, it, I'm almost like shit myself in the foot for the sponsored stuff, you know, so I'm, I'm better off not doing. And I'm not going to lie, I prefer Daisy as well. I know, Daisy's my favourite game. That's, I have no shame in saying that. It doesn't make scum bad. I swear you better practice before the... No, I'm not going to, am I? Pretty obvious I'm not going to. What's the burlap sack need needed for? Ken, it's needed for a, uh, a, a surviving on an ice sheet. You can make a ghillie suit and combine it with bear pelt and make a, gear, a bear ghillie suit, not a gear belly suit. What's practice? Yeah. Do I think a game that will come along that will draw me away from Daisy? I do. I think it's likely to come from Bohemia. I do think there'll be a, a sequel to Daisy or something along those lines, and I'll probably get drawn into that. But uh, I, you never know. Dead Matter might come out and be amazingly fixed and absolutely epic or something. But I feel like the most likely way I'm going to get drawn away from Daisy is from a Daisy sequel, you know? Maybe Armor 4, maybe Armor Reforger a little bit, perhaps. Bum. Bum, bum, bum. There's less of these tables on this side, and I need, I still need, how many have I got? Seven. I still need another, uh, another three. You can get them all here, it's just having the patience is the thing. Patience is not my strong suit. However, if I don't leave here with all ten burlap strips, I'm going to be looking for fucking ages otherwise. There's at least one more there. Oh, there's two. We only need one more and we're set. Yakety, it might be fairly close to fastest. Yeah, the, the one from... Uh, it's probably not my fastest. The other day, I got killed at the temple. And then spawned back in and ran back to the temple. Like, that was probably my quickest. It, and that was on foot, but it was probably on a par, roughly, with that. Right, so now we've got nine. I need one more. Let me get one more. Oh, come on. It could be here. It could be right fudging well here, couldn't it? Come on. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Yes! Oh, my God. That is good. Well, the, the, the leak that suggested Daisy 2 was in development is actually from 2021 Melasis, so it might not even be that early by now, but it's a, it's a leak that I don't have a whole lot of faith in, so... We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, I don't know, Viking. I think this whole thing is a hard enough challenge. I think, uh, like, there was somebody dead when they spawned into this place. There was two. There was clearly somebody already here. There's now three players in here already. I, I think uh, I, you, you're right. It's kind of not too bad to go around and get ghillie suits, but 
the ghillie suit's not that hard if you go to Katadin. Even if you stay on the top, you can normally get it. Like, just on the top and then going down towards where the door is closed. You, the ghillie suit is not the hardest part of all of this, I don't think. But you might be right. But I, I personally feel this is hard enough, you know. I've been trying it two and a half weeks now, roughly, and I've not done it yet, you know. I had some incredibly unlucky runs, but I think it's hard enough for me, personally. Am I going to get Stalker 2 when it comes out? Probably, unless there's some bad timing, you know. I, I kind of like the idea of playing Stalker. I'm a fan of Namalsk, and so I kind of want to play it, but if, if it comes out and the timing is horrendous with what's going on in DayZ or something, there's less chance, you know, like... If they've just released some new epic patch for DayZ, I'm less likely to do it. Redline, well, we should be alright. We'll see how we go. I, I'm not really doing much else than Deer Isle at the moment, but I'm kind of hoping we'll do it today. Doesn't mean I might not want to do it tomorrow, though. Brave Toaster, there's... There's kind of one way out unless you want a very very long swim but i believe that there are two teleportation ways out of here but one te one way only works in the night time i think so one only works like a sacrifice and you can only do it at set times senga I i'd love there to be a whole new map with all new assets and then a remastered version of chernerus as like an as like a bonus i think that would be cool It might be 24/7. I don't know what you mean, Dark Towers. But one of there's two there's two ways you can exit, and one of them only works at night. The way we're going to go works during the day. As well. I'm gonna wait a little while. And there's three players in it. I want to. I want to wait a little bit. I won't be waiting long because I've got no patience. I'm, I'll wait for like one minute. I just know that two players came in quite a long time ago, and then another one player came in quite a long time after that. But if they don't know the route very well, they could be fucking ages yet. Yeah, I don't see the hammer, but that doesn't mean it's not there. It might be one of those things that, that you don't see from unless you're close, to, but I doubt it. I think I think I should be able to see it. I don't have a lot of patience for this, and I've got to be honest as well. If I get the kill, I'm not going to be able to have the patience to fuck around going back up there, so it's probably a bit harsh. Greedy, that wasn't Bohemia's document, dude. The leaked document is from a Microsoft presentation to the FTC. And it's from 2021. And it's, like I say, it's a Microsoft document. It's got nothing to do with Bohemia. And they didn't even spell Armour Reforger correctly. So, like, given that they didn't spell Armour Reforger correctly, you might suggest that perhaps it's not 100% definitely accurate. I do think they're working on Daisy too, though. But I, that that really that league means nothing much to me, really. Yeah, Bohemia aren't going to confirm anything, are they? That I think they've they've teased an announcement at some point this year. It might be Daisy too. They've teased an announcement too. I think they're going to do that. If they if that's what the announcement is, you'll find that that comes in December. The announcement, not the game. I think they'll announce it when Daisy's 10 years old, because that would make sense, wouldn't it? Somebody just died.
What do I think the distance is? What, to there? I'm not going to range above 100 metres. It's, it's a bit more than 100 metres, but I don't think it's crazy anymore. Maybe 150? I'd love to kill these goons, but I, I don't think they're going to turn up. I think I'm far enough away, by the way, for the hammer to respawn. I think the hammer could respawn, with, even with me looking at it like that. Got to be honest, I think I haven't got the patience for this. How do I know they are goons? Well, they're goons. Probably not hired goons, but they're goons. All right, bollocks, I'm bored. I, I haven't got... I, I never have... The, I, I said I would only probably wait for a minute. I definitely waited longer than that. For me, that qualifies as patience. So what do I need to do now? I need to kill a bear and find a boat. Maybe get some more food as well. I do need to get in someone's pants as well, you're right. Probably shouldn't carry the hammer on the back for all to see. I'm going to do it for now, Dope Biscuit, because it definitely can't get ruined that way. I've no protector case. Anywhere else it could potentially get ruined, even from zombie hits, I guess, you know, so... I don't mind that people can see it. I'd rather that than have a chance of getting ruined. I'm out of the temple, yeah. Well, uh, guns can now get ruined, but I don't think most items on your back are likely to get shot. It's usually the gun in your hand that gets ruined. I don't know how likely it is on your back. It is actually a little more likely now that you could get something ruined on your back, but I feel it's a lot safer on my back than anywhere else. Is this the fresh start from yesterday? It's a fresh start from today. I died... I don't know, about an hour and 45 minutes ago. So I've died once today already. I went to Beringer and got killed. In fact, I went to Alcatraz and got killed. So, in order to do this now, we need a 
spare pelt. We also need a leather sewing kit, so I'm gonna, that's going to be a problem as well. We had a lot of problems finding a leather kit the other day, so I'm going to keep looting and hope we get lucky, but I need a leather sewing kit. We need a leather sewing kit. We need to kill a bear. I also need uh, filters for my gas mask also. But I found a few of those on Beringer Island, so we can we'll go we're going to go to Beringer Island where we'll hopefully uh, we'll hopefully get some shit together. I'm going to need a shotgun or something in order to kill a bear, you know, like a Benili or something like that because I I don't fancy killing a bear with a with a marlin and a fucking mackerel. Yeah, well, we'll keep an eye out for a boat when we make it that far. So the restart is at four, so that would give us a better chance for a boat as well. Someone's been here fairly recently. There's a rock. There's a bone there. Uh, Danny, I don't normally bother stashing stuff, dude. No, it's it's not really worth it because. Do you think a nine hundred dollars pre-built PC would run days well? Uh, so, but I think it. If you're playing at ten eighty p, it's got a chance. Yeah, like you're still going to have to make sure you've got a monitor and a keyboard and a mouse and a headset and stuff like that. So it won't cost you nine hundred dollars only. But yeah, a PC of around that cost at ten eighty p would definitely run it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really like stashing it. People are saying that a bit, but when you get the hammer, you can usually get the ghillie suit, right? So that that's not such a hard thing. And, like, where am I going to stash it? You know, like, if I'm on the new spawn island now. I'm never going to come back here. Like, I don't want to stash it here. I could maybe be stashing it when I'm going to do something dangerous, but I just think it's a bit dull, you know? Like, it seems much more fun to try and do it on a life than stash some stuff, then die, then... Go back to your stash and move it and then die and so on, you know? And like, that seems a bit dull compared to like the one life story of achieving it. Both in terms of playing it, but also then in terms of making the YouTube videos as well, you know? Hi hey Garrett, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm certainly fully focused on Zadir Isle for now, yeah. Did I get the hammer? Yes, sir, re Bob. Lurking since you kindly robbed that guy. Hi, chat. Hello, Paul. One play left, dude. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I did kindly rob him. You're right. Very kindly. I'm fucking knackered. Knackered. Well, I need to find a leather kit before I find the bear, otherwise I can't do anything with it. Bear skin on its own, no bueno. Did I manage to fit in my walk today? Picky, yeah. I had, I had a really busy day considering it's only three o'clock, so... I was up at about... it wasn't a half five, it was twenty to six my alarm went off. I was up at twenty to six, although I'd been awake since about quarter to five, trying to get back to sleep. Took my missus to the to hospital appointment she had. It was about about three and a half hours we were out. Uh, we set off about ten past seven. I got back about half nine. So that we were out three hours, twenty minutes roughly. Uh, we got back at half nine. I then went out and walked the dog for an hour and a half. And then I came home, prepared a cup of tea and went live. So basically since twenty to six I haven't stopped today except for when I was streaming. This is the, this is the chill time. Well, Whackgatter, thankfully I have lots of videos over 1 million. I, I haven't checked in a while, but one of them must be getting close to 3 million, actually. I've got two. Both of them are videos on Cooper Edited, which I don't mind in the slightest, by the way. But uh, I've got a couple over 2.5 million, I think, and one of them must be getting close to 3, maybe. I don't know. Are you on your phone for the 1.5 hour walk? Hardly at all, Bond. No, I, I try not to go on my phone. My last sub due to being a bit skint. Moving house and building stuff is pricey. Cable, dude, thank you for the resub. Yeah, no, definitely nobody should be subscribing if they're a bit uh, strapped for cash, dude. Absolutely not. Thank you for the support while you have.
Uh, Cable Nyan, thank you very much. Sober Playlift, thank you. What's the 2.79 thing? Dennis, I actually enjoy... I don't find this frustrating at all. I, I enjoy the challenge. The bit I find frustrating is immediately after I've just died again. I don't mind it at all. I enjoy the fact that it's been hard and I enjoy the challenge. The only time I'm frustrated is 15 minutes after I just died. Ah, top viewed YouTube video. That makes sense. Yeah, 2.79 is pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, I'd forgotten. That, that shows I'm tired. I'd forgotten what the fuck we were just talking about. That that wasn't too hard to work out, really, was it? Bond, yeah, well, I've, I've certainly been there, you know. <laughs> and, and one thing I know is that whilst you, you're, like, probably wishing the time away a bit now, you'll wish you were back there again in ten years, probably. But yeah, it's pretty hectic when you've got younger ones like that. It really is. Who thinks of my YouTube titles? Me. Uh, years and years ago, I used to just try and do sort of more clever... or not clever titles, but more... Like, titles like the Repeater Brothers and... The, the Repeater whatever, or the Trumpet Brothers and stuff like that. But I've learned to try and tickle the algorithm a little bit over the last couple of years because if you don't do that you're just shooting yourself in the foot. Do I ever get recognised IRL? No. Yeah like things like calling it old school adventures in DayZ. I, I should have had better titles than that. Those titles inhibited the views of the videos. The Trumpet Brothers, even the Perfect Day in DayZ, they're both, they're all bad names you know, it should have been something else. Perfect day in day Z should have been how I had the best possible day in day Z or uh, when a 10,000 hour day Z player teams up on Livonia or some other shit. Does anyone recognise your voice in public? Nope. I don't talk in public, that's the thing. I'm, I'm like a hermit. Hey, okay, well, you hope you're good, dude. EC Legend, thank you for the 23 months. Sunny Kid, thank you very much for the gifted sub. Netty Nutty, uh, Rule, uh, Nyan Core, thank you for the support. If I hit 350k subs, you mean subs on uh, YouTube? I think I'm on 440 something, nearly 441 or something like that. I'm about two subs away from 441,000 I think. If I hit 350k subs, you can have a face cam if I get 350,000 subs. You can have a fucking, like, perineum cam if I get 350,000 subs. Okay, 300, that would be like a Twitch record. I don't know how much Kai Senate has, has had over the time, but I don't think even he's have been that high. Gun. Uh, Onky Luke, thank you very much for the support, dude. Cheers for coming in. Thank you for the resub. Jack, I've been to a, I've been to a few gaming conventions. There was a few pictures knocking around over the years, but. There's no pictures of me on my own Twitter. I deleted them because some fucking uh, bottom feeder was using them for uh, thumbnails on his YouTube video. So I took took the pictures of me away. Eighty nine thousand is. I, I think there's definitely been people over a hundred thousand. You made one, did you, Redline? Get the camera. Lucky you. T. I have to confess, I haven't bothered gone looking for any of that for fucking ages. I found it's a lot better for your sanity if you just don't bother. Scary, uh, it's long story. I don't really want to open that can of worms, dude. It's just dull. I, I've just moved on. Is my reason the reason for well? I haven't kept my face anonymous, Sam. Like I say, I've I've been to a couple of gaming events. I've been in some pictures and whatnot. 
it's not an intentional thing. It's an intentional thing I don't have a webcam because I don't want one. I, I think Daisy streams personally for me are better without a webcam. As a viewer and as a streamer I prefer it that way but uh, that's not right. Different streamers will have different approaches but mine is no webcam. Six months. Keep on going. Most Twitch subs ever is 306,000. Holy fuck. High Senate, 306,000. Jesus Christ. That's not bad going, is it? In a month. Is it so I can stream in my underwear? What would I need underwear for? Am I hyped for the Women's World Cup? If I'm being completely honest, at this stage, no. But when the matches start, when England are playing, yes. Uh, I, I'm not as up for it. If I'm, I'm just being completely honest. If it was on, if there was a match on today, I'd be up for it. But I'm not at this stage. Like, I'm, in the same way as, say, I don't know, if the Cricket World Cup or the Rugby World Cup was on in a, a few weeks, I'd be excited when England have got a game, but not until, you know. Like, but yeah, I'd definitely be interested in keeping an eye on it and trying to watch some games and stuff. Knowing how it goes with me, I, I probably won't cancel streams and stuff. So if England are playing, I'll just be streaming. What if, if I'm meant to be streaming, I'll be streaming. But if they get to like the quarters or the semis, I'll then schedule my streams around the games to try and watch them. Go to Twitch Trek. Twitch Trek is not always 100% accurate, as I found out on Saturday, dude. But uh, I, I'm pretty sure there's higher than 133k. Uh, like it's quite kind of hard. Like I, I, for example, Twitch Tracker, my my sub count bottom left is accurate. It's, it for me on my screen, I can't see what you see, but mine says five seven nine three. You go to Twitch Tracker, my sub count won't be five seven nine three. It doesn't count Twitch Primes, I don't think. I don't think it can track them. I think it does gifted subs and prime subs, gifted subs and regular, but I don't think it tracks Prime. I could be wrong. Probably am wrong, but anyway. It's never completely accurate because uh, whenever I've been somewhere like that, my sub count is never what Twitch Tracker says it is. It's always wrong. Yeah, Twitch Tracker says I've got 4237. That's definitely not true. It doesn't count something, whether it misses gifted subs or... I, I, I don't think I get that many gifted subs. That's not me moaning, by the way. That's just a lot of gifted subs, right? Uh, I, I think it probably misses Prime or something like that. But whatever, it's not... It's never counted accurate, because I go to Twitch Tracker every now and then. And every time, whatever it's said, it's always been below what my actual sub count is by a big amount. 20, 25%-ish, at least. Sometimes more. Would you say you're mostly prime subs, Riley? No, I'm not. I paid subs and uh, paid subs are just slightly below prime subs and gifted subs are the lowest. So if you added gifted subs to paid subs, then they would be more than prime. Yeah, I hit 300,000 followers this year. I've not been really looking at the follow count very much. I don't entirely trust the follow counts on, on Twitch, you know. Like, over the years, I've been followed by a lot of bots, and I know they delete them, but... Like, I've had, like, days where I've got, like, a thousand follows, and they're all, like, random numbers from some fucker trying to do some spamming later. The followers are tickling up, though. They really do. Like, I had to look... The I, I, it's kind of, like... A very cool thing, but I sometimes go up 40 or 50 follows on a day I don't stream. And that's madness, really. That's kind of madness to be growing quite a lot when I'm not even live. You know, that's that's cool. But the videos help with that as well, you know, like constantly releasing videos. Picky, yeah, that definitely doesn't actually work, but I think you know that.
I don't really want to loot this. I think we'd best put a gun in our hands. I hear someone eating. They're in that building, I think. My first kill with the Marlin. Good job I didn't use the hip fire. Sorry, good job I didn't use the iron sight, isn't it? That's good. Hoping he might have a leather kit. Nice shooting. Thanks for all Deer Isle content. You'll get your treasure soon enough. Arr. Where be me treasure, me lad? <laughs> Cheers for the support, dude. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you. I'll have that in case we find a boat with no sparkler. Right. No more looting here. That dude had already been here. I was, when he fired just the once, I was like, he's not going to have a mag, that guy. That's why he's fired once and not followed it up. I'll be able to peek this guy and fuck him up. I'll, I'll get him, I'll get him. And then he started spamming bullets and I got a bit afraid for a minute. No, oh, he hasn't got any more bullets. I do need a leather kit, but I don't think looting here is going to be the uh, going to be the play based on that. I think we should uh, get a rig along. Maybe just look in these, but what's a pirate's favorite letter in the alphabet? Hi Neil, by the way, I, I don't know what what you were, what uh, Whack Gat is referring to about how you feel, but I hope you're good. <laughs> Can I have twenty spare twenty two? I don't think so, unless they're in a box. I don't think I did. No, I did on the last life. at my feet. Oh, okay. I don't want to know, by the way, if it's if it's related to uh, anyone that actually makes videos where they stamp their feet. I don't know. I stopped looking quite a long time ago. Um, that's good for me. So I don't need to know. Well, he, he hurt me slightly. He hit me in the vest, but I can fix that in a minute. He hit me in the vest, so he did hurt me a little bit. Just a little bit. You overlapped on the last kill. Ah, oh, fair enough. <sighs> yeah, but an MK2 shot to the to a ballistic vest is not going to do very much, you know. It's not exactly a worry. On the other hand, me hitting him with the big boy gun, that, that that's going to cause him to shit his pantaloons, you know. Right, I do need a leather kit. I really need a leather kit. There was also a well back there. I should maybe have filled my canteen up, but... I've got vitamins. I wonder if I can get away with drinking that. I don't think it's a guaranteed fix anymore. Like, guaranteed you won't get sick, but I'm still going to chance it. 
Uh, Deckard, thank you very much for the gifted sub. Really, really appreciate it. Very, very kind. Cheers for the support, dude. Thank you. Cheers for the gifted subs. Very, very cool. The Merlin is not vanilla, no, it's a modded gun. Oh shit, I didn't take a vitamin. Thought I watched it do the... oh, bollocks. Must have cancelled it while it was in the middle of doing it, so I could get sick now, but the vitamins will also cure me. Cheers, mate. Does the MK2 kill you in one hit if it's a if it's a headshot? If you're wearing a helmet like I am, no, it won't even knock you out. Uh, if you hit somebody in the head with an MK2, there's two outcomes that could happen. If you hit them in the brain, it will be a kill. And you can't hit them in the brain if they're wearing a military helmet. But if, if they're not wearing a military helmet of some sort, you, if you hit them in the brain, they'll die. If you hit them anywhere in the head that's not in the, the brain, they'll probably go unconscious. But I wouldn't like to guarantee that. Even with like, I don't know, like a, like some kind of basic hat on and maybe a uh, balaclava or something. I, I think maybe a shot that didn't hit your, your brain might not even knock you on con for one. It is the weakest round in the game. What's the server pop like? It's very, very good, Iron. And I just killed a dude. We aren't really in a... Well, this is an area where we might find new spawns, but we're not in a geared dude area at the moment. I do have Tetra, yeah, but uh, the Tetra are better for curing it. I know from the other day that if you drink dirty water with a Tetra in you, you still get sick. So the vitamin for trying to prevent me getting sick is probably better than the Tetra. But if I do get sick, I'll take the Tetra to cure me. TS Champ, I do still do intros, it's just whether the video needs it or not, you know, like, there's still plenty of videos with intros, there's in, there's video, if you go back through my last three or four edited videos, many of them have intros, dude, that, that, that's not something I've stopped doing, but I've always kind of chosen when to do them and when not to, sometimes, I personally think, for example, a minute and a half of speed looting with some music on and a little bit of, like, a joke at the end, is a much better intro than me going, bloody bloody blah, I'm trying to do dear R, where it, I do it when it makes sense, but that's been the case for several years. What is morphine for? It allows you to move quicker whilst you're injured, so if you're flashing red health, uh, you travel incredibly slowly. So let's say you're in a firefight and you just scrape surviving. Uh, you just survive. Then uh, when you take a morphine, it allows you to run like you're completely fully healthy for about a minute. So it allows, allows you to move as if uninjured. And an EpiPen does a similar thing, but it basically allows to, you to have no stamina drain for one minute. So you can, if you had both, you can take a morphine and then an EpiPen and then you can sprint away from the danger zone. Yeah, whack guy, you have, you're right. Fucker. I'm going to rate you a P45. Do I script my intros? I don't script anything, dude. Sometimes I have a couple of goes. I don't write anything down. The only time I do any scripting is if I've got to do an advert. You know, like, if I've got to do an advert, there's normally things I have to say. Like an advert for YouTube, I mean. So, uh, I, I normally will... Uh, what normally happens with an advert is they've got maybe six phrases they want me to say. So I just write those six phrases down and then I can just reel it off. But when I'm doing intros any other way, no, I, I don't I don't uh, I don't plan anything. I, I don't even think about what I'm going to say. I know what the video is. I know what the content is. I just press record and then start spieling. Sometimes I do it in one take. Sometimes it takes six, seven, eight takes, you know, but uh, I just I just do it until it seems right. And then that's done.
That advert for Manscaped was nearly done in one take. I didn't even know what I was going to say. There was a couple of little minor jokes in that advert for Manscaped. I didn't know what I was going to say there. I just... They came out when I did it. Regan, yeah, that's right. Two takes would have been a bit itchy, wouldn't it? On that subject, what's a pirate's favourite favorite letter of the alphabet? Arr! <laughs> Jax, thank you for the 16. Deckwood, thank you very much. Pescado, thank you for the 17. Deckard, thank you very, very much for the gifted sub bomb, dude. If I've missed an alert while I've been running around, apologies, and I am grateful, guys. Thank you. No, it's the C. No, it's definitely R. You might think that, but their first love is the sea. Oh, God, somebody else has just said it. You might think that, but their first love is the sea. Oh, God. Regan, thank you for the bits, dude. <laughs> yeah, the first, the first one had a video of me. I've just seen a pop-up on my phone. It's regarding Alzheimer's, which some people might not understand. But anyway, I'm interested in the subject. Uh, a new drug has been found to slow the progression of Alzheimer's, with experts hailing it as a turning point. Uh, Donain Mab, uh, which, which was found to slow clinical decline by up to 35%, allowing people with Alzheimer's to continue performing day-to-day -day tasks for longer. That's cool. Decline by th up to 35%. That's, that's good, but some people decline really quickly. You know, that's... that's uh, it's good news, though. It's very good news. But when the, when something like that gets announced, and then if, if I say oh, I'm doing a uh, if I'm I'm doing a fundraising stream for Alzheimer's research, somebody then says, "Why they've found a they've found a cure?" But obviously that's not a cure. That's a really good thing. But declining the uh, declining the deterioration with Alzheimer's is clearly not a cure. It's a it's like a benefit. You know, it's it's very good. But the problem with Alzheimer's is that it uh, it doesn't decline at the same rate. One person might take years declining, and another person might take months to do the same level of decline. You know, like it, it's not the same for every person. So, but thirty five percent on the years, people, is brilliant. You know? Scary. If I do a fundraising stream, and I'll probably do one this year, I, I doubt I won't. It'll be in December. I usually do November or December. Yeah, it's been around a while, lady, but I think there's been an, another test, you know. like they, they do very, very rigorous testing with these things, but the, the, this most recent test is, like, proving more more positive by the look of it. But, yeah, that, I don't know. I don't even know who makes it. I don't know who makes it, but it's uh, it's good news. What's my guilty pleasure? Uh, masturbating in public? <laughs> it's not. That's a lie. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know what my guilty pleasure is. Watches, I suppose. Uh, Mr. Carl, I, I didn't know that. No, I, I do get a little bit of tinnitus symptoms, but only because I wear headphones five days a week. I don't think I have what you'd qualify as tinnitus. I have uh, headphoneitis. <laughs> Sorry, Bantam. Yeah, two different people saying it's only like us you don't feel guilty. Uh, it's not my kind of thing. Aussie Gold Hunters is definitely a guilty pleasure of mine. I like it. Definitely another guilty pleasure of mine, without a shadow of a doubt, is re-watching uh, episodes of Travel Man hosted by Richard Iowadi. It's been taken over by Joe Lysett. I've not seen all of those. Uh, I'm sure they're good, but Richard Iowadi doing Travel Man is definitely one of my guilty pleasures. I've seen nearly every episode three or four times now. I think they're fucking brilliant. I just think they're so good. 
just ripping up the land for no. Have you not seen some of those targets, mate? Fuck me. You're, they get out some real rippers. What are you talking about? The only one I don't like is that jade one. The jade hunt, the jade one with the with the moody lady. They never seem to do it. It's like basically the, G, the one of the diggers is broken and then something bad goes wrong and the boy upsets the dad and then they end with like no jade. Gold schmold. Okay, picky. So you wouldn't bend down to pick up five ounces then, no? Richard Iowadi is amazing. The, the reason why Travel Man is so good is that you can tell he didn't like doing it. And I don't mean that in a haha, -ha, look at him struggle. He didn't like it. He, do, he didn't like doing that show. You could tell he didn't like it, which just made him all the more sarcastic. You know, it's just beautiful. It's just, it's just so good. I really like that show. It's, I, I started watching Travel Man during the lockdown because it was, a, it was perfect during the lockdowns because you can't go anywhere and watching a travel show is almost like torture. But watching a travel show where the guy that's hosting it doesn't want to be there, uh, uh, that was good. I really love it. It was my favourite guest appearance on Travel Man. Uh, I, li I like so many of the episodes. I like the long one in Hong Kong with the dude from... Uh, what's the name of that? John something, isn't it? What, it there's like the hour-long one where, where they go to... I think it's Hong Kong. The guy from Mad Men. John Hamm. Yeah. yeah that's really good, that one. Uh, the one with... Uh, not, not David Mitchell. Robert Webb. That's pretty decent as well. My least favourite, and this is no reflection on her really, but it's the girl that... It is a reflection on her, but I'll come to that in a minute. The girl that was in the Inbetweeners movie, and they go to Ibiza, and she keeps making that fucking klaxon noise with her mouth, and it winds me the shit up. Yeah, the one with, with, Bob, uh, with, with Bob is cool. That, that one's pretty good too. And she's okay, but she just makes this really annoying noise in that. Uh, there's so many good ones, though. The one with Faye What's-Her-Face is pretty decent as well. That's a good one. I tell you what is good as well. I, there's what, there's the Rod Gilbert one where they go to Florida. That one is brilliant as well. I, there's a bit where they go and they're eating crab claws in this restaurant in Florida. And they both look like they're orgasming because they're, like, they've gone to this place and they've got no expectations. They're clearly not bothered. Like, uh, like... But they both, they take one bite out of these crab claws and they both look like, they, they both look at each other and go, fuck me, that's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. That is good. That's some good telly, that. <laughs> Watching two people eating crab claws in a place you'll never go to. That's life, that. It's not a klaxon. It's that kind of, uh, I'm not going to do it. Somebody will know a better. It's not a klaxon, but it's similar. Have I seen the outtakes from the Bob Mortar episode? I don't think so. Where do you see the outtakes? Probably on YouTube, I guess. Have you ever thought of making my own server? Uh, in the same way that I've considered slamming my penis in a car door. You know, the th your thought crosses your mind, what if I trap my penis in a car door? And then you think, well, oh, fuck, I best not try and do that. Yeah, that that's as close as I've got. So it's a possibility is what you're saying. Uh, yeah, no. So Spiky servers used to have uh, my name on for several years. So Spiky servers used to have the running man's name on. I didn't just call him myself in the third person. I was just saying that's what they were called, right? My name. Not my name, Paul, but my YouTube name. 
my, my twatch name. Anyway, uh, that's what they were called. But it became like a massive pain in the fucking ass, and so I wouldn't like to do that anymore. Fair play to everybody that does. One thing I can say for, with great certainty is that Smoke was very wise to call the servers uh, day one. And Happy Bombs was very wise to call the servers zero. Because that way, a lot of people that just join the servers don't know who to go and moan at on Twitch. If you call the servers uh, running twat, then people just come out of the woodwork to mither at you. And it just became really frustrating. Turns out that a small percentage of gamers are complete fucking dicks. <laughs> and uh, they all end up moaning at you. Uh, how's the Herman Miller hanging in there? I'm finally ditching the secret lab. I'm leaning towards the HMM body. It's great. I, I went with this one because I wanted a bit... The M body looks amazing, but I, I wanted one that had a bit more up and downy, lefty, righty on the armrests. The M body doesn't have quite so much armrest adjustment. I think this one's harder, but I like it good and large, you know, especially in the butt. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. Intentionally, I might add. I like it good and hard, especially on the butt. I mean, I really mean, I suppose. Have a good stream uh, today. Yeah, I don't really want a soft one. No good, is it? Yeah, I think if you've sat on air on get chairs before, you're going to know, aren't you? You're going to know if it's suitable or not. If you don't like it hard, you're likely to know if you've already tried it hard. Uh, I've got a Herman Miller Aeron Gaming size C, which is the, the fat man size. I've got a nice size C, Herman Miller. The, the way the weight's falling off me at the moment, I might be needing a size B soon. To be fair, I'm six foot. Oh, the size C is probably right anyway. Two ropes in the inventory. Yeah, one's for fishing and one's to hang myself. Fuckity fuckity fuck. Do I need the blaze really? I've not got any bullets. I've not got the scope. Look at all this other shit I've got to carry. It's a good job I've just realised I've got two... Uh... I hope this doesn't get... Oh, it's fucking stuck. I'm going to have to relog to move it. Hello? 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 Bro, I saw you. So you, I'm, I'm starving, bro. All right, I've got a little bit of food. I think. Let me have a look. Hang on. Yeah, stay. You got a little bit of food? Yeah, okay. stay where you are. I've just got a. I'll, I'll, let me have a look, dude. I think I have. I've not got a gun out, and I'll keep it that way. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Me too. Uh. Yeah. Bear with me. I'm just. I have got. I've only got one can of food, but yeah, I'll bring it. Give me a sec. I've just found a bag here, and I'm trying to get all the stuff out of it. But let me bring you the food. I'm coming. Yeah, there's a can on the floor. Dude, you don't have a leather sewing kit by any chance uh, to trade, do you? Something to open it. A uh, knife. Yeah, there's a knife there if you want to use it. Do you have a leather sewing kit by any chance? Uh, no, I'm sorry, bro. That's okay, no worries, never mind.
say thank you for the food, did he? All the knife. Uh, did you do anything uh, to the guy which is laying over there, or the girl? That's the dead body over there. But completely. Where the hell are you looking? There's loot there, but where where are you looking for the dead? P oh, where is the dead person? I can't even see him. There, uh, you, you can't see it from here. Oh, it's over that way. I think that's there probably there. there, loot there. Can I have my knife? Oh, you left my knife there. That's cool. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I say thank you when somebody... Oh, can I get back the backpack, bro? Yeah, yeah, help yourself, dude. I'm going this way, dude. Mine, there you go. Stay safe, okay? Love yeah, you, boy. Right. He's still dead. He ain't going to live. That can of spaghetti's not going to get him far enough. Where's the dead person? Oh, it's incredibly hard out here without a knife, isn't it? And Like, if you've got some bones, it's okay. I don't know if you can find a few stones or whatever, but no knife on, on this island is tricky and there's so little loot sometimes. I need a bum bag, really. I don't understand where this dead person is. I've seen the Banshees of Inner Shirin. I thought it was okay. I wanted it to be more. I know it's a really popular film and I thought it was okay, but it, it was one of those films that you're really interested in and things are kind of kind of quirky and nice and then it just ends. And you're like, well, what was the fucking point of that? could put the pistol holster on the backpack. Yeah, that's not a bad shout. There was a dead guy in the middle of the pit, was there? That was probably their loot, anyway. He's following me, is he? Well, he wasn't going this way, but I guess he came back this way, didn't he? He probably came back this way because uh, he saw me. He was probably checking out the dead dude. I never got that AK mag, which kind of annoys me. I wanted to get the AK mag too. Fix AK, what would be the point? I don't have a mag. I also don't have a weapon cleaning kit, which makes it somewhat tricky even if I wanted to fix it. Is that Zahama? It is Zahama, yes. It looks like a great big piece of battery powered apparatus. Ribbed for whoever's pleasure. Uh, Joel Sweden, thank you for the very, very long wee, wee sub. Wee sub? It's because I just read whiskey as well. Thank you for the very long wee sub, dude. Cheers, Joel. Uh, thank you, whiskey as well. Cheers for the support. Devil's Cabbage, I could listen to TMZ all day and night. Ah, thank you very much, dude. Yeah, you can't fix them like what you used to. No duct tape for fixing the guns now, eh? I guess we sh we could potentially find a hunting scope and 308 here for the blaze. <laughs> could you hotkey the hammer to move it? If it's not moving, it's not moving, basically. I don't know if that really makes a lot of sense, but it does in my mind. Like if it, if it won't move the way I'm trying to move it, it won't move. It won't move with the hot bar either. Like that. Just tried. No go. 
Are we being follic today? Follic? What, like hair follic? Oh. Wormlord, yeah, well, I'm, I'm a glutton for punishment, dude. Let's face it, I've been coming back and uh, and playing DayZ since since very early 2014, you know, like, I'm, uh, I'm a, let's just say I'm a glutton for punishment. <laughs> I've clearly got a high a high bar for what will fuck me enough, fuck me off enough to stop me playing a game, I must have. leather kit. It's also only one and I need two so it wouldn't do a lot. Isn't that typical? I give him... Oh, I have got two more cans. Three more cans of food so I thought I only had two cans. When I gave him a can I thought that was one of my only two. Turns out I had uh, I had four cans in total and I just didn't realise it anyway so that's okay. At least we didn't overcommit. My first video on YouTube came out July the 29th 2014 so in 12, 12 days, I'll have been doing YouTube nine day, nine days, nine years. That's quite a long time, isn't it? Quite a long time not to have a million subs, you know. I, I, I need, I need to do better. My maybe if training. Daisy Two does come Thank out, you for the maybe that'll be the, the tipping Keep point. Running. So right now, I'm basically looking for a leather sewing kit also staying near to the uh, near to here because boats can spawn here too I ought to go to the docks really I've had my YouTube account for 20 years and I don't have a million subs either Herb yeah I can relate dude sucks doesn't it you'd think you'd have it by now I'm so pleased to hear it Pepsi yeah Fifty-five inch waist. Wouldn't it be fifty-four or fifty-six? Well, it might be fifty-five, but whatever trousers you're wearing would be that, wouldn't they? I don't know. Tommy, uh, I've done the temple. I'm trying to get the stuff together to go to the crypt. Let's start by going over towards the docks in case there is a boat of restart in three minutes. BK, yeah, uh, you, you've got to try and remember the last one you watch sometimes. It is a bit tricky, that. What do you need to go to the crypt? You need a bear ghillie suit and you need a lot of time. And you need a hammer to get in the doorway. This hammer. On year. Oh, it swapped over. That's cool. I hope it's not bugged when we get back. Is it possible to fall through pipes on restart? I really wouldn't know, dude. No clue. Sincerely doubt it. What does the hammer do? It breaks through an ice door on the thing. I have to say, it's so much fun answering these questions. <laughs> hey, Paul Sorry, it's not aimed at any one person, but I've also been answering these for three weeks. Not only have I been answering the question for three weeks, I've also been doing it for three weeks as well. <laughs> uh, two and a half weeks. We've been in the crypt four times now, I think. Maybe five. I think it's five times I've been in the crypt. Yesterday was the closest we've come. We we got the uh, we got the key card and uh, very good too. Uh, but got killed on the way to the aircraft carrier. 
I have chlorine. Yeah, I just picked it up, didn't I? Oh well, we, we'll save them for when we really need it. No, that's the, that's what the conscientious survivor does, I'm sure. It's actually incredibly cool to have a bottle. I've really struggled to find water bottles on this particular patch of Deer Isle. I don't. I think it's this server, not the patch of Deer Isle, but they're so rare. What kind of keyboard am I using? QWERTY. <laughs> I'm using a Corsair K70 with RGB. Uh, Cyrano, it doesn't work, dude. When people ask questions like that, at least half want the answer from me and not from the chat. Like, People will ask a question like that and then a mod or another viewer will at them with the reply and they'll completely ignore that and then ask the question again, you know. Maybe it does work, but a lot of people don't want the answer from the chat. They want the answer from the stream twat. What toothbrush am I using? Green. It's a green one. I bought it from Tesco's Express in Piccadilly Because when I went to London the other weekend, I forgot to pack a toothbrush, so I had to go and buy one. Absent. Well, that's an opinion. Uh, I wouldn't say I agree or disagree. I'm not really sure. Uh, you will tell me your favourite mustard. Sorry. I don't know. What's mustard? brand of mattress do I sleep on? A fucking hard one. guys give me one sec text from my door did it let me in already connecting to server please wait Hi Crevis, how am I today? I'm alright, a bit fucking tired, but nobody wants to hear a streamer say that, but you, some people are probably used to me restarting, re, restarting, remoding, aren't they? I read the word restart from Chris Lynch. Uh, it is a restart, dude, yeah. I'm pretty good though, dude, or other than that, I hope you're good as well. Substaticer, I did one with my old setup. I haven't thought about doing one with the new one yet because I need to tidy my stream room a lot and I can't be fucked. I think I said stream womb then, but yeah, my stream womb needs tidying. J 
Just keep running. Fuck not yeah. Well, I, I, I got up at a time that no streamer normally gets up. I was up at 5.40 a.m. this morning. That's early for me. Don't forget to check the hammer for a bug. It'll be fine. Uh, Hill20, thank you for the 60 months. Cowden, thank you. Prolly, thank you very much. Joel, once again, cheers for the support, dude. Thank you, all of you guys. Oh, shit, there's better. No, I had to take my missus to a little hospital appointment. Uh, so I was out for just over three hours in the car. Took her there, came home, uh, then took the dog out for an hour and a half, and then I started streaming. So I've been up since 20 to 6. All I did was have a shower, then drive for three hours, walk the dog, and then start streaming. So it's been quite... Quite a fun packed morning to then follow it up with a 12 hour stream, I'd say. I'm hoping there'll be a boat here, but the last few restarts there hasn't been one. I've been unlucky. Hopefully, now there'll be one. Am I a two player or three player kind of guy? Well, I like to fold like three pieces into one so like three folds for the first couple and then after that I do one fold making two pieces yeah I, I, I fold thrice twice and then I fold twice thrice roughly you rich bastard you don't know how cheap our toilet roll is that's the thing Keep on running. you don't know how you don't know how cheap the toilet roll we buy is How many people play on that server? 12T. See, no boat again. Fuck. Yo again. Right, maybe we best look here for a leather sewing kit. Dirty Martini, thanks, thanks, dude. I hope you hope you feel rested. I, I, my alarm went off at five forty. I was up before it. My missus got up for a wee about quarter to five, and I was kind of awake mostly since then, which is ain't ain't ideal. I wasn't asleep till nearly midnight, so I've I've not had enough sleep, but I'm okay for now. But that's why I've not really put in the title that I'm doing a twelve hour stream, because uh, yeah, I, I might I might not make twelve hours. I might not quite do it. Probably will, but I want a little bit of flex. Do I like any songs by Queen? Well, the national anthem's okay. Yeah, I quite like a few. Under Pressure is one of my favourite songs. I think Under Pressure's an amazing song. There's others, but Under Pressure's my favourite Queen song by quite a long way. Well, that's a cover version, though, Journey. You know, from, from my point of view, it like the the original was was Queen. Emmy San. Well, like, I think don't in Japan they all have like uh, I thought in Japan all the toilets cleaned the crack of your ass for you. You know, they had like uh, like water closet slash bum cleaners all in one. That's what I heard. I thought they did it all for you. Have I thought about when I'll retire from streaming Brazza? If I'm being honest, I think most streamers don't get to choose when they retire. Their audience does. It's the way I see it, dude. Whether you're uh, 18, 28 or 38 like me, you uh, you don't really get to choose when you retire necessarily. You get You get retired. I quite like one or two of the cheesy Queen songs as well. I, I don't like uh, Bicycle and the car one. But I do like Radio Gaga. I think Radio Gaga... That, 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 you have the time, you have the power and the bit that's going on in the background. It sounds really good to me anyway. I like that. Got a mobile bum sprayer. Mobile bum sprayer is just me after a, a little bit of gluten.
Yeah, I know that total. I, I know it's David Bowie. It's kind of hard not to recognise him on it, you know. But yeah, of course it is. But I still think it's a Queen song. You know, if you if you get the best of Queen, uh, Under Pressure will definitely be on it, you know. Riley, yeah, not, not really any different, I'd say. Which isn't really a surprise, to be honest. Like, it's it's more of a figurehead type role than a uh, doing anything type role. Not in day-to-day -day real people's lives, anyway. Isn't it Under Pressure a remake cover of Ice Ice Baby? Yeah, I think it is, Lucif, yeah. I think that's true, yeah. Vanilla Rice did it first. Do, 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 do. Maybe, maybe we'll get an AK-101 mag in here. Or maybe we'll get four. Oh. Vanilla rice is best. I don't know. Vanilla rice sounds a bit grim, to be honest. Maybe in some kind of pudding, perhaps. the subject of having a hard bum I, I'm feeling a little bit feeling a little bit like my bum's numb at the moment need to adjust myself in in, in the seat that creaking tree Jesus Christ that's how the trees talk to you talk to each other you know just like in that film uh, the one where the trees talk to each other and those little people don't realize that there's trees talking to each other uh, and they're going on a, a weird adventure. I think it was called The Happening. <laughs> Treebeard wasn't in it. <laughs> yeah, I did the old bait and switch. You know, when the trees talk to each other, it's The Happening, okay? It's The Happening. The, the the trees in the in uh, in the happening, you know, that's such a cool film. That you know, it's really scary and weird shits going on and weird shits going on, and then the amazing icy dead people uh, like twist is that it was the trees. <laughs> Fucking hell! Come on, Shmalamalamalamalamon, you can do better than that. I didn't even take a fucking pill, you knob. The Spaggy have US servers. There used to be a US Chernera server, but I don't think there is any more. No, I don't think there are any US servers. He's he's from England, so he has servers near to where he lives. Paul MC, there may be, but uh, it, it keeps the wolf from the doors, you know? Like, it's kind of useful for being a full-time stream douche. Uh, Happy Joker, thank you for the 28 months. I don't think loot even spawns on this roof, does it? So what am I doing up here? There's a nice purple bandana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we need that. Can I give you the winning lottery numbers? One, two, three, four, five, seven. Oh, you can make that jump, but there's no point.
need a lead of the sewing kit. Where for art thou sewing kit? Yeah, right, come on, there's going to be one in here. There's going to be a kit in here. Here it comes, here it comes. Ready, ready. Oh, there's a lighter. Here it comes. Ugh. Nearly running out of places to loot now. This building doesn't seem to spawn fuck all in it as well, but I'm still going to check it because it, it might be my kind of fuck all today. Hey, Campy Axe Dude, you're right, man. What am I looking for? I'm looking for a leather sewing kit. Don't ask me why. I don't know, I just want one. Ooh, do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm not answering the why question to other trolls. You can all fuck off. <laughs> ICMO, uh, you have to manually renew. They won't let you put Prime on auto-renew because it would be really easy for the streamer to farm subs that way, you know? Like, streamers can have, like, a campaign, you know? Use your Prime on me. Uh, have a heart. Prime my channel. And then leave it to auto-renew. Like, they want you to be physically watching the stream to use it. Otherwise you don't keep it. Streamers make a living complaining about their teammates. I don't know, PSO. I don't do too much complaining. Talking, yes. I do a lot of complaining. Not so much about teammates, I don't think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Slipshot, thank you very much for the 20 months. Cheers for the support. Thank you. Uh, likewise. Hepa Jocker, thank you. Sleepy Boy, Morford. Uh, more food. Morford, thank you very much. Uh, April Vun, April Leuven, thank you very much too. That's strange. Everything I've ever bought is set up. Well, that, yeah, but everything you've ever bought except for something that's free, right? Obviously, you pay for Twitch Prime. Server, when you pay for Twitch Prime, map? it's set up to, to renew. Script? How do you get there? Why? What map? But clearly, they're not going to set up Amazon Prime to auto renew because that's benefiting you and me. It's not benefiting the company. You know, auto renew for taking money, never for giving it away. Uh, Regan, I don't know what you're talking about. This crypt nonsense. I've no idea. Tales from the crypt. What's the time to start running clip from? Uh, I, I made it up. It's my voice in there. It's, it's my voice and I'm doing an impression of a film called The Running Man. Uh, and a TV, a fictional TV host, host contained within, played by Richard Dawson. I'm doing an impression of that. Or it came from the film The Running Man. Not going to containers far out. No, they're, they're military containers. I think there's less chance we'll find what we want at the milled containers, so they can get fucked. Better do the impression live right now. No, I had to do it in a in a studio. I had to be like attenuated, you know, like they do that, like uh, like that, like like that singing that Cher does, where it goes like, "Do you believe in love after love?" Like that, you know, like that that what they do, that stuff, right? I had to have that to make it work. I can't do it now. I haven't got the foot pedal. Always good to be here. Yeah, like auto-tune, but with a little bit more doofer in as well. Have I died since the end of part one? Uh, that was about th two weeks ago, dude, so I'm definitely not on the same live. 
Yeah, it's cool it's my voice, isn't it? It's definitely not Richard Dawson from the film The Running Man. A sparky mark. Thank you for the 15 months. Regan, thank you for the bits. If you get the chance, there's a 1980s, late 80s, I think, action film called uh, The Running Man. Uh, it might be the inspiration behind the name of my channel, perhaps, but if you get the chance, watch that, and you might hear the clip t contained within. Uh... It's very cool. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger plays Ben Richards, former helicopter pilot, framed for something that fr framed for a crime he didn't commit. But unfortunately, he can't call the A team, so he has to sort his own shit out. Uh, in a dystopian future where they, uh, where serious hardened criminals are placed into a, uh, a survival stalker-style battle royale-esque. Uh, arena where they are chased by stalkers and should they win the game show they get to win their freedom but if they lose they die that that's the premise and and sometimes winners win you know like uh, there they are now basking under the Maui sun Whitman Price and Haddad Stephen King did write the story. We talk about this nearly every day, actually. It's, but I, I don't mind that. Actually, it's all good. But under the pseudonym of R Richard Bachman or Bachman. And Lenka, we also talk that about about that as well. In a minute, I'll say that The Long Walk was my favourite and that they're going to make it into a film one day. It's been in pre-production for about 15 years. <laughs> what calibre is my spaghetti? Uh, Gluten-free. In other words, it's brittle when you, when you don't cook it and then it's kind of brittle when you have. Uh, I'll go off. Unfortunately, it's spelled B-A-C-H, like Burt Bacharach. Hello, hello. When are we talking about whiskey then? JT, I'm, I'm not, I'm on a sabbatical. I'm on day 60 of the hard 75 no alcohol thing, along with other things. Uh, I haven't, I, no alcohol has touched my lips since May the 16th, which is 62 days, I think. But I started the 75 hard on May the 18th. Hey Ish, thank you for the 72 months. I hope you're good, dude. Thanks for coming in. See you tomorrow. Uh, all being well. If, if I've uh, not thrown my PC out the window because I died coming out of the crypt again or similar. Uh, cheers for the 72 months. Calix, thank you for the four months. Sparky Mark and Regan, thank you again. Have I tried noodles made out of lenses of peas? That sounds like something from your imagination. What's the lenses of peas? Peas don't need lenses, man. They get prescription glasses. Russell, I don't think I am going to drink on day 76. I'm thinking of making it 100 days when I get to 75. We'll see, though. Toxic, dude, thank you for the gifted sub. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, lentils. Yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah, I hadn't quite got that. Lentils or peas. No, I haven't, by the way. Uh, Toxic, thank you for the gifted sub. That's very, very kind. Thank you. Cheers for the support, dude. Thank you. Uh, cheers for the gifted five beningos. And luck. Carly, thank you as well. Cheers for the two. Peas have got 20-20 uh, vision, yeah. How's it going? Uh, four hours and 47 minutes in. We're doing all right. We're doing okay. I'm trying to get the stuffs together to go to the crypt. If you don't know what that is, it's just cool. That's what it is. It's cool. Esfalia, yeah, I, I really fully intend to drink way, way less at home. Maybe just drink, like, family stuffs. Like, barbecues and, think, like, when you're, like, having a 
month time will I out, or maybe on Christmas Day and shit like that. But I probably won't do that, but it's my intention to do that. We'll see whether my intention comes to fruition or not. Oh no. Okay, I'm dead. I didn't even have a gun out. I surrender, I surrender. I've got no gun out. I surrender. I had no gun out, dude. I'm not looking for trouble. I'm really not. Do you mind if I bandage? I won't get a yeah. gun out. Dude, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just looking for ghillie stuff. That's all. I'm not looking for any firefights. Just right. looking for ghillie stuff. That's all. Dude, that's a Pretty sure we met yesterday. At the mine. You what? Quickly. Pretty sure we met yesterday. Before the mine. When you were when you spawn. What's your name? Uh, I'm Eric. Uh, maybe we did. I don't know. I met. I did meet someone over there yesterday. We yeah. just bumped into other. Yeah. We didn't like run with each other. I didn't shoot you. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. At well, least that that's one of us. Yeah. That makes one of us, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, dude, I haven't got I a mean, great deal. I've got an AK-101 without a mag, and uh, then I've got a load of shit. Really. I just died here like an hour ago and ran back to get some loot, so... Oh, wait, dude, you're fucking... Is that a scar? Holy shit! Yeah, I just found it off a body. Yeah, there's a... Where's there a body, dude? Fucking hell. Well, before the restart, I killed, like, uh, a few people okay. here. And then dude, I got killed. Do you mind if I move towards the, the plane on account of the fact that I don't want to die? Yeah, sure. Fucking hell. I am so glad I'm not dead. Holy fuck. You look smoggy, it's then you are. So yeah, well, like, you. you've, you've ruined my vest, so your shots must have been good. It must have been more than one that hit me, so yeah, GG on that. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm glad I'm not dead. I, I keep getting killed like everybody does on this map, I think. You know, it's quite hard, isn't it? Yeah, I just died, like, no work. I just said so. Uh, you don't. Have you got mags for that AK 74? Uh, one with 20 bullets, that's it. Ah, okay. I'm low on ammo as well. Holy shit. Well, I have got this in order, uh, like, as an ex as a exchange for not killing me. I can give you that if you want, there you go. Do you need some food? I got, like, minutes of food. Yeah, a can of food might be useful. Uh, that would be good. Cheers, dude, thank you. Ah, oh, fucking hell, that's lots. I'm gonna eat that jam. If that's yeah. okay. So where are you headed? I mean, to? if you don't have guns. No, I've I've got I've Pardon. got a Marlin and, and a, I've got a Marlin with a scope. You know, I've got that at least, but not much else. I just came here like five minutes ago to pick up my loot when I died. Did you get it back? I did. I did. Yeah. But so how did some how did you and stuff how did you die around. then, dude? I died before restart. But I what to a player or a backpack? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I see, I see. So just okay. like backpacks and guns laying around, so I picked them up. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm kind of... You don't have a leather sewing kit you don't need, do you? Um, it's rare of tool. I can give you one. Dude, that's insane. Thank you. That That is very cool. Thank you very much. I can't I fix the vest, but... Still some guns. No, oh, yeah. dude, I, I'm like red health. I don't want to go up there. I'm fine. I, I'm going to go and hide somewhere and regen my health, dude. If you're right. okay, don't don't let me slow you down. I'll keep my gun on my back. I'm not going to try and get revenge or anything, but yeah. I'm going to slow you down for about 45 minutes. So if you want to carry on with whatever you're up yeah. to, that's cool, dude. There, there's a military tower up ahead. There's still some loot in the second or third floor. All right, so I'll, have a, I'll have a look in up. there. Thanks, dude. Thanks for being friendly. Right. Appreciate yeah. it, dude. Love you, boy. Out. That's why sometimes it's worth saying I surrender. It's possible he recognised my voice after I started talking. Also possible that I met him yesterday and wasn't bad to him, and so he wasn't bad to me. Uh, but irrespective of any of those reasons, I'm fucking glad I'm not dead. The thing that's the most lucky about it is that he's not ruined anything that I need to do the bear gilly. And I can do it now, I just need to kill a bear. That's the mini AK guy from yesterday. Oh, we met briefly, he said there was an AK that way. 
Yeah, and then I, he said, oh, I asked him if he was going to loot the milli base. He said yes. I said, oh, I won't do. And then I ran around, yeah. Romy, even my very first YouTube video has that in it. My very first YouTube video, two guys that didn't speak hardly any English, uh, broke my leg outside the fire station or near the fire station on the old Northwest Airfield, and then I took my way out of it and moved on. Uh, one and one and only cut. That's that won't be enough. I need two bear pelts. So the one that the one that's there isn't enough anyway. So a morbid dude. Thanks for checking out. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. I am lucky you didn't ruin anything. So he said there was some loot in here. We might as well check it. S found possibly, but I've had the same thing happen over the years a lot when people didn't recognise my voice as well. The kind of player that's going to uh, give you a chance is the kind of player that doesn't finish you off when you're already unconscious, like he didn't, you know, like... Uh, if they're, if they're going to kill you, they'll kill you before you talk. The amount of times... It's happened a lot in the last few days, actually. Last few weeks. I've woken up going, I surrender, and they've killed me as I start speaking, you know, so... It's not so simple as, oh, it, you, you get it easy, you, they recognise your voice, if you know what I mean, you know. Sometimes they'll kill you before you even speak. That's bullets for the blaze that I've got. Uh... Check they're all dis that one's not disinfected. <laughs> Don't fucking shoot me! I haven't got a fucking gun out. I've never said that, whack out. What are you talking about? That sounds like lies. This is the loot he was meaning. The mackerels are kind of cool. I'd like to take those mackerel, but... Uh, I don't need the guns. I don't need the, the JMC prototype. I'm going to use it for breaking down a nice door on the crypt. I've done it quite a lot. Hopefully if we don't die I'll be doing it again today but you need it. It's like a key for a door. Hello Welsh blood dude. Uh, Carl thank you for the two. Toxic Pat thank you very much too. I think I've got to get rid of that. I'll just keep the other one. the other where did they come from oh, i just split them from there didn't i right okay can i take those as well no 
Nothing now that I need. I don't want that. There's 20 bullets there. Let's have them. I'm going to drop the shotgun shells. And the 9mm. Let's just leave, and then we'll worry about the rest later. What was that? That was a helicopter crash site. My vest being ruined is very, very bad. Like, obviously I'm low health right now, but... If I get tagged by pretty much anything, I'm dead. The vest is weighing me down, but it's giving me inventory space, so I'm going to have to keep it for now as well. Yeah, Tails. Well, I meant when I said get out of here, I definitely didn't mean check the other rooms up above in case there was, like, guns and stuff from wherever I died, but... Right, let's go this way. on the backpack that's probably our dude getting in a fight that's possibly his tundra Paul you could use vehicles in the game yes they, they're a little bit hit and miss on some servers the, the game itself only has cars a few different variations of cars some of the modded servers have uh, even helicopters this server's got boats uh, like jet skis boats and cars as well but uh, and also push bikes and motorbikes. Yeah, yellow's come pretty quick. Although we've been around for a while. We were talking to that dude for a little while. I never find much loot here. It's very cool, actually, that he had a leather sewing kit. That's been very good. Wait, what did I just do with it? What was that I just fucked up? I don't know what that was, but it's gone now, possibly. I don't know. It was a scope. It's probably gone on a gun. I don't know where it's gone. Gone on my AK, is it? Oh, it was already there. That was Oh, it's it was the suppressor, which is actually it's better on the AK anyway. That makes a lot of sense really because it's uh it's good, it will allow us to shoot completely suppressed. Yeah, I had uh, I had something else there, but you're right. I, I I had the hammer on my back. Or no, I had the hammer on my gun. Now the hammer's in a cooking pot. I'm kind of kind of safe. Look, I'd have been fine anyway. Look, there's another one there. Uh, thank you, uh, dude, uh, Lopezo. Thank you very much for the support. Really appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Napster, thank you the same as well. Cheers for the support. Carly, thank you too. And Lopezo, I've already seen, I've already caught it before the alert. Holy shit, thank you. But yeah, uh, Napster said the same thing about the blaze, but we, we've done it now. Where I, I didn't want to risk the, uh, the hammer, but when I got the cooking pot and it went in there. There's another one. That's the direction I could kind of go to. I actually don't know what I'm looking for in here. Well, I, well, I think we should go to the heli. I do need to kill a bear. I need to kill a bear. Like, very, very badly I need to kill a bear. My coat's ruined and my, uh, my vest is ruined. Where did the guy go and shot me? I think he went to, to, towards the melee base. Those shots that we just heard was probably him fighting someone. Ellie's a shit just falling out from the sky like that. I think the idea is that they're turning. They're turning to zomboys. I think that's the idea, right? I don't think the helis are just crashing because they're being poorly maintained. I think they're crashing because the people on died on inside have turned or have been beaten to death by the zombies that did turn. I think that's the idea. That's why when you find a crashed heli, there's zombies all around it, right?
What are the noises? No, it's not. It's the sign of the, the rotor kind of failing. And it's sort of meant to simulate the sound of a helicopter like spiralling down to the ground. Uh, and it's going... Doo, 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 doo. That's the sound of the heli going... I'm fucked, I'm fucked, I'm fucked. I don't know what it is, but that's the heli noise. The shots weren't in this direction. They were over that away somewhere. I do have an amphibia, yes. I did have an amphibia. Oh, yeah, it's there. Look. I do have an amphibia. Let's keep the food going in us. I think the heli is going to be very close. It's, it's over this way somewhere soon. It, it can't be much further. I didn't really get a real solid beat on where it was, but it's, it's this way very close now, I'm sure. Actually need to be checking some of these sheds, to be honest, because I need burlap sacks. And uh, burlap sacks spawn... Sorry, not burlap sacks. I've got those. I need uh, gas for the filter. Gas cylinders. Gas filters, whatever, for, for the gas mask. And uh, yesterday, while looting this island, I found like two or three or four. Hi, Iris. Hope you're good. another fucker. I can see the smoke. I didn't really want to go this way, but I think we've got to. Have you missed any evil mans today? No, no, no. I've only, I've met a few people. I've been okay. Not, not entirely true. I did hold a guy up that was fully geared and I had a shotgun with one shell. I held a guy up maybe about an hour into the stream, hour and ten minutes into the stream. And he was fully geared and I robbed him of some stuff. But then I got killed a bit later on. Yeah, an M4 would be amazing. We've got a few mags. An M4 would be great. I'm a little bit worried that... that it's near enough that the players that shot before those shots we just heard could be going there. An M4 would also massively help because I need to kill bears, or a bear. An M4 would be epic for killing a bear. Let's not go greedy. Uh, oh shit, these are close together. Oh, I, I think we've got less chance than I thought here. I, I think we could be in trouble. It's so close to the other one, it makes me kind of pensive. This open field is also making me pensive too. Let's start sorting my loot while I'm, while I'm going through the open field. It, it's the only sensible thing to do. Something you can find M4s on on the helicopter crash sites here. I found them here. In fact, I found three M4s on Deer Isle on the helicopters on this island the other day. This is stupid. I don't know. I'm doing it for a good reason. If there's a plate carrier here, I want to be able to grab it quickly.
I don't really need those, but you never know. Kitty backpack is kind of frustrating. This has been kind of alarmingly shit loot, all things considered, I would say. The scope is decent. The scope for the blaze is very, very decent. Right, let's go. I'm not going to the other heli. That's they're too, The other heli's too close to the shots. The other shots from before. I'm not going to that other heli. I'm just going to go this way. Yeah, that's kind of unlucky. Not getting a gun of any sort when you're out here is kind of unlucky. I, I also think maybe I should take that off. I, I've, I've had cholera. Sometimes feels like you get reinfected with cholera, doesn't it? I, uh, I think we should take that off. Like, you cure yourself of cholera and... and I, I think there is a chance that the uh, I don't like the aim point. It might even be our water bottle that might might affect us as well. But definitely the uh, definitely the balaclava. I think there is a, a chance that they reinfect you. The way the way I seem to get cured and then it comes back again. So it's quite slow looting for now, but I've, I'm looking for two things. A bear that I need to kill, and also uh, I'm looking for uh, filters for the gas mask. Do I know a guy called Nav? Nope. Four shots with a blaze will do a bear in. Uh, maybe, if they're headshots. It won't take many, but it's not ideal trying to do it with a... a a, a, a bear with a blaze, but you can do it, yeah. You kind of want it to be fairly far away. It is possible to lure out the NBCZs from the from the gas, but there's been a lot of shots there. I, I don't fancy going anywhere near that for the time being, not at all. In support of my fave content creator, may we forever get retweeted, Kappa. Uh, Source Gaming, dude, thank you for the resub. I hope you're good. Thanks for coming in. Cheers for the support, man. MT, well, maybe. I couldn't have got much fucking closer yesterday. Something, I believe you're right. However, I've had myself getting reinfected regularly and then taken the balaclava off and I've not been reinfected anymore. So I, I'm not saying it's uh, it's not Wobo signs, but something causes my cholera to come back and I've not drank from the canteen or anything. But some, I'm, like, I'm cured again now. But And I don't think that was a cold. I think it was my cholera coming back. I really do. Yo. Yo, hello. Yo, yo, yo hello. Uh... Uh, er, er, is there easy? Uh, cheers for the support, dude. Thank you for coming in. Oh, I'm not going to fix that. I'll probably ditch it. Uh, Lone Survivor, cheers for the bit. Source Gaming, thank you for the 15 months. And uh, thank you for the gifted sub to Mrs. Source as well. Cheers for the support, dude. We are indeed, Vinny, yeah. Toxic, dude, thank you for the gifted subs again, man. Thank you very, very much.
I don't think many people loot around here. I've got to loot all of these crappy houses spread around here. Whilst also keeping an ear out for a bear. At least we're white health. Just having a quick... I don't normally bother scoping around, but I'm just going to have a quick look. Not scoping around is one of the reasons why I get shot at so much. I hear a bear that way. Right, well at least we'll get the bear anyway. Somewhere in the, towards those pine trees over in the middle of the screen. That door just fucking opened. Pepsi, I think I'm going to have a no answering Pepsi boy question day today. It's okay with you. I'm too tired and it's too long of a day to uh, to entertain your questions. I, I could have vaguely entertained the question, but the and why bit. The and why bit, I couldn't quite get. <laughs> uh, it's not server related, Garrett. It's an issue with the game. It's desync, so... The door is open, but it's not its not saying it's open for you until you get nearer to it. It's a, it's like a proximity thing, and it's not server-related. It happens on the, on any pretty much any server, including official. Be surprised how many times I've been asked that question, MNS. Quite a few. The bear then. I heard the fucking bear. Uh, Predator, thank you very much for the for the support, Predator Crow and Toxic. Thank you again, dude. I know it's around here somewhere. I, I've got a rush. I can. Uh can loot these buildings and see. I, I just need to find filters and the filters do spawn around here. We found several yesterday. Uh, Lone Wolf. Uh, I might have given somebody a drink but I, I don't know. I remember giving somebody some water out of my cooking pot but I thought it was not yesterday. But I don't know dude. I, I uh, What happens on what days? I definitely gave somebody some water out of my cooking pot for something recently. And it might have been near the uh, near the mountain, like crater. Yeah, cocaine, cocaine bear. Last movie with uh, last film to star Ray Liotta. Uh, I've not seen it. Apparently, it's meant to be cheesily good. It's actually based on uh, a, a true story. Just like TRMZ and the 15 inch peen. We do anything with the hammer? Not yet. We've not got to the, 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 the right place. Eyeball, eyeball.
Monday just bled out because my gun was stuck in my hand. They couldn't bandage. Yeah, the only thing you can do in that scenario, if you've got a friend, they can tie you up. Otherwise, you've got to uh, you've got to log out and log in. Obviously, if there's a big queue, it's annoying, but you will get back in and you won't be dead. Just so I can hear it out of your mouth, who is the favourite to win the World Cup? England. Obviously, England. I, I don't really look at the odds, uh, red line. I don't look at the odd lines, odd, odds of whatever the, the bookies say. Uh, TRMZ Enterprises, the favourite is England. Because they just won the Euros in cracking style. And the Euros is basically the World Cup, because no other teams are any good, are they? <laughs> For anyone else that's from the USA, I'm just winding him up, not you, okay? Don't, don't worry. If I run on my red line now, I'll ban him. Oh, that's tempting. I could do both of you, two for one, couldn't I? I've heard they're not very good against Wrexham, though. <laughs> Americans watch real contact sports. I don't know. Is contact sport what makes it uh, real, is it? How many contact... What? Shit. Oh, fuck. Shit. Fuck. There's not that many real contact sports in America. I suppose there's a few. Can I not see it from here? I wanted to hide. chance he might get me. Oh, that was painless, wasn't it? I didn't think he would poke through the wall like that, but I wanted to uh, shoot him with the Marlin. I haven't got many blaze rounds, so shooting him with the Marlin is uh, good. Very good. We've still got to troll, troll around this, this uh, island looking for gas masks now. What the F is this shit? Well, you can't really help it if it's poking its head through the wall. I was planning to shoot it through the window, but... A-I-B-A-I, -I, sometimes it's a bit temperamental. Yeah, I, I, to be fair, talking about contact sports, obviously you've got UFC, which is incredibly contact, but... American football is a real tough sport, but I, I'd still think rugby is more contact than it, if I'm being honest. But yeah, I wouldn't fancy playing either, and I certainly wouldn't argue with an American footballer. Right, let's just get the big bear steaks. Right, where's the... what's the biggest ones? That'll do. Right, well that's good. Now we're still looking, but we're looking for... Uh, looking for gas canisters only, basically. I can't fix the vest, dude, it's ruined. I can't fix the vest. If I could, I would. I'm only wearing it to give me more space, but I can't fix it because it's broken. 
It's foobar. I could actually cook it without going to a house, maybe. I don't know. Sorry, one one sec, guys. I've lost my chat. There we go. What's the use of the gas canister? You can uh, cook cook with it. So it's got a gas canister and also a cooking, uh, like a camping stove. And then if you've got a frying pan or a cooking pot, you can cook the food with it. Dookie, uh, dude, getting annoyed at people for a purge is kind of the thing that imbeciles do, by the way. But if you want to do that, that's your choice. But when somebody says something really emotive, such as what you said, it's not it's an opinion. You're, that's fine. But saying something like that is like dropping a bomb in a chat. And one of the things I really like about this stream, dude, and one of the things we've tried hard for for seven, eight years, is to keep the stream a fairly nice place to be where people can talk. And it's not full of trolls saying stupid shit. So, it's it's not about inhibiting your freedoms. It's about stopping a spiral of bullshit that'll happen when somebody says something like you did, you know? Like, this stream, the chat is one of the best things about it. It's not me. So, if you don't like having one message deleted in your chat and you think it's some kind of abuse of power, then this ain't the stream for you, dude. Because the chat's actually a nice place to be. It's not full of fucking Amiga lull this and bollocks that. Like you go to a lot of streamers with three or 4,000 viewers... The chat is toxic as fuck. This one isn't, dude, and it's it's for that. If you don't like that, that's your choice. But a, a message deleted in a chat room is no big deal, dude. I've had plenty of messages deleted in Twitch and other forums. People that act stupid about a simple message deleting are the kind of people that want to fight the bouncer when they get ejected in a club, but they got ejected for their own fucking fault. Just take the delete and move on, you know? Talking about it is just riling things up more. It's not worth it. Uh, Cobby, thank you for the six months. Really appreciate it. Very, very kind. Thank you. Right, that's oh my god, that's not that's not good, is it? I was really pleased until I found a filter with fuck all in it. Rodin, yeah, I, I agree. Some people aim for toxicity, but I don't, you know. I, the, 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 that I don't know if they aim for it. I think some people have people have different senses of humour, you know. Some people will have a really edgy sense of humour, and that's fine, you know. People gravitate to what they like. I have a very dry, sarcastic sense of humour, but there's lines I don't cross. I, I do a lot of things that are close to the bone in some people's minds, but I don't do the edgelord internet shit, you know? I, I don't do just saying... I, my, my kind of winding people up is talking about air fryers. It's not talking about serious stuff, you know? People actually get annoyed about air fryers, though. That's the crazy thing. <laughs> That's kind of stupid, isn't it? But... I can get people wind up about air fries, but in other streams they can say kind of anything and it's fine. <laughs> Somebody got annoyed with me the other day because I said $2 million for a trading card was a lot of money. Bit of a waste. For a Lord of the Rings Magic the Gathering card, I think it was. I don't know. I didn't really come at American football, Joeza. I, I like American football. I don't watch much of it, but I watch the Super Bowl every year. I think it's cool. I like it as a sport. I certainly I like it with American games. If there's if there's one on the telly, like the different sports that American Land likes, 
Except for UFC, right? Uh, I, I think I'd pick American football over the others, you know. I can't personally get into basketball or hockey, uh, baseball. I enjoy. I, I saw a live game when I was in New York. That was okay, but I'm, I'm not that eager to, uh, excuse me, watch it on the telly, you know. I'd rather watch American football. I think it's the better one for me to watch. Oh, fucking hell. I went to all the trouble of killing one myself, and there's a fucker right there, look. There is always someone triggered with any chop topic. There is. That's that's absolutely right. The only thing that's that that the issue with that is that it can be. Uh, this is this is not really a moan. It's just talking. But whatever I say, somebody's likely to get triggered. Whatever I say, literally, you know, I could say this is a fireplace, and somebody, it's not actually a fireplace. It's a stove. You fucking idiot. And then I get an email about it tomorrow. Uh, but anyway, yeah, whatever I say, someone's going to get triggered. So you almost get to the point where you want to stop speaking for a while. It can get a bit grating after a while. <laughs> it can. It's not. It's just one of those things, though. It, it can affect some streamers. It doesn't do me so bad. But some people get really ground down by it. Like any decision you make in game, someone, everyone, whatever you do, someone's going to tell you you're doing it wrong. Whatever decision you make, you should have done the other one. And the same for whatever you say, too. And just part of it, part of streaming, part of life, really. Uh, there's my matches. There we go. It's actually a lighter. Am I even going to season that meat? No, no. I'm going to burn it as well. I'm going to. I'm not doing it. I'm not even going to do it like well done or anything. I'm. I'm just going to burn it. Oh, I'm not going to bother with the pen. I'm, I'm, no, I'm not going to do it like medium rare or anything. It's going straight to fucking like like leather. Absolutely, yeah, the ref will only please half the crowd. You're right, pretty much. Sometimes none of the crowd, though. Just like streaming. Do I think they'll ever add spices in Daisy? I doubt it. I'd love it if they added recipes. Uh, I wasn't being serious, Hal Kid. He said, why aren't you seasoning it? So I, I thought I'd have offended more by telling him I'm going to do it beyond well done. What is in about kick? I don't even know what kick is. I've never heard of her. Catfish, how you doing? Thank you. There is another bear, yeah. It's kick like mixer. It is only with more uh, with more gambling, I believe. Kick is broken, dude. Not a metatarsal. A kick is from Inception. Yeah, where you where you knock someone over to wake them up from the dream. But what if they're in a dream within a dream dream? XQC's kick contract was not a uh, not an exclusive contract, so. It's basically written that way, so he can stream on Twitch and then go to kick after if he wants. I do have another fish in the inventory. Which is almost handy in a way. I, I don't know if XQC is doing the slot streaming. I'm not saying he is. And I'm not, not bothered if he is. That's his choice, right? But it's a convenient way to get a huge streamer that might stream slots. I don't know if he is or not. I don't know if XQC streams, XQC streams slots. But if you've got a contract to be on kick, he can play and grow his audience on Twitch playing video games. And then go and play the play the slots and also games on kick too. And it's a funny thing that you've got Nuff Almighty saying he has, immediately after Anarchy Goon saying he's not. But yeah, one or the other is probably true. 
22 months and still in each scene the Z-A-B-Y rubber must have been worn, thank God. Eat my tuna. No! <laughs> I don't even want tuna. Oh, I thought, uh, hell kid, I used to be an addicted gambler, so, uh, casinos are not my cup of tea, no. It wasn't really casinos, though. It was more sports betting, particularly horses, but no, I, I don't really, uh, I don't really uh, get excited by the gambling anymore. Too hot. Tears champ, the difference is that Kit can afford it. The uh the slots thing, the crypto slot thing, is incredibly profitable. They're awash with cash. Obviously, Microsoft can afford it, but the thing about companies like Microsoft is that they like everything to turn a profit a little bit, like Amazon or whatever, you know? Like, Whereas, Kick really is not just about turning a profit. It's mainly about catching new people and new footfall for the slots, isn't it? We talk about kick a lot. By the way, I, I'm going to say this again. I know I always say it. I'm not anti-kick. I'm anti-gambling. I'm so kind of not personally keen on kick, but I hope it does okay. I hope it does okay because Twitch needs competition. So if, if Twitch gets competition, I think it's good. It's good for all streamers. That was a heli crash, yeah. Competition is very good for the consumer. Well, with streaming services, it's hard to say whether it is or not American Pixel. You know, I, I, I agree with you. By and large, I agree with what you're saying. But, for example, with football in the UK, if you wanted to watch the Premier League, you used to just have to get Sky. And then they were like, well, we're going to have two different TV things. We're going to have two different media deals, and you can't have both. So then you had to subscribe to Sky and BT. And then they got, like... And they get other games on Amazon, and then you have to subscribe to BT, Amazon, and Sky. So competition is great until you're paying for three stream services for, for the one you used to have to pay for. Do hope they succeed seeing how evil Amazon is. I've got to be honest, and, and I'm, I'm perfectly happy that you might disagree enough, but... I think uh, being an out-and-out -out gambling company has, is worse than Amazon, if I'm honest. And I know that's a take a lot of people will disagree with, and that's fine. But uh, at least Amazon allows you to buy something and get it tomorrow, rather than just relying on gambling add addicts, you know. But to each their own. I can understand why you might feel that way. I feel the other way. Uh, do you know what, actually, Whirling Tomcat, sorry for this, but don't explain Amazon's e evilness. I really don't want a spiral of negativity. So if you could not explain Amazon's ne uh, evilness, that would be great. Amazon has some issues. They don't necessarily treat their, their staff brilliantly well, but... Uh, might find me a fucking massive company that does pay their staff fair wage. You know, they, they, it's not right. It's not okay, but yeah. Working conditions could certainly be better. Apparently they're meant to be trying to make progress, but whether they are or not, I don't know. I don't think that it's, not, it's much to do with contracts. I, th I think the streamers that are on kick are likely to talk positively of it. and I, I'm, I'm, I hope it succeeds for once again, but if you've just switched from Twitch to kick, you, irrespective of a contract, you know... You're going to talk positively about it. You're going to because you're just reinforcing your own decision. You know, like that's human nature. If you just bought a car, you're not going to say like the next day, "Fuck me, I wish I hadn't bought that." You know, like you might get bias remorse, but you're still going to be talking yourself into it because you've done it. You know, like you've made the choice, you've done it. If you just switched, if you just up and left to kick, 
you're going to be positive about it because maybe it's refreshing and it feels really good and it was the right choice and it was. That's absolutely likely. But also, you're going to be convincing yourself it was even if you're having doubts, you know? Like, that's just, just human nature, isn't it? Like, everybody in here, like, if I say, oh, I've got a Corsair mouse but I'm not very happy with it, everybody loves their mouse because it's their mouse, you know? Very few people say... I've got a Logitech, don't get one, they're really reliable and a bag of shit, you know. Everyone loves their mouse, you know, like, because they bought it, they're happy with it, that they made the decision and they feel it was a good one, you know, like, that's just life. I think Logitech is better than Corsair when it comes to mice, if I'm honest, but I like the shape of the Corsair one, so I'm going to stick with it. Exactly, Code, yeah, like, streaming services were like a replacement for Blockbuster and whatnot, getting all the films, like, you used to subscribe to Netflix, so taking it aside from the sports, your Netflix sub, sub gave you all of the Star Wars stuff, all of the Marvel stuff, all of the Disney stuff, everything, all of the new films, they all went on Netflix, and then gradually, as more and more people have entered that area, obviously now you've got, if you want to watch uh, Star Wars or Marvel or Disney, you've got to get Disney+. Plus. Apple TV have got their own exclusive, Amazon have got their own exclusives, and so on. Paramount and whoever else, you know, like, it's a never-ending uh, clusterfuck of subscribe to me and me and me and me and me, you know. So it, it used to, it's probably cheaper to have had cable than it is to have all the different streaming services. I think it's going to be interesting to see how Kit goes. I, I want it to succeed. And people that are on kick might not like this. I, I want it to succeed, but I suspect it probably won't. Unless the gambling keeps paying for it. Because there's no way it's sustainable at 95% revenue share. For, it's great. It's a brilliant revenue share. I'd love Twitch to do it. But there's no way it's... I, and I know they're saying it's making money. The owners are saying it's making money. But let's be honest. Like, <laughs> they've just given XQC 100 million. They're, they're giving the street... The, the split is incredibly generous. I suspect... Uh, I'm ill again. That sucks. I suspect it's not really making money other than it's uh, being subsidised by the gambling side of things to look like it's making money, you know, like Staker sub-sponsoring them eff effectively. Uh, which is common, you know. Yeah, I I don't know. We'll see how it goes. And there's a lot of people really bigging up kick. Anybody that switched to kick is really eager to not push it, but ex extol the virtues. There's a lot of people that have been streaming on Twitch for a long time and maybe haven't got where they want to get. Didn't think it was that close. They haven't got where they want to get, and maybe kick is the answer for them, you know? We'll see, but I'm not convinced it's the answer. Oh, my God. I don't think it would be the answer for me, anyway. Oh! oh! <laughs> Fucking hell! This is exactly how the dinosaurs are. Isn't it? The dinosaurs are the same. Onwards to, to search for gas cylinders. I actually came round there looking for a boat as well, but there wasn't a boat, which sucks. They might be able to glitch in, but if they glitch in, I'll, I'll get myself away, I'm sure, probably. Yeah, I don't know. I, 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 I Once again, I really hope Twitch gets competition. If I'm being honest, what part of that reason is because for selfish reasons, you know... Twitch's revenue share is not the best. I'm doing really well, uh, so I'm very, very happy with how I'm doing. Financially growing and all sorts, right? Twitch has a lot to offer. It has a lot more people watching DayZ, for example. 
So it, I think the better opportunities to grow are on YouTube and Twitch. I don't think they're on Kick personally, but if you've already got, say, 100 viewers, maybe you can make more monetization-wise from those 100 viewers if you switch to Kick, because you can get a bit better revenue share, you know? Like, that, that seems pretty obvious. But, uh, I don't know. We'll see. I, the, the, the thing that, like, Kick is 95%. So if you sub to someone on Kick, they get 95% of the revenue, and Kick get 5 The streamer gets 95%. Uh, Twitch have got some weird systems in place. They've just introduced a new hype chat, which I've kind of blocked, so it doesn't really work. And if you pay to, if you pay to pin a message, it's a revenue share of seventy thirty. So if you pay ten dollars to hype chat, the streamer gets seven dollars, and Twitch get three. But if you gift two subs, the streamer's likely to get five dollars, and Twitch get five. Uh, some streamers get a bit more than that. It's a bit complicated. Some get 70, 30 up to a certain amount of money, 100 grand, I think, in US dollars. But yeah, that revenue sp revenue split seems a bit weird, you know. Why Why is a hype chat that's a new feature, 70, 30, but gifted subs not? It why? Why is that? The streamer dies a bit seeing the hype message. Well, I've set my minimum hype message to something like $100. Or what oh god, that door just opened as well. My hype chat is set to the maximum amount, whatever. It, you can't even choose to turn it off. So when they introduced bits, for example, streamers could choose whether they wanted to have bits on their channel or not. Seemed like a fair enough thing, you know, if people want to use them. Uh, but with the street, with the hype chat, they just put it on like nobody had any choice. Because you could maybe fake the gifted. Well, that'd still make money for Twitch, dude, if they were doing that. What, like, if I was faking gifted subs, as in I was buying a hundred, for $500. If I bought 100 for $500, all I'm doing is giving Twitch my share, you know, I'm not making any money. Let's say I got $350 and Twitch got 150 So I use $500 of my own money to give myself 350 and then I have to pay tax on that and then Twitch get 150 You know, that wouldn't really be a very good business model. I'd go out of business quite quick. You don't lose your status after the hype thing. I don't know what that means, Owen. What status? Uh, Whackgatter, I got to vouchers. Amazon vouchers. It's not It's not a promotional split, Salt Monkey. That's just what they've introduced it at as a flat thing. Yeah, Kill Mice, not long ago, it would have been 50. You know, the, the, the biggest streamer I know of that switched to kick, I believe, on Daisy, I mean, is Uncle Ray Ray, How I think. Uh, I was looking a little bit through... I quite like Uncle Ray, Uncle Ray Ray. I, I've raided him a few times. I've met him a few times. I think he's kind of fun. But anyway, I was looking through his tweets on Saturday morning, I think, just sort of seeing how he was going and whatnot, because he's the biggest streamer I know of that's gone. But at 131 right now, like, Kick are going to have bigger fish to fry than Daisy, right? But there's no way, in my view, if you're going to stream Daisy on Kick, uh, unless you've already grown a bit, like I just mentioned Uncle Ray Ray, he can take his existing viewers there and he'll do okay and he'll monetize those better. And if it's the right choice for him, GG, you know, fair enough. But if you're going there as a streamer that's got four or five views, where is your new viewership going to come from, you know? How are you going to get new viewers if you're in a platform where there's only 100 or so people watching, you know? Like, how are you going to get new follows if there's hardly anybody watching? And if they are, they're watching somebody they found on Twitch anyway. Jack, I'm never going to go to Kick, so I don't need to get the running man's name on Kick. I have no intention of going to Kick at all. Uh, I think it. I'm sure it'll be possible to grow, but it seems harder if if you're in a Daisy category where there's sometimes three, sometimes ten, sometimes fifteen thousand people watching 30, the game. 30. The saying "a rising tide raises all boats" is very true. You know, if there's more people in your category, there's more chance of you getting some some views. Uh, 
I don't see any point moving to YouTube either, Nano. I, I think the, the picture quality on YouTube for streaming is a little bit better. But the overall streaming uh, package, if you like, in terms... And I don't mean money. I mean the way the chat works, the way everything works. on. I think Twitch is a better system. The, Twitch is just more user-friendly. The chat works nicer. The way things work and how everything is, to me, works better on Twitch. And the biggest problem with Twitch is this, you know, like... They don't share your streams very much, despite what everyone says about how Twitch is not very good. Nobody goes to YouTube game, gaming, I don't think. I, I Certainly I don't, so what I'm doing here is equating what I do to what everyone does. But I don't think many people use the YouTube gaming app. I think most people just go to YouTube and see a, see what their subs are up to. And I, I don't think you... you I think if, I, if I'd only ever streamed on YouTube, I wouldn't have 4,500 people here right now, or nearly. I think I'd have a thousand to fifteen hundred if I was lucky, because YouTube doesn't want to share streams; they want to share sixty-minute tickle tockles. Uh, that's the ironic thing. So many people beat Twitch up because it's not very—it doesn't have very good discoverability. But the discoverability for streams on YouTube are absolutely fucking awful. You, videos are amazing; it's a search engine for videos. That's what YouTube is, but it doesn't want you to watch streams. I, that I follow a watch YouTuber called Nico Leonard, who's a really, really good YouTuber. I like him loads, right? He's massive as well. He's got way over a million subs on YouTube. Way over a million subs. I don't know the exact number, but he's a massive YouTuber. He gets crazily high views on his videos. Very, very popular. But when he live streams on YouTube, he gets about a thousand people watching, you know? With the amount of follows he's got, subscribers on YouTube, and with the size of his channel, he should be getting 10, 15,000 people watching him. And he isn't because more people get shared his videos when he releases one than they do his live streams when he's live. No, it's just, it's the way YouTube is. He'd be better off telling people he's on Twitch and trying to grow on Twitch with the streams. I didn't take the vitamins. Yeah, I'll take one now. I have still got the tetracycline, but I'm going to use the vitamins for now and see if I can cure it that way. Did you pull in your trash mods? Dookie, dude. No, it, it's your fault. Not not the trash mods. Uh, I'm sorry. I write the rules, not the mod. So, uh, can someone... I oh, know, just make it a ban. Fuck it. Take it easy, dude. If you don't like the mods, you don't like me. I, I appreciate you're a platinum sub, and I'm grateful for that. But if you don't like the mods, and you don't like the stream, see you later. If you're incapable of taking a message deleted in a, in a chat, the internet is not for you. My freedom. Fuck that. <clears throat> uh, RJ Music, thank you for the five months. Max Rayman, NTR Austin, Unforgiven, thank you very much. Max and RJ and NTR, thank you again, guys. Appreciate it. I think he only said something like... Uh, I'm going to say it now. He got banned for this, by the way. But he, he didn't get banned for this. He, he got banned for being a petulant boy child for a message to lead. He only said something along the lines of American footballers are all criminals, right? I... I it may have been a joke, but there was no capper, and he certainly didn't act like he was joking, because he think he said afterwards that he believed it was true. But that's by the by. Nobody gives a shit, you know? If somebody thinks American footballers are all criminals, nobody cares. But it's one of those incendiary things that turns the chat into a spiral of shit. A bit like when I tried to stop us going down the route of why are Amazon evil just now, you know? Like, the chat's a nice place to be, because we don't just focus on negative old bollocks the whole time. You know? Houston, uh, well, apparently he's got 100 million, but it's partly in shares. So whether he can just instantly sell those shares or not, I don't know. He might be obliged to keep them for so long. I don't know. But uh, 100 million in shares for kick in five years' time could be worth 500 million or it could be worth nothing. You know, like, it's hard to know. It depends when he's allowed to sell them, I suppose, you know. Well, Bill, well, it's one of those things. But people, but there are people out there that get really upset when they have a message deleted because they feel like they're being silenced. But uh, it's a private chat room with rules, you know. You're not, you're not, 
There's no freedom of speech in a chat room, right? It's there's rules People and you follow them or you don't you nowadays. don't talk. Would you agree, Paul? Thank you for keeping me entertaining for the last 25 months. I never stop being yourself, mate. I keep uh, I keep running as I'm taking them, don't I? I'm cancelling it. I can see the heli up there, but I'm not going to the heli, I don't think. Very close to the milli base. I might have to go up there to be honest. See if there's anything more buildings wise down here. Yesterday doing these houses we're doing now, I found three uh, three gas filters for the uh, for the gas mask. So filters for the gas mask. Today I found one, and it's the tiniest little smidge of fucking use left in it. The heli might have armour, yeah. It also might have a dude nearby. I'm going to check these buildings, then we'll go up towards where the heli is. You can fill the filters with charcoal tablets. I don't have any charcoal tablets, but you can. You find charcoal tablets quite often on, on like, uh, rowing boats on this server, at least in places you do. But I haven't got any charcoal tabs at the moment. So, uh, no, no bueno for now. I don't think there's any First Amendment in, like, Reddit, for example. <laughs> I know you're joking, by the way. I do find it interesting. I know I'm talking about it, but that's one of the things I do, you know, labour the point. But it's interesting, really. Like, how have you, like, got through life uh, to whatever age you might be? Where you, you get butt hurt because you had a message deleted in a chat room. Like, have you never been to Reddit or something? You know, like... How have you got to the point where you're like, I will not be silenced in this random game to stream that I'm watching, you know? Like, how do you not get used to, like, the odd little, uh, like, like, I've been to Reddit plenty of times. I've had some messages deleted. I was once in a little watch forum uh, where they deleted one of my messages. And I thought it was really harsh. And so I, uh... And so I left the watch for him, but I didn't make a stink about it. I didn't go, oh, like, l what some people do is we'll write some crazily long spiel about, uh, whatever, you know, like, uh, this is just so outrageous, I'm aggrieved, it's disgusting and all that. I just thought, well, all right, if that's how they are, I'll go somewhere else, you know. Like, that's, that's what any reasonable person would do, not, not, not just like, oh, thanks mods for being, like, power-hungry, crazy mother, what, it, what a load of old shit. King and real, yeah, rail, and, and I'll I'll write your name on my name on my man boobs if you gift one thousand subs as well. I won't. Don't do that. <laughs> it's just I I, I don't know I, I know with but I'm on for twelve hours. There's lots of times to time to talk. That's kind of the part of Day Z really. But I do find that interesting how people can get so upset. Like, did they never get asked to be quiet at school by the teacher or something, you know? In a very different scenario, but, like, I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't really get it. Yeah, maybe, Amish, maybe. I've had older people, very much older. I had a dude that got a message deleted. Uh, I've told this before, but I'm going to say it again. So, I was on a diet, much like I am now. Uh, and this dude... Uh, this, like, I was literally saying I was really hungry and I wasn't, uh, I wasn't eating very much. The diet was on then. I'm doing 75 hard now, which isn't really a diet. This is working much better. But anyway... Uh, 
he typed this message sort of saying, I, for breakfast this morning, right now, I'm having this, this. And it was like a full English type thing. And he listed off all these ingredients and like really laboured the point about how amazing it was. And he was just winding me up, you know. I'm on a diet saying how hungry he is. And he's saying, well, I'm having eggs and bacon and this, that and the other and so on and so on and so on. And it just as a wind up, right? And one of the mods deleted it. And then immediately followed up with, just pulling your leg, you wound him up, we're, we're doing the same kind of thing, that kind of thing, you know, like, he's wound me up, so one of the mods kind of returned the favour for me, if you like, you know, and it was a joke, it was it was completely a joke. And then he did, got really annoyed like that dude just did, and, uh, like, went off in a half, he got a ten minute timeout after arguing with the mods, and then he, then he got himself a ban. <laughs> in fact, no, he didn't, he just got the ten minute timeout and never came back. And then he went back and he, he tipped me $30 and $20 separately. He, uh, like two months before, he went back on his PayPal and refunded the tips. <laughs> well, he tried to. He tried to charge back the tips. So he, he got a message purged. And so he went and tried to charge back the tips. Uh, that's what he did. Uh, but he didn't work, though. He, uh, he, he, he tried to charge it back. I, I disputed it with PayPal. Oh, look, there, we had a mag for that over the other place. That's the JMC prototype. I had a mag for that. That sucks. I, I need to take the vest and sort of try and sort out my inventory. I'd love to take that, but I'm not going to. That sucks because there was a mag with 10 bullets in it. The nice thing about PayPal is if somebody disputes something, they obviously give you their email address. So once he got it, uh, once he got the, uh, oh shit. Okay, maybe I should be taking tetracycline then. Once it got declined, I sent him an email with a with a, just a one line that said, "Sorry, I don't want your money anyway. Sorry, you didn't you didn't get away with it." And I sent him a link to where I'd sent it to charity with a little little mention of who it was from. <laughs> that was kind of cool, you know. So he, he never replied to that email, but uh, nonetheless, I don't want you fucking money, but it went here. Right, the vest is good. I'm going to have to try and really work out what I'm doing with the uh, with the stuff in this bag now. I, I'm going to struggle a bit, I think. Because I'm carrying so much meat, but like food is pretty useful, it turns out, in a survival game, you know? Is the chainmail worth it? You're better off with the vest, I think. And you can wear the chainmail as well, can't you? You can wear the chainmail as well. It, it does give you ballistic protection, so if you... If you combine it with the uh, with the other one, you're getting like double bubble, aren't you? You know, like, it is worth it from that respect. Yeah. What am I missing to get to the ice? Only gas filters and maybe a boat as well if I can find one. I need I need gas filters for the gas mask or a shitload of chlorine. Uh, a shitload of uh, not chlorine charcoal tabs. Savage Panda, thank you, dude. Do I have much planned with the kids in the summer holidays? Not at the moment, Kuna, no. I've got them for two weeks. Uh, I think it's going to be mainly days out. We've not booked a holiday this year. Mainly a bit like a week, like a staycation type thing. We weren't really sure earlier in the year how the dog was going to be. You know, We don't want to leave the dog on, like with family for an entire week. And uh, we didn't want to take him somewhere because his behaviour at the turn of the year and for the start of this year has been pretty bad. You know, He's, a, he's much better now. He's just a young puppy. But he's 15 months old. I don't really want to take him at 15 months old. Like, they, Spaniels are really fucking mental, right? And part of the breed, you know, everyone knows it, but when they get to like 2, 3, they really calm down a bit. And I think that probably makes sense. So we're going to do days out, maybe a couple of days away somewhere, like, but just sort of take it ad hoc and see how we go, you know? Mm. 
Right, I definitely need that. Uh, slot racer, thanks for the too much watch for. Uh, uh, people get offended too easily now. Maybe I, I, I think there's there's two. Sometimes people have a have a fairly like. There's two sides to that. People, I do agree, people get offended over nothing. But also people want to be able to drop absolute hate bombs and think that it's okay. Like, it's just, like, I'm just sharing my opinion. So, I think there's two sides to that, you know. Like, people want to say whatever they think they want to say about anybody. And that's fine, because they're not a real person or whatever. It's just on Twitter. Like, if a footballer misses a penalty, like, footballers get absolutely dogs abuse, you know. For example, you know, like, I know they get paid a lot of money, but, uh, like... Do you know what I mean? There's two sides to that. People are easily offended, but people are far too easily offensive, you know? Art man, I, I don't think so, no. I, I could be wrong, but I really don't think it's very common. Some streamers do some stuff, but I don't think that's a common thing, no. Need those 40 bullets. This is, this is twisting my melon. But yeah, people are too easily offended. However, sometimes things are offensive, you know? Like, somebody said something on Twitter on Friday, Thursday last week that I found pretty offensive. And they clearly think it's okay to just make up whatever shit they want, you know, like, uh, but anyway, nonetheless, you know, people say things that can be quite offensive <laughs> and they just expect you to take it. I don't understand the prevalence of people wanting their opinions to be heard. Well, I think everyone has an opinion. I think social media has been an amazing thing for people sharing ideas and stuff, but... I definitely think we've become back, more Joel. like that. Now, I'm streaming right now. I think, like, I, I say my opinion all the time, you know. I say my opinion on things all the time. But that's part of being streaming. You're going to say what you think. But I try and walk a line, you know. I might not say, I might say someone's not a very good actor. But I never really go at somebody personally, you know. There's a, there's a difference between saying so-and-so is not a very good footballer I and mean, to be fair if someone's a bit of a knob i might call it out from time to time i don't know like a like a celebrity or something but there's a line not to cross isn't there you know and a lot of people don't know where that line is and they, they just cross it whenever they fuck they want you know maybe he doesn't like the holster oh shit yeah i don't like the holster i'd forgotten it was there to be honest uh, Regan, thank you very much. Bring back jewels. Yeah, I try when I can. And maybe I fail from time to time. But I try when I'm talking to anybody to talk like I would if they were face to face. The problem with that is when you when you say something that you mean as a joke face to face, it can be taken a lot better than when you say something as a joke on the internet when people read it just as cold text and then get annoyed. But yeah, I, I try to... I try to talk to people on the internet the same as I'd talk to people in real life. It's always better to have too much freedom of speech than speech than too little. It depends on the context, dude. You don't need freedom of speech in my front room, do you? You know, like, that's the point, you know, like, if you go around someone's house, you don't get freedom of speech because you're in someone else's house. And if they don't want to talk about politics, then you kind of need to respect their wishes. And it's the same in a chat room, you know, like, I, I think freedom of speech is fine, except for when people just want to say something crazily offensive to create a reaction, you know. I, I'm, I, some streams enjoy that and some chats may well enjoy it, but that's not what I like, you know, that's not for me. Have I used Bertie the Budgie IRL? No. 
Definitely not. I'm going to take those just in case we get plate carrier, maybe at the next heli or something. I think freedom of speech is right in the right place, but freedom of speech doesn't mean everywhere, does it, you know? If someone comes round to your house and starts saying that your missus is fat, you're going to kick them out, aren't you? Or maybe if you're a bastard, you might go, I know, like she's shouting from downstairs. I don't mean you. <laughs> but if someone comes round to your house and goes, cool, your missus has put on a few pounds, isn't she, fat cow? You know, like, like, you're not just going to go, yeah, yeah, that's right, dude, tell me more. Hose us some more, you know. You know like, like, you aren't allowed to just say what you think, are you, you know? Like, there, there's, there's politeness, there's... There's the right way to be, you know. There's there's the way to, to be about people. And if you're in your own house and somebody says something that offends you, you'll ask them to leave your house. That's a perfectly sensible concept. And people need to apply that concept to places like forums and, uh, like, Twitch chats and stuff, you know. that That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that, you know. Yeah, I know what the definition of freedom of speech is, but a lot of people just want it everywhere. And that, that's noble if that's what you want, but it might be what you want, but it doesn't mean you won't get offended and ask somebody to leave your house if they start saying horrible things, and then you don't want it, it seems, you know. I know that's a weird bit of a weird example, but it's the best one I've got, really. It I think it works. Freedom of speech is just not a license to be hateful, and that's okay, is it? You know, you can be asked to not do it if you go into a if you go into a store that has a no smoking policy and you start smoking you'll be asked to leave it's not much different is it well it doesn't matter if everyone thinks that way people can think what they like can't they but when you come in my house you have to not say horrible things otherwise you can fuck off you know like that that's it's my house isn't it you know like that's how it works i think Appreciating other people can feel differently about it is fine. Can you come in my house? Not right now, dude. No, I'm already, uh, I'm already struggling with uh, with a hard chair on my bum. This island has always got loads of helis on it. it it's really, really very common. the same bag I've already got. But it's not so good then. That jacket's better than my jacket. I, I don't really want to be fucking around with jackets here. There were shots here not long ago, but I do need space, so... No harm. I really fucking hate it when it does that. What's that? Oh, not another fucking prototype. I'm actually even closer to where the uh, to where the mag was now.
It takes s uh, soy boy rounds. Already hope you are well. Keep up the great work. It takes uh, sabo rounds, or spelt S A B O T, sabot. But you're not allowed to pronounce the T, otherwise gun nerds tell you off. Hello, what stream was the latest YouTube upload from I Fancy the long format version TRM uh, It was a couple of streams, uh, two weeks ago maybe, over a, perhaps a Monday and a Tuesday or something like that. I, can't, I honestly can't remember, but it wasn't one stream. Got a mine. It was the last life. swap gas canisters may need a bigger one later I don't have anything to swap it with unless you've seen one on the ground but yeah I'm oh you mean this one I, I just swapped one just before I don't know if there's one in here I'm really keeping an eye out for gas filters for the, for the gas mask at the moment how the fuck are we in emote only mode like what the, the fudge is wrong with people Do -do -do -do. Where are all the other players? Frybear, we've heard quite a lot of shots around here. I was shot to nearly being dead about 45 minutes to an hour ago. And we've heard shots since then two separate times. But I'm not going towards the shots because I'm trying to achieve something. So usually when I'm playing, if I hear shots, I'm going straight at them. But today I'm not doing that because I'm not trying to get shots. I'm trying to get, get a certain challenge done. I need gas filters. We might go down into the crater, crater and try and farm some, but... Isn't that really annoying? They're always like that. Another heli. That one is close. I think that one's in the crater, though. No, it's not. It's to the left of the crater. Uh, Titan dude, thank you for the raid. Plumber Mans, thank you for the resub. Ultimate, thank you very much for the uh, ultimate ads. Thank you for the 13. Regan, and uh, cheers for the bits too. Titan, I hope you had a good stream, dude. Thank you for coming in. I don't think I need the scope. I'm going to probably leave it. I'm not sure. I, I might not. But uh, I only need the scope if I'm using it as my primary weapon, which I'm not doing, you know, so... Tank, yeah, if you get the... There's two different colours of wood. If you get the uh, the lighter wood, the one that's normally on an AKM, that's the lowest recoil. Second lowest recoil is the AK-74 wood. Worst recoil is the polymer stuff. However, the polymer stuff is slightly more accurate at longer range, so that's your choice, you know. 
If you want long range accuracy, use the polymer stuff. If you want lower recoil, don't. Could be a gas cylinder or two in here. That could be a cool. <laughs> I'm going to go and check that heli. I probably should drop this gun. The only reason I've not dropped the Marlin is... Uh, Take that, that's it. The only reason I've not dropped the Marlin is I've only got seven blaze rounds and, and that doesn't feel enough. There was a bit, I'm not worried about a blue gas cylinder, that's fine. I, I, I would easily ignore one of those at a helicopter crash site. I, 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 didn't, I didn't even look for it, but no, I, I'm not too worried about that. It's kind of okay. It's not an emergency at all. I, I, I'm not going to go back for a, for a blue cylinder. Yeah, you can get them down here. I've actually looted the power plant several times on this particular server and not found a single gas cylinder. I can go and I can go and farm them down there because down there is there's loads and loads of gas zombies. But there's there's like a hell of a lot. There. That could be a challenge to actually do. But I might I might do it possibly. Our month's getting shorter. Sunny, uh, maybe, maybe they, they feel as they're getting shorter as you get older, you know. Now I'm approaching 38. The months are flying by, you know. Uh, Hazed, I've got the hammer. I'm looking for gas filters only and then I'm ready to make the trip to the ice sheet. It would also be nice to get a boat, but I need filters. I've got no filters at well, I've got one with no use out of it, so. I either need filters or a shitload of uh, charcoal tabs. The filter's going to be much easier. Is there filters in the crypt? Sometimes, yes. I wouldn't want to go to the crypt and be relying on it, though. Is the AK one of my favourite? No, I, I like, of the AKs, I think I like the 74 the best, but my favourite uh, assault rifle is the Org AX. It's just the most powerful of the assault rifles. I don't really need rapid fire so much. They're all pretty decent. All of the 5.56 assault rifles, even the M16, is good. They're all pretty decent. I was going to shoot again, but if I shoot again, I'm going to aggro them. If you shoot too close together, they don't like it. Not one bit. I'd like to take that battery, but I can never seem to fucking get the batteries. Oh 
sure that hit. What is with the loot on it? Jesus fucking Christ. It is not a day for helicopter crash sites, is it? Bloody hell. another helicopter landing somewhere. I would quite like to repair that mag, but I don't think I've probably got that many bullets left for this uh, this 22. You know, you normally run out of 22 bullets quite quick on Deer Isle. I don't, I've not even looked, but I don't think I've got many left. Yeah, I kind of like this this bag. The camel bag is quite nice. I quite like this bag, though. The camel bag takes two guns on it. But it doesn't have a few other things that this one does have, so I don't know. What do I prefer, the FAL or the Orge X? The Orge X. It basically works the same as a FAL, but you can get a 60-round mag for it. And a permanent suppressor, so... In terms of how they work, they both work really, really similar. The two of them. But the Orge X, easier to get bullets for, easier to get mags for, you can get a permanent suppressor, it's a no-brainer really. I, I, I really don't have enough gas here to go in into the zone, I'm just going to... I need to try and aggro the zombies to the edge, there's usually loads of Zeds down here. God, if I go into that any more than once or twice, I'll, I'll fucking get, I'll die. I ain't going to be able to aggro Zeds out of here very easily, am I? I can't... Oh, there's some there. <coughs> oh, fuck me, Paul. Don't, 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 don't. I can't take that. that. Like, that is a huge risk. Love the video yesterday. Uh, I haven't got a saline start kit, so there's no point taking my blood, because I can't give it to me anyway. This sucks. I need to, I need to get them to follow me and then I need to run out. Which is not so likely to be working to be honest, but we'll see. Another heli.
shit, my stamina's out already. Oh shit. Love it when a plan works. Alright, this is going okay, but I am making a lot of noise for other players. I only kept this gun for killing zombies. This is working really well, actually. It's good because it one-hits the Zeds as well. Shit. Someone's just took a shot at me. I think it's time to go. We've got enough. Time to go. Yeah, someone's shooting at me from a long way away. Other side. So when you're wearing a gas mask, you don't actually get your stamina back very quickly. But I don't want to take the gas mask off yet, because he'll fucking kill me, won't he? Right, that's enough. I thought you could combine them. Obviously you can't combine them, but never mind. We've got we've got plenty though. We can work it out. I've just got to try and work out how I'm gonna fit them in my inventory now. You have to put them in your hands, dear. Okay. I need I really need to uh really need to get somewhere and and to hide my uh, get my I can't get my gun out at the moment even you know like this sucks but I, I want to keep running more than I want to uh, do anything else Hasn't fucking worked, has it? I've still got a filter in my hands. The bag, the bag. I don't think it might have a slightly bit more space in, but I'm not gonna. I'm not going back to the heli. That dude's gonna be coming around the crater. He'll be coming around the crater when he comes. Uh, I don't want to be anywhere near where he thinks I'm gonna be. He's probably thinking I'm gonna be flanking, trying to kill him, and I'm gonna be running away like a like a scaredy cat. That's it. I, I, it was already. I would have gone back. It, it would have been fine. That was good. That that was good. The Marlin was very cool for that.
Can anyone tell me what you get? What you get from the crypt? You get a key card that takes you to an aircraft carrier. Well, the key card doesn't, but you need it for the aircraft carrier. There's a four-part series on my YouTube channel, dude. If you get the chance, Daisy's Hardest Lone Wolf Quest, parts one, two, three, and four. It's the entire Deer Isle adventure from start to finish. So if you want to know how it works and what's at the end, watch that video. I don't have a boat. I wish I did. There's not a server restart for nearly two hours either. What's the best starting spawn in Deer Isle? Um, it depends. I like the ones that spawn near the rocks that allow you to run to Behringer. I quite like those ones, but... Uh, they're, they're all kind of similar. It depends what you want to do, you know. But the, the spawn that, that allows you to run across to Behringer gets you to good loot early, and you can maybe go to Alcatraz too, but sometimes you might spawn in and stumble on a boat, you know. That would be an epic find, you know, but... I think it's very subjective. Like, even on Chernerus, there are pe Some people love spawning in, uh, like... Cherno Town or sit close to it. Some people love spawning in Svetlo. Like, different people have different opinions on that. There isn't really, like, one best. Whoa, here. I don't really have uh, any bullets for that. Like, have I got hardly any bullets for the blaze? But if we're going to have to do this whole journey on foot, I am going to need to. Uh, I'm going to need to get a wriggle on. I think I've only got seven bullets for the blaze, which is incredibly low. But we'll get more probably. We'll probably get more in the crypt. in the police. Well, if you say so. Thanks for the nine months. Poman, Switch Baby, Open Source, Zella, Oosty, thank you for the resubs. Parker, thank you for the resub as well, dude. I think it's called Deer Isle in Maine, isn't it? That's why. It's based on an area that's called Deer Isle in real life. That's why. Sorry, Paul, just tuning in. What's the plan? Same as it's been for about two and a half weeks, dude. You've been watching a bit in the last two and a half weeks on Deer Isle. It's the same as that. Yeah, I want to watch Oppenheimer. Uh, I think uh, the cast looks great. Like you say, I think I looted that enemy already. The cast looks great. Christopher Nolan's a legend, although maybe his last couple of films have not been my favourite of his. But I, I hope Oppenheimer's good. I, it, it should be, shouldn't it? It's got it's got fucking smash written all over it. You know, like I'm sure it'll be a good film. Robert Downey says it's the best film he's ever been in. See, I hope he's right, by the way, but the worrying thing is that sometimes actors think they're in an amazing film and it turns out to be a real turkey, if that makes sense. Like, they never, la they think they're doing something amazing and then it's the same with YouTubers in a way, but to much lesser degree. You think you've just made your best video ever, but it gets no views, or that's often to do with the algorithm, really, but it'll be interesting to see. I, I hope it's, I hope it's really good. I hope it's a fucking banger. Best 
use of my prime sub. Thanks for making my morning work routine better, Paul. Ah, oh, dude, thank you very much. Cheers for the continued support. Thank you for the 11 months. Smithers, thank you for the 44. Day Z Expert donated $5. Why are there always people in the stream that yell instantly stream sniper when someone shots at you? Predictable like a five-year-old throwing a tantrum in the supermarket. Uh, it's not just this chat. That's the whole of Twitch. It's just part of uh, it's part of it. It happens everywhere. I don't think it happens as bad here as it does in some others, believe it or not. But I don't know. Like If you're in the middle of a fairly militarized zone shooting zombies with a big rifle... You're likely to attract some attention, aren't you? It's pretty obvious there, but I think it's something just people say, and sometimes I think people say it just like, I don't know, it's a bit like supporting a football team and shouting, referee, when they know it was actually a foul, you know? I, I think that's kind of like a little bit... You could be watching football, and your team, your player, like goes sliding in and pulls off some horrific tackle, and you know it's a foul, but you're going, fucking hell, ref, have a word line, oh, fucking, like, all that, like... Like, like all that, and you know it's a foul, but that's what happens. It's kind of the same sort of thing, I think. How old am I? 38. The referee's a sniper. <laughs> Has Downey featured in any good movies at all? Uh, Natural Born Killers is pretty decent, I'd say. Uh, just trying to think. He's in other films that you don't realise he's in. What's the war film Robert Downey Jr.'s in? He's in a decent war film as well. I, I, Tropical Thunder and Air America, they're both okay. I thought he was in a, maybe it was Tropic Thunder, but I, was th I thought he was in another one. I might have been thinking of Air America, to be honest. Wow, 21. TGA, well, I, I just, yeah, I'm 38 on Friday, so I might as well say that, you know, there's no point lying and saying I'm younger when I'm 38 in three days, you know. I thought it was in, like, Where We Were Soldiers or something like that. Those, uh, those kind of cheesy uh, Sherlock Holmes films weren't terrible. They were okay. I know Mel Gibson was in it. He was in something like that, unless he was in Platoon or something. I, he's in some films where you forgot he was in them, though, but I don't know. I, I haven't got, I haven't got uh, like, IMDb in front of me to go and check. He was in Zodiac, I think. Yeah, Zodiac is good. Mr. Popper's Penguins is Jim Carrey. He was in US Marshals, wasn't he? He was the... Uh the jumped up like swatty guy like the, the like the the guy from outside the unit why am i eating this I'm, i've i've got yeah let's not eat anymore He was the villain. No, Wesley Slipe Snipes was the villain. He was the criminal. I remember it well. He was the criminal. He was he, he was convicted fairly, and then he escaped and was being chased by, like, have to search every farmhouse, hen house, dog house, and outhouse, and all that, you know. Yeah, you're right. Uh, dude, dude, old matey, old duda. Make a pint of wine. He he was in. Uh, he was in uh, Platoon, wasn't he? Yeah, 
Gibson's best role is Lethal Weapon. I I would say his best films are probably uh, The Patriot and possibly Braveheart. Now, TRMZ love. If you don't include his direction of Apocalypto. Mad Max was good. I, I think I'd rather watch... I've seen them all. Mad Max is kind of fun, but I definitely think Patriot, The Patriot and Braveheart probably stand up as better films of all time. What Women Want is what that film was called in the UK. What, what Women Want. I don't know if they'd make that anymore. Womanizer. Reads, reads brains to, to get in knickers. Conspiracy theory is good, as is Payback as well, or whatever it's called. That one's good. Paycheck, payback, close enough. Heartbreak Ridge. Uh, I don't know. I can't remember that one. I, it, I always think of the one with the uh, Axel Ridge. I get the two confused. His best movie is clearly Chicken Run. I think he. I like the Lethal, lethal Weapon films. Well, the first one is amazing. The second one is alright. The third one is kind of okay. And the fourth one I think is terrible from what I remember. I think there was talk of them making another one. I watched Bird on a Wire uh, about a year or two ago on Netflix. It's not aged very well. Bird on a Wire is not very good. Yeah, Heartbreak Ridge. That sounded like Clint Eastwood, yeah. Have I seen True Romance? Yeah, a couple of times. That's actually not aged as well as I thought. I, I watched some of it the other day. It's not quite as good as it, I loved it at the time. Uh, it's got that great ditty in it that's uh, like Hans, uh, what's Hans Zimmer. That there's that song that runs through True Romance that's been in about 50 billion films ever since. Yeah, we were soldiers. I've seen it. I've only seen it once, and I was kind of half. I say this a lot. I was a little bit drunk, and kind of nodding off. Oh, I wasn't that keen at the time, but I think I need to watch it again because it is meant to be amazing. Yeah, I've seen Edge of Darkness. That's good. That's pretty good. Golf Punk, uh, Stormtrooper, Tiny Man Tech, thank you for the resubs, all of you guys. Viking Beard as well, uh, cheers for the resub, and Daisy Expert, thank you for the tip. Man on Fire is great, that's Denzel Washington though, right? I think The Revenant's a really good film, I don't think it's hot garbage, but to each their own. Best Nicolas Cage film, uh, fucking hell. It's certainly not, it's certainly not Con Air. <laughs> Conair was great at the time. It's not great now. I, I, he's been in some serious films. I quite like The Rock. I, it, it, no, the, the face-off and Conair have really aged badly, I think. Uh, I think of his action films, definitely I'd go with The Rock by a mile. Uh, he's been in some properly serious films in the past as well, though, hasn't he? You know, he's, he's not always done... What's the one, uh, the LA Confidential, isn't it? That That's pretty decent. Uh, Gone in 60 seconds is turgid dross, I'm sorry to say. it. It's it's not a great film, that. that, that I t again, to each their own. If you like it, you're not wrong. You, you like it, you like it, but... Uh, yeah. No, no, no. Gone in 60 seconds is not a good film. Keep up the good work, young lad. Uh, 
I still name my cars because of that film. I've never named a car ever, actually. I've never done that. Eleanor. That was the name of the, the best car, wasn't it? Eleanor. Bad, that remake of Bad Lieutenant Tenant was awful. If you're going to watch Bad Lieutenant, you've got to watch the one with Harvey Keitel. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen Martial Law, no. I'd say we're suitably far enough away now to, to, I shouldn't say this out loud, to not get shot by the suppressed guy that was shooting at us before. I am really hungry. IRL hungry. Best Tom Hanks movie. Uh... Oh, he's been in some good films, isn't he? Saving Private Ryan is a really, really good film. The two he won Oscars for are good. I, Philadelphia is very, very good as well. Philadelphia is a really good film. Uh, that's tricky. Like films like The Burbs, for example, and Big. I, I watched them quite a lot when I was a kid. They're not his best films, but they're really endearing films, you know? Like people pick with their emotions sometimes rather than just trying to score them like compared to every other film. Uh, uh, Terminal's pretty decent. I quite like The Terminal. Tom Hanks isn't in the Shawshank Redemption, but The Green Mile is a very good shout. The Green Mile might be his best film. I think that's a good shout. It's one that you can kind of forget that he's in, but yeah, The Green Mile may well be his uh, his best film. Certainly if you look on IMDb, I bet it's his highest, his highest rated. Yeah, Forrest Gump is right up there as well. Look, he's been in so many films. I really like Forrest Gump. I really like that that one. That might be the one I I might pick, but I think Green Mile is probably if you were trying to score them like against every film ever made, probably Green Mile is the one that gets gets the top mark. Fucking hell, Apollo 13. He's been in everything. He, he, he's he's been in all the all the movies. I looted this, I'd have an absolutely epic chance of getting more 308. But I feel like I'd have an epic chance of getting shot in the face as well. There's the 308. <laughs> Let's just leave it now. That'll do. That'll that'll do. Thank you very much. Cheers for providing. I'll be eternally grateful. Hey Lucas, thanks for coming in. Filthy Molina, thank you for the 33 months, dude. Who was the actor that died that did Miss Doubtfire? Robin Williams, comedian slash actor. And absolute legend as well. Road to Perdition is quite a good film. I think Road to Perdition isn't that Paul Newman's last uh, last role where he's actually in it. 
he, he played Lightning McQueen in the Cars films, didn't he? But, like, Paul Newman's one of my favourite actors, and I've got to be honest, I've not seen loads of the films he's been in. I've seen some, but I just really like The Colour of Money. <laughs> uh, and so, hence, I like... Uh, I, I like uh, I like Paul Newman loads, you know, but he, he's been in some crackers over the years. I've seen quite a few. Of them. Yeah, Butch and Sundance being a very good film too. Uh, he wasn't Lightning McQueen then, but it was one of the cars in it, whatever car he was in. If you're a watch nerd, then Paul Newman is known for motor racing and watches as much as he is for uh, as much as he is for the. Uh, I was hoping we might get a boat, you know. We, I did see a boat out here once. That's why I'm down this way. I'm just here in case there's a boat. Yeah, he uh, he's kind of renowned for motor racing, Paul. Stop Hudson, okay. I've seen a lot of the Disney Pixar films, or the Pixar films just back then. But I, I can honestly say that I've never watched Cars. My kids didn't... I've got two girls, and they weren't that bothered about watching it. I tried to put one on once, and it was terrible. I thought... I, 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 the kids weren't liking it, and I wasn't liking it either, so we put something else on. I like the 18 movie. I thought it was okay. It's not like the best movie ever, but I'd rather watch that than Gone in 60 Seconds. <laughs> and maybe that's harsh. They're, they're, not that it's terrible, but it was it was okay. I was a massive fan of the 18 TV show when I was a kid. I loved it. The 18 movie was just close enough and just did it just okay. Liam Neeson was good. Liam Neeson and Bradley Cooper were pretty decent. Char I know, to be fair, all of the cast were good. Charlton Co Charlto Copley as uh, Murdoch and uh, Rampage Jackson, is it? They were all pretty good. How curious, a 38-year-old that was a fan of the 18. Well, when I was in my early, uh, early years, they used to replay it a lot in the late 80s. When I was about five or six, they had a lot of it on the telly still. Uh, Wally is amazing, yeah. And cars might be great, I just could never really get into it. Like, cars talking just seemed a bit too far fetched. Welsh Goblin, I, I, I don't think that would be a good or a bad thing. I've seen Brokeback Mountain. I thought it was a bit slow. I thought it was a bit too slow and not enough happened for me. My mum liked Cagney. I can't stand Monsters Inc. It's a good film, but it used to be played when I was working in a TV shop. It was played on the DVD player. I've seen Monsters Inc. about 300 times, maybe more. Uh, I, I couldn't see it anymore. No. I'll kill a thousand kids before I see this company die! No, no thank you. Never again.
Nom nom nom. Steve Martin's in one of my favourite films, Planes, Trains and Automobiles. I, I think that, that's an absolute brilliant film. Watching Planes, I know it's a, I know it's a Thanksgiving film, right? But we don't have Thanksgiving in the UK, and it's all, it's also wintry, and it's similar to our Christmas Day Thanksgiving in, in terms of the celebrations and the meal and whatnot. So, watching Planes, Trains and Automobiles around Christmas time is a, oh, it's such a good film. John Candy is, it was a, I know he's been dead a very long time, but he was a loss. He was such a good comedy actor. Uh, Filthy Molina, thank you for the 33 months. Gold Punk, uh, Stormtrooper, Tiny, thank you very much. He really plays it well in that film because he's kind of, that, that film, like, like John Candy's character is really stupid in, like, slapstick in some places, but he does the heartfelt stuff just right, you know, really good. When I'm in a restaurant, do I say nom nom? No, I don't know. The Lost Boys was pretty decent. I, I quite liked it. Yeah, it was a pretty good film. The Great Outdoors has not aged as well as I thought. I saw that again. I, I saw that a year or two back. It's not as funny as it was. Well, like I remembered, like the old '96er and the Bears Bum, and like with with it being John Candy and Dan Aykroyd, it's like it's got like like memories, like quite fond ones. But if you watch it back now, it's not quite so funny as once it was. I don't think. When Gio with Tope. I don't know, I played with him a, a week or two back, maybe three weeks back. My my team up this week is with uh, Amish Shed, that's tomorrow. Your bullets are not on me. My wings are a shield of steel. Num num num. Because I'm too young to know who Bat Think is, dude. Am I going to watch the new Mission Impossible? Yes, but possibly not at the cinema. I'd like to see it at the cinema, but unfortunately, it's behind Oppenheimer and uh, it's behind Oppenheimer and Barbie in the uh, the order of things. Now, I'd obviously put it ahead of Barbie, but I, Oppenheimer's the film I want to see more than any other. My missus wants to see Barbie and she wants to take my kids to go. So uh, basically there's two films in front of it. So whether I get to go or not is debatable. Favourite Superman and Batman actors. Uh, Favourite Superman is Christopher Reeve. He's the only Superman for me. Like, Christopher Reeve is Superman for me. Uh... Favourite Batman actor? I don't think it really matters. Christian Bale and uh, Michael Keaton are both amazing actors, but you don't need to be an actor to, be, to play Batman. Batman is a role that you could give to anybody, pretty much, I think. I'm a bit worried. I'm running out to nowhere here. Am I going? What way am I going? North. I think I'm going to be running to the coast here and I need to go that way, but we'll soon find out. I think, in fact, I'm going to start going west. I think we're running to the edge of the coast. Let's go. No, I don't mean west. I do mean west. Yes, I do.
I think Ben, Affleck, ben Affleck's issue with Batman is a lot to do with the, the dialogue and the films that he's in, though, to, if I'm being honest. I, don't, I think the films are part of the problem. My favourite penguin is the, the original one, the, the Rocky's trainer. I can't remember his actor's name. It's on Burgess Meredith, I've got it I got his name. Burgess Meredith is my favourite penguin. For sure. That's kind of odd. And favourite Joker, uh Heath Ledger. I really like the film Joker. I think it's brilliant, but Heath Ledger was stunning. I, uh, I I don't I like Danny DeVito. I like him a lot. I like him a lot. Like films like Man on the Moon. Oh, Man in the Moon, I, I, whatever. Yeah. He's been in loads of other things as well. Loads and loads of things. Like Danny DeVito is an absolute legend. Twins is fucking brilliant. Never mind anything else. But uh, I, I can't have him as the Penguin. I, I love the Batman TV series. And I hasten to add I wasn't watching it when it was on. But the Adam West TV series. It got replayed to death in the UK over and over and over. And I liked it a lot. And... Uh, Burgess Meredith is the is the penguin for me. He's he's the penguin. But I I think Tim Burton is an acquired taste. And aside from the odd film here and there, I I've never acquired the Tim Burton taste. Best James Bond. My James Bond is Roger Moore. I saw a View to a Kill at the cinema. It was on a it was on a re-release ten years after it came out originally. Before someone says, "How would you see that in 1984 when you're actually 38 years old?" So yeah, I, it was on a re-release like matinee showing at the cinema on a Saturday morning. My dad took me. My James Bond is Roger Moore because I saw some of them at the cinema. Come back, yeah, I really liked it. I think it was really good. I think Sean Connery. I like Sean Connery. I know uh, he has some. Uh, he has some. When he when he died, he had a few people very keen to say his flaws, which he had some. But as a as I think, the, the, he's probably in more better James Bond films than anyone. And I think he is very good as James Bond. But Roger Moore just was, just was funny. He didn't take it so serious. Roger Moore's was just funnier. He didn't take himself very seriously at all. It just seemed like it was all a bit of a fun time, you know. Uh, I've not read No Country for Old Men. No, I haven't. I read the Blood. I read Blood Meridian, and I'm currently on about 460 pages through of the uh, Stand by Stephen King. I want Henry Golding to play James Bond. Golding is my pick for James Bond. A lot of people are going to say, we've done this conversation a lot, but the same names will come up, like always. Tom Hard. Henry Golding's my pick. There's a few fa If you watch The Gentleman, he's also a film that's not very good. He's in a film that's not very good called uh, Last Christmas or something, which is based on the Wham! song about last Christmas I gave you my heart and the very next day you gave it away, but it's literally... <laughs> It's not a very good film, but he, in that film, made me think, actually, you'd be fucking amazing as James Bond. I think Henry Golding would be a great pick. 
there's a, there's a lot of chatter as to who's going to get it, but who knows. Idris Elba's too old, by the way. I, somebody said that, I saw that. Idris Elba's not too old to play James Bond, but he's too old to be picked to play James Bond. Uh, and maybe that makes me ageist, but they make a film roughly every four years, right? They don't make them very often. If they pick someone, they're going to want him to do three or four films, chances are. Which means you're looking at 12 to 15 years, you know, probably. Uh, they're not going to pick someone that's going to be like uh, Granddaddy Bond by the time they've got through a few films. Henry Golding looks nothing like Ronaldo. Ronaldo's Portuguese. Henry Golding is definitely not. What kind of movies would I like to be in? Nothing serious. Henry Golding has said he won't do it as he combat as act. That sucks. I actually understand that. That's a real shame. But I, like, the amount of fuss there is over over like somebody getting the role, and it's like, well, James Bond's always been exactly like me, and they should be nobody else. Yeah, I think it's stupid. Unless you mean Idris Elba, but... Well, I would make a good James Bond if they wanted, like, a couch-surfing uh, potato Bond, you know. Who do I think will win the World Women's World Cup? Obviously England. Bodega, uh... My headphones were stupid expensive, but if you've got a separate mic, if you've got a separate mic, have a look at getting just headphones rather than paying for gaming headphones. So just get a pair of like good quality Sennheiser headphones or good quality Bayer Dynamic headphones and have the microphone separate. You'll get much better use. You'll get much better quality than buying a mic built into the headset, gaming headset. Did you see the Gold Cup between Mexico and Panama? What? I don't even know what sport that is. We won't need to do the jump of death, but we are going that way, yeah. We won't be doing the jump of death, though. We'll be doing the pinches of peril. Uh, I use one for my setup, JT. It's not particularly ex expensive. It's probably not quite good enough for my headset, to be honest. But I use a Zen Ify V2. Uh, it is listed in the specs. You, you don't need a headphone amp. To, it, like That's one thing to be wary of if you're getting separate headphones. Have, make sure you read up about them. You know, if they're if they're high impedance, you, you're going to need to get an amp as well. So, buying the right set that will just run straight off your headphone cable would be smart. But there are plenty of those around. Yeah, Audio Technica. Well, that's a microphone, AT2020. That's what I've got, I think. But uh, yeah, Audio Technica is decent as well. My, yeah, well, I, I, I'm talking about cabled headphones, really. I, I, I personally wouldn't ever choose wireless headphones myself. I'd much rather not buy wireless, personally, and uh, be able to get the best sound quality and not be paying for the, uh, the fact that it's wireless. Dog scratching on me. My little fucker. Not today, thank you, Toby. Desirous to take it easy.
cheap headset and expensive mic. I, I, I don't really see the point myself. Uh, like, I, no, nobody subs to a YouTube channel because you've got like a three hundred dollar microphone or something, you know. Like, some it got to uh, some it got to a million follows on Twitch, I think, with with a Sennheiser headset and the mic that was built into it that was not that great. Well, not a million subs, a million follows. Maybe, maybe. Uh, Robass, who used to, you know, who you got, he he got a million subs on YouTube using his headset mic. You know, like as long as you sound vaguely like you, then as far as content stuff goes, you're fine. But the the good sound quality makes a huge difference for hearing steps, picking out gunshots, like all sorts of things, especially steps in a game like that. That's such a big deal. Have I done anything with Summit? No, Ed White. No, I, he, he 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 followed me on Twitter a, a while back. I know two years, eighteen months ago, and stuff. And I that the last time somebody followed me on Twitter, that was like fucking hell. Oh, that was kind of cool, right? So maybe it was a bit longer than that, a couple of three years ago. But uh, Summit doesn't play Daisy very much, very often. And when he does, he's got people he already plays with. I've never tried to suggest playing with Summit uh, because he's already got people he plays with. You know, I. When you're somebody like me and you're asking somebody like him, it just looks like you're trying to, like, bask in his reflected glory. You know, please, please, can I play with you? Only I'd like all your viewers. You know, so I, I, I don't do that. My first headset was Turtle Beach. Redline, yeah, but when when Twitch chat bring it up, people just say things. You know, like. Twitch chat are always on, like, would you play with so-and-so? You know, I get it all the time. Summit will get it even more because he's got way more chat, you know? Like, if somebody wants to play, there, there's a way to arrange it. And, like, Twitch chat, like, my mate fans as you talk is not it. The kids call that clout chasing. Yeah, I don't know. There's a way to do it, though, you know? I, I, like, if somebody asks me to play, like, I don't feel like they're clout chasing. Except for in certain circumstances, you know, I. It happens very, very rarely. I've, I've, said I won't play with someone. Now it's nobody any of you are going to guess. It's certainly nobody that comes into this chat any any time soon. But I stopped playing with someone because they used to never watch the stream. They used to never be around, and then they'd suddenly turn up in the chat for about three days and talk a little bit. And I knew what was coming. I know they'll talk for a day or two, and then all of a sudden there'll be a Discord message. Do you fancy a team up? And then I wouldn't see him again for like six months, you know, like, it's <laughs> yeah, it's not Amish said. Like, that that used to happen a little bit, with one person ever. Uh, but yeah, that you, that that's, so I, I sort of said I'm not, no, not not anymore. You, like, I always know you're going to ask for a team up, because if you start talking in the chat for a day or two to butter me up. But no, I, I, that, that, I don't feel like it with me. I... I, th I think also Summit isn't a Daisy streamer, right? I, I, no, I don't. I don't mean that in a detrimental way. Summit's a massive streamer that's way bigger than Daisy. Uh, but if you're a Daisy streamer that's been playing for three years, then people might want to play with me because they're a Daisy fan. They play Daisy. They love it, and they know I play it a lot. And I've been playing it forever and a day, and I'm streaming it all the time. People that like Daisy fans are likely to ask people like myself to play, you know. And, and I think that makes sense. You, that, Whereas people asking Summit to play when he's mostly on other games, that's a bit more of a clout thing, I think. Excuse me, if someone's been playing DayZ for two or three years and they ask, it never feels like someone's clout chasing to me, ever. <laughs> right, Lord X. I have got to team up with Lottie soon. It's on a Monday. Might be next Monday, actually. Monday the 24th. Yeah, I think it's then. So, yeah, me and Lottie are teaming up on Monday. Do, 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 do. No redfish, no. Uh, they haven't. Uh, I do have a... I break this rule for when I play with Sour and Muller, but I only when I do a team-up, I only play with one other person because 
I try to still talk to the chat and still try to do the regular streaming. So when I do a team up, it's normally with one other player. I don't normally team up with two. I do with Sour and Muller because it's like a reunion of the Lights Out event, which we did really well in and we worked as a team and it was fun. So we do it again. But I try to only stream with one other player because it makes it easier for me to still be a streamer. I have played with Lax Diggle, uh, but it was on uh, the only way we could do it, it was on a Monday. I had to start, like, I normally start at half 11. I think I started at something like half 8 a.m. And he had to finish really late because he's in Australia. So normally he's finishing and going to bed just as I'm going live, kind of thing, you know. So the times that we stream and the parts of the country we, parts of the world we live in, just don't make it work, you know. First Monday of every month, pretty much, Rodney. Uh, Muller's in uh, Norway at the moment, but I, I still think it'll probably happen. But first Monday of every month. Nadju, I haven't. Probably for the same reason. Ben, Ben's normally finishing just as I'm starting. Hannah's, yeah, there you are. <laughs> I wish we had a boat. This would be so much easier with a boat. It's 4am in the east coast of Aussie land right now. Well, there you are. <clears throat> Here's a frustrating thing. I've got to run all the way around there to go over there. actually wonder if we might as well... I think we'll swim it. Like, it's definitely going to be... Look how far that is. That's like kilometres just to come back. I'm going to swim it. I wish there was a boat. No, it's the roof of a building of some sort over there. Will I be trying the new Washington map? I don't know anything about it, dude. You know, I, I've been playing Deer Isle. I've, I've got my head in the sand. Not really know anything about any other map at the moment. I do need a piss, but I, I don't want to risk going downstairs and going for a piss while I'm swimming across here, because I might get to the other end. Who got beef with me? It started my highest paying job ever and, and today, and funny enough, hardly anyone here has the attitude of a professional. Who got beef with me? Well, interesting that. You're on Twitch while you're at work. <laughs> or you might be done by now, but you're probably done and finished. But <laughs> I'd like to think you're, at, you're on Twitch while at work, though, on your first day. Uh, whisper, it'll come out, all being well, it'll come out on Sunday. When it's you, Sour and Miller. It's best here when you all play great together and the bickering is awesome. TRMZ love. Uh, Wildest Priest, dude. Thank you for the support. Really appreciate it. Thank you. They block, block Twitch at your work. Boo. I'm not going to lie, it feels like it's getting further away. Remember that mobile game? What, Yeti Sports? Yeah, I remember. I'll forget later though, but I remember now. Uh, Lord Axe, piss in your pocket. Fair enough. I hope you've got special pockets. I did in your interview, Fres. I don't know what... I, I did an interview on a podcast about six years ago. Fucking hell. GG for, for finding it. Uh, Frankie on PC. Uh, he hasn't made any videos for a little while, like 18 months or so. But 
Frankie on PC is the Daisy Don from like 2014. I'm really struggling to type whilst holding my phone. Oh, guys, one sec. Oh, he, he, he's admitted he staged some vids, uh, chill. Uh, everybody knows he, not staged, he was making them for entertainment, but I, I mean, I'm sure the one where he uh, shot down uh, Santa's sleigh. <laughs> Uh, people might not be surprised that he staged some, you know, but I think there was a, this is speculation on my part, but I think there was a time where people weren't very clear that some of it was, uh, like, planned in advance. But it was probably written in the video descriptions, but not very obvious, but it became obvious and it, was, it wasn't a secret. Maybe it might have been for a while. I wouldn't be playing Daisy were it not for Frankie's videos, so I'm very, very glad he made them. Uh, what was the podcast? Uh, it was the uh, the Daisy podcast, eighty-seven point eight or something. But honestly, it's so out of date now. It was before. It must have been like twenty sixteen, maybe seventeen or eighteen, perhaps twenty seventeen. Oh, I did do an interview. I don't think I talked about Frankie on PC on the radio interview I did, but that's certainly more up to date. DC Vingu, thank you for the four months. Uh, Chef, thank you for the raid. Sorry it took me a little while to get there, but thank you. Hope you had a good stream. Levi, thank you for the six months as well. Falcon, well, we've got a long way to go yet, even if I get to the other side here, you know, there's quite a lot of running and swimming to do yet. Did I, Topper? Interesting. Okay, so I did mention it in the... Okay, fair enough, then you're right. So, it wasn't the podcast, it was in the radio thing, so that makes sense. Yeah, that's cool, thank you. Me and Shroud would be brilliant. Well, he could do the shooting, I don't know what I'm going to do. Make up the numbers and be the bullet sponge, maybe. Jeff, dude, well, thank you. You loot shroud shoot. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it's a similar sort of thing. I didn't really say it with Summit, but... It's not the main reason why I'm never going to likely play with Shroud or Summit. The main reason is that I'm just not likely to play with Shroud or Summit. Because they've already got people to play with, right? But that aside, they don't start until about 10pm. And they stream through my night time. So they stream at the same kind of time that uh, that Sh Smoke would be streaming. You know, they, they Summit sometimes live a little earlier or a little later. But by and large, they stream when I'm asleep. You know, I'm... As cool as they are and as massive as streamers as they are, I, I wouldn't stay up until 5am streaming to play with uh, Emily Blunt. Never mind any other streamer. Do I have any hopes for any for Shroud survival game? Uh, I have hopes for any survival game, including that one, but until it comes out, I'm not, I don't really give it any thought, you know, like... When there's a game that's coming out tomorrow, I start thinking about it. When it's a game that's in development with no videos of it whatsoever, I, I don't give it any thought whatsoever. Uh, I don't think lag sharks to this game reach, no. I, I, Chernerus and Livonia aren't really in a place where there should be sharks, and they do try to get the game fairly authentic. Uh, I'd love them to add, like, fish and things, different types of fish, so you can catch different ones, but I don't see it, dude, no. I'd be allowed to stay up late. I'd, I'd, allowed's got nothing to do with it. I wouldn't do it, I'm afraid to say. I'm not, I'm not staying up till... 
till 4 or 5 a.m. Just not doing it. I'm sure it means I'm a miserable bastard, but I'm happy to be a miserable bastard that slept at a normal time. I only stay up till 5 or 6 a.m. if there's boxing on. Exitium, I'm running through a massive forest in low light conditions, dude. It's, it would be it would be rainy for everyone and for any streamer in these conditions. Alley vibes, I'm going north on the map to try and make my way towards an ice sheet, but we've got to go a long way. I kind of, I find it kind of fun staying up for the box. And the last one I stayed up for was the uh, Garcia fight, the one that Garcia lost to Tank, uh, Tank Davis, is it? That was quite a good fight. I enjoyed that. But I, uh, I've got the zone boxing, and uh, like, I thought I got it when uh, AJ fought the last time. I was like, well, this seems like a pretty good deal. AJ fight on uh, the AJ fight is free, and he's going to fight apparently another several times. So I'll pay for this to zone, and then I'll what that will give me the AJ fights. That's okay. And also, there's loads of other fights too. And I've watched a few others. I watched, I watched the uh, the Irish. Uh, uh, I can't remember the names. Was it Edwards that won? The Irish female boxer that had never lost lose to Chantel Edwards. Maybe I don't know. I might have got that wrong. But anyway, I watched that. That was good. And I watched the Tank Garcia fight. But now I've kind of forgotten I've got it, and I don't even check to see what's on anymore. So yeah, I need to get back to that. And nonetheless, the point I was getting to. I originally bought it thinking, well, I'll get AJ fights plus whatever, and the next AJ fight is on a fucking pay per view, so I'm I'm not I'm not paying for it. Fuck them. Was it Chantel Edwards that Katie Taylor fought though? If I got that right, I'm impressed. I I know Katie Taylor's a legend, but because Chantel Edwards is English, if that was her name, I'm bad with names, really bad. Uh, yeah, I was rooting for her because she was English. Am I going to watch Francis versus Tyson? I am a big fan of Tyson Fury, I, I, in terms of him boxing when he's boxing. Some things he says and so the way he behaves sometimes here and there, maybe not so much, but uh, on in a boxing ring, I'm a big fan, so I'd like to watch it. I, I don't know if I want to pay pay-per-view for that. If I would definitely pay pay-per-view for Fury against... Uh, I'd pay for Fury against AJ or Fury against uh, Usyk for sure, but I'm not sure about the Nagani one, I don't know. It's an exhibition. I, I don't really like paying pay-per-view for exhibitions. Hyper Pro, it's all good. Will Paul make it to the crypt? Well, to the crypt? Hmm. If I had a boat, we'd, we'd be fucking shooing, but I don't, so I'm not. Uh, did you start out playing mostly solo or was it streaming? Al, I definitely played a lot of solo before I was a streamer, so I, I used to do a combination of the two. So I used to play on my own intentionally to try and get footage for YouTube videos. And then I used to play with mates more for fun. And then occasionally there might be a video that happened while we were playing together. So if you want to make YouTube videos, I think you need to be Lone Wolf for a lot of it. Otherwise, I think Daisy's a really very good survival story type game. But if you're always using Discord or TeamSpeak or whatever, and you're always got mates, and you're always like talking about what you had for dinner last night, it's not quite the same. You lose the degree of the immersion in the videos, you know. So you need to. I've always done solo, always. Basti, thank you for the six months. Uh, DC Vingu, thank you for the four. Cheers for the support, guys. Thank you. TeamSpeak is still a thing. Uh, I was using it until about November last year. What is my number two survival game besides DayZ? If uh, I'm going to answer that in an on the fence kind of way, but this is the truth. If DayZ stopped being a thing today and it never existed, I'd replace it with Scum. I think I'd have to play Scum. Scum is the one that I'd play that has the depth to be closest to, to DayZ. 
It's not like Daisy in many ways. It doesn't have quite the same stories. But anyway, if Daisy was gone today, I'd be playing Scum. However, as a foil to play alongside Daisy for a bit of fun, I'd play Deadside. So, I, if Daisy stopped being a thing today, Deadside wouldn't replace it to be... It's not in-depth enough to replace it. But as something to play for three, four, five hours a week, as well as, Deadside is great. Uh, I'd probably try Rust, Steve-O. I've never been... I've never really felt any incentive to try Rust over the years. Uh, I, I trade one or two, tried one or two games in that kind of mould where you, you like grafting a base. Uh, it's not really my style, but yeah, I, I, I'm sure I would enjoy Rust if I got over the, the initial bit. But. I played a little bit of Armour 3, Ed White, but... Uh, Ed, Ed Whitney, sorry. I, I only played a little bit, mostly King of the Hill. I never played the Daisy mods for Armour 3. Thoughts on the day before? I don't have any thoughts, dude. It's been delayed and delayed and delayed and the videos look a bit shit. The, the trailers are like copies of other games and stuff. I, I haven't got any thoughts about it at all other than I'll wait until it comes out and then see if there's actually a game. Eighty-one percent of your Tesla calls. What does that mean? Is that uh, is that like stock trading? I presume that, that like, stock traders talk in a language that only they understand. Excited about Starfield? Nope. I'm long Tesla calls. Ah, okay. Yeah, I still don't speak. T if you say you're long Tesla calls, that to me means you're on the phone to customer service, and they ain't picking up. Been gone for a while. Glad to be back. Keep running. <laughs> You've been on the phone. You've been on the whistle. They want to blow at them for ages, and they keep putting you on hold. The kitchen's great, yeah. Yeah, I don't. I, obviously, I've never looked at trading at all, and I, I, I traders talk in code to try and confuse people that don't do trading. I'm sure of it. I think it's intentional so that you can't just go and pick it up really easily, you know. Like, uh, but anyway, that aside, I. Uh, I, I'm not interested in trading. I, I'm, I'm sure it's great for the first people that know what they're doing, but if I buy something, it says as an investment for years, it's not for a trade for the day or week or whatever. I'm not really looking for a boat. I'm going the way I need to go, but I'm trying to keep an eye out in case there might be a boat too. So I kind of am, but I'm not. We need to keep going up this coastline to try and get towards where the ice sheet will be. But if I happen to have a... Uh, if I happen to get a boat along the way, then so be it. You know, a happy little accident will do for me. Trading is gambling with a suit on. Well, I think a lot of traders do it at home in their pants, to be honest. I feel like trading is gambling, but with, with no clothes on. From the bed with a laptop. And then I think what most traders do is then post an Instagram of them standing on the bed with their laptop in their hand going, I'm wearing my pants and I just made 20 Gs. Ha 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 ha. I see quite a lot of that kind of crap. Deletes Instagram post. There's one in the, there's one Instagrammer that keeps popping up on my feed, that keeps making these fake ass videos. He lives in this house that looks quite expensive, and he's definitely painting himself out to be like richer than he is. He may well be very wealthy, you know. Fair play to him if he is, but like his house is like a shell. He's like I'm living the I'm living the dream life, million millions in the bank and all this. And he shows a couple of watches that may be real or may be fake. They're probably real. But then you're seeing bits around his house. It's like an empty shell with no fucking furniture and, like, just bare as you like, you know. 
Uh, but the videos are all like... Uh, there's one I've seen that was like... I I, uh, I left my car in a locked in a locked uh, court on, in my house with the keys in it. And one, one hour later it was gone. No, no. I left my car locked. Uh, keys in the house. In, inside locked gates in, uh, in England. And, and it was stolen in an hour. And then it cuts to him in Dubai and goes, I left my car with the door open, my keys in the ignition with the engine running and my watch and my wallet on the seat and came back three hours later and it was all still there. You're like, it's just such a crock of shit, that. It needs, <laughs> like, it, <laughs> such, like, I'm sure Dubai is very safe and you can leave your keys like that and all of that. That's the bit that's not the crock of shit. He never had his fucking car stolen, did he? It's just bullshit. I really can't stand that kind of fucking thing. I, I, it's just so stupid. I hate it. Where are we? What server are you on? What's the best watch? Which whiskey should I buy? And I still cannot stop watching. Keep on running, Zed. Oh, Such dude. fun. Uh, thank you very much for the support. Uh, Nightly, thank you. Adol, thank you for the six month. Valentine, Basti, Chad, thank you for the resubs and the gifted sub. I live in Dubai and I tell you, Dubai is really safe. I, I, I completely understand that it is. That The video this twat's made, I don't dispute the fact that Dubai is safe. I dispute the fact that he had his car stolen at two o'clock in the afternoon when he left it locked there behind gates for an hour. That bit's the bullshit, right? And people do have their car stolen, but that was just horseshit, wasn't it? It's not true. Ed, I have a Discord, exclamation Discord in the chat. One of the mods might do it. There you go. Uh, I'm not saying it'll definitely work, but there is a section for trying to team up. Uh, one thing I suggest you do is say... Uh, if you're going to... Never mind my Discord anywhere. Uh, if you want to find somebody to team up with randomly in a in a Discord or a forum or whatever, put a very few brief details about yourself. You know, just say something like, I'm playing on day, playing Daisy on Friday at 8 o'clock. Does any, anybody fancy teaming up? Um, I'm in my 30s based in whatever country. You know, you don't need to say much more than that. But people are like, if somebody say 45... They might not bother trying to team up, but if you say you're in your 30s, they'll go, oh, all right, then. you know, or likewise, if somebody's 18 and you say you're like 20, then yeah, fair enough. But if you say you're 50, they might not But that that people want to kind of play with someone that's a bit like them sometimes, you know, so that that kind of works. But pe people that just say, hello, uh, I'm looking for a team up. It's very rare that you see those actually work. And the reason is simple. Nobody knows who you are. Do I have a self-promote on my Discord? No, I don't, Scary. Uh, this might relate to some of your antics on Twitter, so apologies for this, but I don't like to spam anything, Scary, so... I have my own Discord, but I don't spam everyone with when I go live, because I'm not about spamming people with stuff. Just like when I started on YouTube, I didn't spam all the big YouTubers and streamers to say I just released a new video because it's just spam and it doesn't work. <laughs> uh, you you kind of... Like, forums work. Oh, there's a boat there, look. Oh, you bastard. Yeah, it's not really spam in your own Discord. Some people have, like, a going live message, but I've got Twitter... Twitter reaches a lot more people, and I'm manually writing it myself. It's not like a bot. A bot that spams when you're going live, to me, is just literally, it's spam. It's like soulless. And that's my view. I, I, other streamers might have those in their discords, and I'm not trying to say they're wrong. You know, wh whatever people do is what they do. But if I, at least if I'm going live on Twitch, I'm writing the tweet and I'm talking to my audience, rather than having some bot that's just notifying people when I go live. Am I on threads as well? I'm not, no. I have an Instagram account, account, which is just dead. I just use it for following people. There's a Running Man's Instagram account, but it's not me. It's someone pretending to be me. Uh, so I can't have threads under the name The Running Man's because I can't have... Uh, I can't have The Running Man's Instagram account. I probably should try Redline, but I don't really want to start posting to Instagram. Like, there's someone pretending to be, be on TikTok as well, at least one. What, the one in TikTok has got a fucking donate link where he's trying to make money, you know? Like, it's not me. 
I'm sure I can claim it friendly, but I think you can only claim it if you actually want to start posting on Instagram, you know? It's, it's just tricky. I ain't got the time or the, the fucking energy for, for anything more than I'm doing right now at this, this moment. Oh, I should, I should try and get the threads thing, but to be fair, dude, it doesn't really matter. If I had to call myself the running man's and there was a little Z more on the end or something, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't matter, would it? You know, it, it, if I had to call myself the and slightly spell it or the underscore running man's or so, whatever, you know, it really isn't that big of a deal. Totally not far. You, there's a way to get yourself out of this stream, you know. There are a well around here somewhere. <laughs> no, I've done this. I've done the temple hyper. We're on the way to the crypt. This rain is a really bad thing. Rain when you're trying to go to the crypt is a fucking shitter. Yeah, 1,400 follows and no posts. That's that's kind of good, isn't it? The people that do that are doing it solely to try and get money from the person when they want the account. That's why someone's done that. You know, people do that kind of stuff. There's probably a running man's kick already, but like I was saying earlier, I, I've got really no plans to go there, so... I can't remember where the well is. I'm sure there is a well around here somewhere. Here it is, look. I need to drink as much as I can. I think people, I, I only saw the tail end of that question that Topper was answering. People will help new players. I think people will help new players, but I think you're more likely to get help if you talk in the game than any other way. Like, if you're in a forum, you might do okay if you say, look, bit, I'll be completely honest, I'm not really sure what I'm doing. Is anyone around to help show me the ropes a bit? You'll probably get a taker. People will be quite keen to do that, I reckon. But, uh... If you keep your mic on and you, you stay near the spawn areas and keep talking to players, you'll find an experienced player that will help you and team up. I've done that myself loads over the years. But people that have got, even people that shoot people, if they realise you're new, they may well take you on an adventure, you know. Not everyone will, but some will. So keep your mic on and keep talking to people in the coastal areas and don't be afraid to say you, you don't really know what you're doing, you know. It's not a bad thing to do. It's also one of the oldest tricks in the book to try and pretend to be friendly and act like you're not very uh, dangerous when actually you've been playing the game for years. But if somebody's got lots of hours in the game and you say you've not got many hours, they'll know if you're lying or not. Almost certainly. That it Running Man's Instagram actually links to your channel. Well, there we go. At least there's that. But it's not if you're not posting, it's not doing anything, is it? But at least there's that. I think it's very hard to underestimate, or very easy to underestimate, just how often you can team up if you talk nicely, if you sound like a fairly level-headed kind of person and you talk in the spawn zones. It's very, very viable still, despite what people say about it not being, it really is.
just in here. It was a different house with the same kind of thing. I'm just waiting around at the moment, solely so I can drink more at the well. I want my hydration to be as close to full as possible. There are nights in this server, yep. I haven't got a boat snap back, but I'm nearly up to the point where you can start swimming. What's the next part of my journey? I'm trying to go to a crypt. I've got a... I've got to do a fairly long swim, followed by a cr trip across an island, and then a very, very small swim. And then we're set. That's the ice sheet there, in the distance. I'm not swimming that far. That's how far you used to have to swim. But if we keep running this way, there's another island up this way. We're going to swim to that one. It's actually cool with the new rig. When I was doing this before on my old rig, no matter what, no matter what the, the weather was like, I couldn't see that island. My view distance was too short. It was such a nightmare trying to set off for an island you couldn't see. Boats are still in, dude. It's just that the server restarted quite a long time ago, half an hour ago. In half an hour, the server's going to restart again, so I, I was on Behringer Island when the server reset. I checked both boat spawns that I know of. There wasn't a boat, and so, yeah, no bueno for me. Do I recommend joining high player account servers as a new player? Depends what you're looking for. If you're looking to experience the best version of DayZ, or the real DayZ, Joining a server where there's a chance of bumping into players is a good idea, but <coughs> if you're really, really new and you just want to learn about dealing with zombies and finding some basic gear and learning the map a bit, nothing wrong with playing on an empty server or a very, very low pop server. Why not? You know, I did. I did a bit. The thing you don't want to do, what a lot of people do is they'll play official and they'll play on an empty server for hours and hours and hours. They'll play for like 20 hours, like collecting loot and like getting an SVD and all these crazy good gear and and then, like, they've never PvP'd. They switch to, a, like, a full pop official server and get killed in three seconds, you know? It's just, like, just just play for a while, experience the game, learn the map a little bit, but try to start playing, even if you're playing mid-pop, you know, if there's, like, 20 or 30 players in the map, you know, make sure you've got your mic on. When other people start talking to you, that's when the magic usually starts happening, right? You know, don't, don't miss out on that because you're not, you're always in empty servers. I think personally as well, once you've got to a certain point, once you've got a little bit of experience, you'll always get the, in my view anyway, for what type of game I like, you know, different players will have different views, but you'll always have much more fun trying to gear up on a full pop server, because the, the cool things that happen when you're shot at and you ran away, I just got shot at at the crater a, a good while ago now, but I'm trying to get filters from a zombie and I'm shooting the filter, shooting the zombies, farming the filters. Then I'm getting shot at by a suppressed sniper, so I have to escape away and, and like, just run. You know, if you're on an empty server, that you don't get that. You just shoot the zombies, get what you want. You always get what you want on an empty server, you know. You can always go where you want, loot what you want, get what you want, survive for as long as you want. Once you've got any kind of basic experience, it's the interactions with other players that change that. Uh, nightly... Uh Thank you very much once again. God, that was ages ago. You know, uh, and Frodo, thank you for the 10 months. God, this is a long run. Oh, I was kind of hoping there might be a boat somewhere like that.
Am I playing on full pop servers? Yeah, pretty much. I don't play on empty or medium pop servers, yeah. This server will be full with a big queue, I should think, yeah. How do I find my way? I just know the map, dude. I played the game a lot. I know where I'm going. I know what I'm doing, but... Uh... This is taking ages. This is taking ages. Like, people often ask how, how full is the server, because I'm not seeing anyone. We're not likely to see anyone where we are now. I hope we don't. If we do, I'll be running past someone and they'll shoot me in the back. I've been needing a Wii for about, well, since I did that swim before. In about an hour or so I've needed a Wii. I've still not been. I should probably do that. Yeah, the Instagram might be one that somebody's just taken and it links to my YouTube. But they could have done that to stop me getting it they could have done that to help me out it's hard to really know but if they were trying to give me promotion I don't think they just set it up and then leave it dead I feel like it's been set up to take the name if I'm honest it doesn't really matter though I'm not desperate for it right now the one that's more annoying is the tickle tocker one to be honest that that one's more annoying This isn't a new island, no. Uh, the new island is coming up on the right when we get far enough. Is that it there? I think that's still the ice sheet. It's really hard to tell though. That's the island there, I think. Uh, Pants, yeah, Running Man's a good film. That's the island we need to swim to, that one there. about your life who would play you and why would it be me it wouldn't be christian bale he's too thin 18 months it's uh, been great to see all the growth in your viewership who would play me i don't know someone moody and english james corden he's not moody and he's too cheerful yeah i guess you've done a lot of uh uppy downies with the weight for all the roles you've done christian bale haven't you Who's the play that who's the guy that plays King Gary? I'll take him. I can't remember I follow him on Twitter, I can't remember his fucking name. Tom Davis. I got it on my own. My memory's coming back, you know. I got it before you said it, Hyperpro, and that's the truth. I feel like my my recoil recoil recall. My, my remembering of stuff is getting better because I'm not drinking. There's no way I would have plucked Tom Davis from the sky a few months back. Yeah, Tom Davis is who'd play me. Charles Dance. I like Charles Dance. Dear Brother Numsi. Right. Robert, I do slow words from time to time, but that's a byproduct of... Uh, that's a byproduct of playing a game, reading the chat, and talking at the same time, dude. Trust me. Uh, it, that, that does happen a little bit. It happens with a lot of people, by the way, but it's really tricky because I am. I'm playing the game on autopilot, but I'm reading and talking at the same time. Often I'm reading a message from someone while I'm talking to someone else. It's, it's not easy to get right. You, 
everything's autopilot. Your skim reading, you're playing, you're talking to a previous, uh, and you're doing all of it with like a, a little bit of your brain. So yeah, you, you're talking on autopilot as well, you know. Blue temperature, yeah, it's cold. We'll be okay when we get to that. Right, I'll, I'll be back. Jim Broadbent's calling cool, yeah. I'll be back in a second. I'm going to this. Right, I'm back, guys. Sorry. Uh, Doc Dance, thank you for the 18 months. Fro Doc, thanks for the 10. Cheers for the support, guys. Rosie swimming too. That island in front. So they've, they've added a new island on Deer Isle. We're heading towards the new island at the moment. So this might seem like a long swim. This is way shorter than the swim would have been. Bill Crims, you cheeky fucker. <laughs> Just for that, I've got to go AFK right briefly. I need to go next door for a second.
takes ages. Considering this is the new island that makes the swim no call, cool, it's still quite a long swim. Although I think I might have started a little, I should have started a bit further. Water. Ah, yeah, that's cool. Super Chrome and D6, thank you for the follows. Been traveling on business for a week. What have I missed? Smiley you've, missed you've missed me constantly attempting to do the crypt and uh, struggling. Having some amazingly good efforts. It's been lots of fun, actually. If you could go back in time and suggest you set yourself a different name, which would you choose? What, for the channel? I wouldn't choose another name. I, I wouldn't choose another name for the channel, maybe. I, I, I don't think so, anyway. If you mean another name for me, I don't know. Uh, I, maybe, actually, I'd call myself, if the chance comes up, definitely don't mod Redline. I give off Rupert vibes. Well, fuck you too. <laughs> yeah, Dave, I guess. Dave, Dave. Gaming Dave. Davey Dave. Gamey Dave. Gam Dave. Davey McDave face. Dabbling Dave. <clears throat> it's always an option to unmod him. Yeah, I know. He's a bit of a prima donna, but prima donna though, that's the trouble. He, he'll, uh, he'll only kick up a stink, you know. Leave Dave out of this. Champions of Europe, you'll never be that. Who's your? I don't even know who you're talking to there. I'll start my own YouTube channel and make drama videos about you. Oh. <laughs> That'll be another no, another non-event uh, non from my point of view then. I, I, I haven't watched a Daisy video of any sort. Not entirely true. I watched a little bit of Topes video, but beyond that, I've not seen a Daisy video. Drama or otherwise, for quite a long time. Like months, I think. Uh, what day am I on the 75? I'm on day 60, Schrodinger. I've not weighed myself for a few days. Last time I was, was still £23 down. I probably won't weigh myself towards the end, till towards the end of the week. Uh, it's been going really well. I've been like really liking it. I, uh, I hope it goes okay. I kind of don't think I'm going to drink alcohol on day 76. Why am I swimming? Because I can't walk on water. Sixty. He did August Child. I haven't seen a big uptick in subs, but subs, but I would guess a lot of people that watch me already watch Tope and Vice versa, you know. Maybe maybe some don't. If they want PvP, they might not watch me, you know, like Well, I, I'm kind of thinking I might just try and set it to 100 days. I'm not doing that now, because right now I'm doing 75 hard. But when I get to day 75, I might just see if I can go to 100. The only thing is, I, I'm really... The walking's doing me a lot of good. Good. I'm really liking it. The walking's going really well. But I do feel like resting my feet a day a week would probably be wise. So I might go longer, but maybe take a rest day on the walking each week, because... Uh, I'm doing quite a lot of walking if I stand on a stone, and I, I've done it only once, but I, I twisted my ankle slightly. Just a little bit. 
and my foot was swollen for like four days and if I'd have not walked for a day it would have gone down in one day you know We want to know what day, not your age, you cheeky fucker. <laughs> you fucking cheeky fucker. Do I walk fast or ledgerly? I, I'm not the quickest walker, no. I, I walk my pace. I walk faster now than I did 60 days ago. But I, I, I don't do... I, I definitely don't do four miles an hour. I think I'm probably doing about three and a bit miles an hour, you know. I don't think... Maybe just, just over three. I don't know, but... I, I don't get overtaken much, but I don't do much overtaking either. See notes, yeah, I've been doing quite a lot lately. It, it's it's certainly making me feel good. I probably am fairly close to the average, Simon. Redliner, I didn't really get into biking. I was terrified that I was going to get the the big C. Well, no, the little C. When, the, when it was first on the horizon, I, I, was, I, I knew that I was too fat and unfit, so I bought the bike, used it four times, then I got COVID. <laughs> and so it, 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 maybe it worked, maybe it made me that little bit healthier, but I haven't used it since then. Uh, but the, it's been on my mind to start doing it, but the problem is I really like the walking. The walking, like, to burn as many calories on the bike, I probably don't need to, to, to do quite as much in terms of time if I'm exerting myself more, but... The walking is really good for me. It, like Today, I've not really stopped since I woke up at 20 to 6. And that's a rare time for me to wake up. That's not normal. But I've, I've done three hours of driving. I've walked the dog for an hour and a half. And then I've gone live after making a cup of tea, pretty much. Uh, and I had a shower and a quick bit of something to eat for breakfast. But I've been constant today. But the walk was the bit that was mine. I really liked it. The hour and a half... But the hour and a half walk was the bit that was my free time, if you like. But it's good for my Brian. It really is. The difference just in my my core and my posture and whatnot. Like I do, I'm just much better. I, I, and obviously I've lost 23 pounds. I'm still a bit fat, but I'm lo I've lost decent weight for 60 days, I think. But like just when I stand up from the the stream, I'm nowhere near as like stiff, and I, my movement is better. Do I ever miss working retail? <sighs> no, there's nothing. The only thing I miss is the bit when I was in sales. I used to love being the best salesperson, but. I don't need to do that. No, I, I don't miss a single thing. I used to like selling something and then everyone else going, how the fuck did you just do that? You know, I used to like that. Like, I remember selling a telly. It was discontinued. It was a really good TV. But the new model was cheaper. But the old one was better. It really was better. Not every time is a new model better. And I sold people this old TV and they bought all the cables and the wall bracket and whatever else and the extended warranty. And my manager couldn't understand how I'd done it, but it was, what I was I wasn't lying to the, the people. The new one was the same monitor, sorry, the same panel, worse speakers, and and just worse design. It was a cheaper design. Anyway, like surprising your manager, and they're like, "How the fuck did you just do that? It doesn't make any sense." I used to like doing that kind of thing. That was cool. I was pretty good at sales. I just was. I was quite careful, though. I I wasn't much of a rip-off merchant, if I'm honest. I, some people will uh, will literally sell anything to anyone as long as it makes them money. Do you listen to anything while? I, no, I don't. I because I'm doing this all the time. I I try not to look at my phone. I try not to. Uh, I don't want to be listening to music or a podcast or anything. I'm, I the walking is good for me physically, but it's helping me unwind mentally as well. You know, like it really is helping me a lot. So making sure I keep with it is kind of good. <laughs> Going to be hitting the cold part in a minute. That my temperature just went down. I'm going to go back this way briefly.
think four bandages is enough. Think, oh, I definitely need that. I probably don't actually, but yeah, we'll take it. It's time to start running to many more thirty eighth birthdays. Dude, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Right, let's... Right, I need to now put all of this back in here. <laughs> Fuck have I got a cold already. We're heading to the ice sheet. Oh god, there's there's some zombies around here. I'm also going to have to make space for that bottle as well. I don't think I'm actually done yet. I think I'm probably going to drop the MK2, to be honest. I've only got like 17, 18 bullets left, something like that. Lost a lot of temperature, haven't I? Was, that, was most of that from just being red health? It was really quick if it, if it was that. I'm going to eat another bit of meat. That will save some space for the canteen. Yeah, I'm wet, but that won't matter. It will in a minute, but I can put the bear ghillie on when it matters. I hope we do it this time. We're eight hours deep. I've been on this character for... I died after an hour and 48 minutes of the stream. So I've been on this character ever since then. So we've been on this character a long time. I may not need this bag. We'll see, but... I want to give myself the chance to take it for now. I think it's possible to go across without really doing a great deal of swimming, but I can't remember. So this island we're standing on right now is new. Is this a continuation of the last YouTube upload? No. I may get sticks, I may not, I don't know. I can get sticks on the other side easy enough. I don't need sticks as long as I keep the billy the ghillie suit or the billy suit, whatever. 
As long as I keep the ghillie suit dry, I don't need sticks. You don't need to make a fire. If your ghillie suit's dry, you're fine. jammed but hopefully that's the last one I'll be shooting with it. It's definitely possible to go across without doing a great deal of swimming, but can't remember the way. It's not just past Area 42, Liquid, no, it's, it's much more north than that. There's a new island, but it's much more north than that, so it's it's more in the top end of it. Are we heading out to use the hammer? That's the idea, yes. Server so restart's going to happen in four minutes. There's not much point in uh, staying in the server. I'm not going to start swimming. The server restarts literally one minute away. So I might as well uh, come out now and just make the swim over. Don't put the backpack on the ice. They've fixed that now, Spy. I think it's fixed. It's okay. I'll say they fixed it. John McLean has fixed it. the servers down. I'm going to close the game. It's not down, but it should be down any sec. Did I see any of the Goodwood Festival of Speed? It's Festival of Racing. Yeah, the Saturday was my favourite. The Saturday was a cracking day, wasn't it? What an absolute zinger. That, that, uh, that racer that they had there, he was amazing. Obviously it was cancelled Saturday. No, I, I didn't see any of it. I didn't see any of it. I don't even know what station it's on, to be honest. What channel it's on, if, if it's on at all. What happens to you? But on this server, the, uh, the boat resets. So if you've got a boat and you're in the middle of the ocean, the server resets, you're fucked. You're just swimming. Would I ever play Daisy on console? I, I don't think so, no. I've nothing against it, but I'm set up to stream it. I, I don't have a like modern gen console. It, it would cost me lots of money to, to set it all up, and I don't really see much of a benefit.
Picked off. Oh, okay. So the server's still not up yet. Don't watch the Tour de France. I don't know. I, I, I can see the fascination with it, though. If I had the time, I would. Like the breakaways and the uh, the tactics involved and teams trying to get the right rider in the right position and whatnot. I like the Tour de France. I used to really love horse racing. And if you're watching like a longer horse race, like say a three mile chase or something, even a shorter race, like a flat race or something, the tactics, you know, like uh, it's a bit like sprinting in, in uh, cycling. It, like a horse has got one main burst of speed and when the jockey chooses to use it can be the difference between winning or coming third or losing or like not finishing or whatever, you know, like uh, the positioning as well and where you are in the pack and, and when the break happens and whether you're too far back and you can't keep up as a result and whatnot. But uh, I, I like the tactics of horse racing a lot and the, t the tactics of the, the like the tours is very similar, but on a much bigger scale, you know, uh, I like it. I think it's I think it's kind of cool, but it needs a lot of time invested in it, and I haven't got that. Is bike racing the same since Lars Armstrong? I think it's a bit cleaner than it was. Whether it's clean or not is another matter, but I think there's been a lot of exciting stuff happened in the last... Certainly if you're a British guy, there's been quite a lot of British winners of the Tour de France. Uh, up until fairly recently, Bradley Wiggins won it, and then uh, Chris Froome won it like four times. Uh, and Team Sky had been... Or now Ineos, but Ineos is not quite same i don't think but anyway yeah they've been quite interesting i don't think i don't think it's completely clean but i think it's better than it was i think it's hard to say any sport is completely clean you know it there'll be people in in, in athletics unfortunately there'll be one or two but maybe cycling is one that's been more prevalent over the years yeah he, it's funny though chris Froome may be from africa but he, he he definitely competed for the uk in the olympics so that's good enough for me Right, let's get across. So this swim is probably going to put me down to maybe even yellow temperature. I think this is the only swim you have to do, though. I don't know if they're all in the same boat. I don't think that's true. I think, I don't think they should have got him caught for taking drugs and let him away with it in case other people were. There may be some other people that were cheating at the time, but there will be some other people that weren't cheating that got beat by him as well. I, I don't think you can allow it. He was cheating. Maybe other people were too, but he was cheating. So no, I, I, I don't agree personally. I, he still has got a, amazing benefit from it, you know. He, I know he's had to pay sponsors back a little bit here and there, but he's still a rich man, still done well. The clouds do look really good here, don't they? It's not gas, no. It's just it's just like uh, cloud. Hey Jinxie, yeah, well, uh, I'm doing it until I do it. I got killed yesterday, I came out of the crypt with the key card and a guy that was fully geared to take me by boat to the aircraft carrier and still fucked it up. an armor map you'd like to see I don't know Lord Donut I've not I'm not really au fait with armor enough to really know I, I don't really have I couldn't even tell you one that, that I would like I used to really want Essica obviously and we got that I, I, I don't really have one I, I could name Essica was a modded map of course but thank you Robert cheers dude yeah it's a good video he's done some good stuff with the maps and stuff I tell you what it did make me chuckle I watched Indiana Jones that the new one at the cinema 
and they had the map dots in it and it just made me chuckle the map dots thing that's a reference from a few years back that but there were a few people feeling that using map dots in DayZ was copying Frankie on PC you know like when you want to do go from one scene to the next and you use dots but when I think of map dots I think of Indiana Jones and always did always have done <laughs> Uh, it was kind of interesting it was years ago now, but yeah, I, it did make me chuckle when I saw the map dots in Indy. J93, this is the ice sheet we're coming to now, so hopefully that's enough of an answer. The ice sheet being the uh, where the crypt is. Yeah, there's no frostbite. It doesn't. You don't get time to get frostbite. If you got, if you're cold for too long, you just die. Hey Paul, sorry, it's been a while since last subbing work is brutal at the moment. Well, I'm glad I keep on running or swimming. I'm glad I checked that. Uh, Millyhead, Millhead, sorry, absolutely no reason ever to say sorry for stuff like that, dude. Thank you for coming in. Cheers for the resub today. Thank you. Thank you for the resub. I really, really appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. I really want that 60 round mag. That should probably go in my inventory. God, this is a fucking ball lake. I just want to take the spark plug. Just in case. I want to take the spark plug just in case we can... Uh, uh, we see a boat. And some people normally leave the battery and take the spark plug. So if we've got a sparkler, we can steal someone else's boat if there is one. Scope on AK to save space. I don't even know what scope it is, but I don't think it's an AK scope. Yeah, that doesn't go on the AK. So the nice thing with doing what we've done here is that because we've come this way, look, there's the boat. We've got to go back there at some point soon. Yeah, because we've uh, because we've just kept the ghillie suit dry, everything else will just dry of its own accord. We don't need to worry. I'm not full on these things, but I've got two big bits of two good bits of uh, bear steak which is going to keep me good calories and one canteen of water so we're pretty good for a good while yet and we can of course always kill another bear like that one that's just there very camouflaged that bear look at him you can barely see him that wasn't meant to be a pun with the barely see him thing by the way Millhead, dude, thank you for the three months. Uh, Lord Donut, every time there's been an Alteria test, I've never been able to do it. Different reasons, the kids have been here or whatever, but... I did Alteria a couple of times much earlier on. I've not done it since, though.
white camo doesn't work very well. But the camo of your clothes is different to the camo of the colour of the bear. It's a different kind of white, dude. Don't you know nothing? <laughs> Was it just you? What, well, it wasn't just you, Shim. Even the twatty streamer said, oh, look, there's a bear. You can barely see it. That wasn't intended as a pun. Right. This is taking up a fair amount of space. I had to pause. Oh my god. No idea if we're going the right way or not. That fresh water down there. I think it'll be seawater, but I don't know. cave I'm just thinking if that's fresh water I've got some chlorine tabs I'll drink my water canteen I'll drink my canteen and then fill it up drink it again and then fill it I'm up just again here for the jokes about big and small peens. we're gonna need to go that way I think I'm not entirely convinced that this is fresh water. It might be seawater. You can't fill the bottle up with snow on this. No, it's not in the mouth. you know it's seawater when it's got the sound of the tide and you can't fill your bottle up that's how you know ah fuckity fuckity fuck A little bit annoyed actually. I thought it was possible to do this without swimming, but looking up ahead I feel like we've got a swim we might have to do. Yeah, much further south than I thought. Much, much further south than I thought. I think I'm just going to swim. This is about where we died. We died about here, maybe a bit further up yesterday. Will they add urine management in the next update? I'd be staggered if they do. Take a boat, it's much faster. Yeah, I just gotta run all the way back to the mainland to get one. It was my buddy on the boat yesterday. His name was Erp. It was just a random that we'd met. Am I doing the Crip solo? Hopefully. I don't want anyone else to be there. a lot of trouble.
I've got to swim across there. I'm going to have to make a fire when I get to the other side. It's like a floating... What looked like a floating bear pelt, but it's not. It's a tree that's not drawing in right. I think I'm going to have to swim across. I could do with finding a stick before I do, though. Is that that's a bush? All right, that'll do. I'm going to. Oh no way! I haven't got any rags. That's a fuck up. That's a big mistake. I should have got rags. Fifty two, I like you. Ah, oh, dude, thank you very much for the support. Thank you for the resubscribing. Doesn't the gap symbol it does give you the plus symbol, but pretty slowly. I've got a knife, yeah, I've got a knife. I don't need a knife though. I've got uh I can cut rags if I find some clothes, but I need the rags when I go over that water. I don't need them later, I need them now. You don't need to swim. Or I can keep going this way, you think. Yeah, no, you, I, I don't need paper from the ammo. I'm not thinking about kindling. The best way to dry your clothes is by making a hand torch. Like an improvised torch. But I, you need rags to do that. So yeah, I, I, maybe I could have explained why I needed the rags. But it's not to use as kindling. Kindling's not an issue. It's... It's to make a hand torch. Like if you if you want to dry your clothes, a, a torch will dry them in about fifteen seconds. Fire takes ages. Thanks, Wobo. Yeah, but like I say, I don't need it in the crypt, the loop. I need it now. If I get wet, that's when I need it. I don't need it, like, in half an hour. I need it now. Lieutenant, I'm not even sure if it's intended, to be honest. It's just the way it is right now. Yeah, I think the clothes directly on the fire thing is definitely a bit of an exploit. I'm not sure the hand torch one is. I don't know. Probably it is, but I don't like the the whole putting your clothes on the ground and then building the fire on top of it. That seems like a kind of a bit of a gimmick. Maybe the hand torch is as well, but the hand torch seems a bit more plausible than just where you kind of place your clothes kind of dodgily, you know. No face protection. That doesn't matter. So where have I got to go then? I'm pretty sure I do need to swim. I'm pretty sure I do need to swim. I'm in the southeast corner. If I was over there, I wouldn't need to swim, but I'm not. Sorry, I'm on the south. I, I'm sure I've got to swim. So sure that I'm just going to swim. Hey, I can't ring the ghillie out, though, I don't think. The ghillie's the thing that I need to get dry. Maybe I can ring it out to damp. If I can ring it out, then I'm fine. Usually I'm trying to dry it out when it's raining, and obviously that's a much bigger issue. Do I have a container to put it in? Yes, but I can't do it, because the... Uh the uh, pouches I've got is a container that would keep it dry, but I can't take all my loot because the pouches inventory is way smaller than the bear. Gi the bear gillies inventory is bigger, so the bear gilly takes up a lot of space, and then I don't have the space for the stuff that's in the pouches and the, what. You know what I mean? It, there's no room.
Yeah, I didn't think so. I've actually got much I can dry out by hand as well. It's time to start running. Hello. So I'm going to be light blue until I put the bear ghillie suit back on, basically. Uh, Sparmat, dude, thank you very much for the 17 months. Cheers for the support. Dave, Seven Red, Samuel, uh, Thunder General, thank you very much, guys. God, that is slow, isn't it? Fuck me. Right, so... Thor's hammer is bugged, so we're going to have to log out and log back in to fix that at some point. White Catter, well, I had it dry when I swam. But once you get to the mainland, you drop it. I didn't want to carry the dry bag in my hand. Multiple fire sources doesn't help, no. The only thing that would help me more is if I had a... Uh, is if I had a, uh, a hand torch, like an improvised torch. That would We'd already be dry. This way takes fucking ages. The fire's not even making any difference. It's not making me any warmer. I think this is way too slow. I won't need to sacrifice a bandage roll. I can cut a I can cut some bark from behind me. Or maybe I can't. Some trees don't give bark, it seems. Still fucking drenched. Jesus Christ, this is slow. I th I I know, I know they've changed the game a little bit, but they've made that way too slow. Things dry out on you quicker now, and they dry off at the fire pretty well. But drying your clothes off at the fire like that is ridiculously slow. I, I think it's kind of punitively slow. You can't make a bandage with the torch, Sam Manitz. No, I tried that before, actually, before I went this way. The chlorine tabs can be used as heat pack. Yeah, they get ruined in about a millisecond, though. I'm not. I don't see the point. If I have to swim again, I'll be dead. Only if I only if I try to swim straight away. Sucks. Fuck me, is it so annoying? Yeah, you can't cut those up. So no rags from there. It's only soaked now. That's no good. Like this is dicey. This might. This could be bad. This could be really, really bad. It's just fucking ridiculous how slow this is. It's stupid. Second fire doesn't make any difference, sonny kid. If their clothes are near one fire, they're near one fire. Multiple fires makes no odds. I think I let go a tiny bit early. Oh my god, it's still soaked. Fuck me. I've got to be honest, it's things like this that make me think I should be just glitching the fire so it dries quicker, because there is a way that you can basically make the fire on top of the clothes and get the plus... Look, I, I could die. I could die doing this. This is ridiculous. I 
I don't think I can do it. I, oh, there's sticks there. Putting the suit on won't help while it's damp. It doesn't. Well, it, until it's damp, it won't do anything. This is a fucking joke. So now I've got no trousers. That is stupid. That is so fucking stupid. Jesus Christ. do with those two rags. It's starting to rain. It's not starting to rain, thankfully. I'm going to say, if it's starting to rain, I am fucked. Right, okay, anything that I, I need that. Let me just eat that. Earl, I swam about 20 metres. Why keep the map? Yeah, I could probably get rid of the map. The map can come in handy though, but I don't really need it anymore, I suppose. I could carry the pouches, but is there anything that's really... I'm like, I, need, I would really like that in case I found a scar. Same with that, but do I need anything else out of there? Not really. Wearing the gas mask actually does reduce the filter. I, I, I guess I could take the filter off, but what's the point? I'm going to save a tiny little bit of space. Right, oh my god, that, that was hair raising. Yeah, if I'd left a full bandage there, I can definitely grab a, grab a bit of that. That is just mad, isn't it? It it takes so long to dry your stuff by a fire. It it's I that that's not this map's fault. That's the way the game is now. <clears throat> but I think it's incredibly frustrating. I, I, it's too too much.
And this this particular island is extraordinarily cold, which is a feature of this map, you know. Like that that's an integral part of this part of the map, you know. But it's like if you're on Chernerus and you're making a fire to dry your clothes, who the fuck wants to sit by a fire while five sticks burn just to dry some clothes when it's going to rain again in ten minutes? It's really frustrating that you know. It's too slow. Unless you're intended to make a hand torch, and that's an intended feature. You know, it kind of makes sense then you can do it another way, but if you're merely meant to sit at a fire for five minutes while you dry your clothes and then barely get to the next town, it's raining again, you know, it's just... It, it's just too, too, too slow. Maybe new plants at the heli crash. I ain't going to the heli crash. We're going to the crypt, baby. I don't. I think they both fires top out at a thousand degrees. Sticks or logs. Where's my sperm, dude? Thank you very much for the support. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. I. Oh no! I'm not even where I thought I was. I might have to do another swim. This is not what I, this is not good. This is why I wanted to keep the compass and I fucking left it. I don't even know what way it is now. Oh fuck me. I don't know where I am. I think I'm possibly here. Where's the new island? No. Where the fuck am I then? I, I don't understand. I came across this way. Love you. Never had a doubt. Unless I swam that way somehow, but even still I should be on this bit. Sorry guys, just let me sort out my uh, stream labs. There we go. I wish I kept the compass. Right, so that should be roughly east. That's the way we came from. What's that? No, that's that's not the way we came from. We need to go more this way. I think. Let's go this way and pray. East. If that's east, then this is north. We need to go this way. Yeah, we we yeah. Okay, let's go this way. Now, we've just had night time. The sun's rising. So the sun's in the east. I want to be going this way. That water is fine. That We need to follow that water this way. In all the excitement, I've got myself turned around a little bit. But I'm pretty sure we're okay. I don't think we will need to swim again. Way low health, cold. I had to swim and it took me ages to dry my clothes out. That's the tree I think I saw, right? When, when That one that keeps going a bit funny over there. Yeah, this is good. We're doing okay. I just got myself turned around a little bit, but we're fine. We've got to follow that water down the left there. Just got to keep going this way, basically. I do need to be lower down. I want to be kind of closer to the water. We're going to get down that way. TRMZ gift chain. TRMZ gift chain. TRMZ gift chain. Mick, dude, thank you very much for the support. Cheers for the 10 months, man. Thank you very much. Uh, the heli crash was on the island we're on now, yeah. I'm not going to go to it, though. I don't want to deal with the zombies. I don't want to... I might get trousers there, but I don't... 
Trousers, I, it doesn't matter if I'm naked. As long as I've got the bare ghillie and it's dry, I'm fine. Uh, if it starts raining, I'm absolutely fucked, by the way. But as long as it's, as long as I've got the bare ghillie, bare ghillie I'm fine. Uh, friendly, well I made the crypt yesterday. What I didn't do was make the uh, aircraft carrier and then the bit that's after it as well. Is there a high chance of seeing people around this area? Matt, I was, at the, uh, I was on the crypt yesterday and I met a player at the crypt and then we got killed as we left it on boats, but I'd still say that's rarer than normal. Having said that, I, I've been to the crypt five times in the last couple of weeks. I've died around it twice to players, so... Let's say there's a 40% chance, roughly. T-R-M-Z, love T-R-M-Z-O-N-M-E. Yeah, I, I'm glad we managed to reorientate ourselves. The only issue is, I, uh... I wish I'd kept the compass. I, I, I was going to keep... Why not? I, I kept every fucking thing else I didn't need. I definitely should have kept the compass, but never mind. It does feel really frustrating to be struggling for space because I had to cut my own trousers up to stop myself from dying. Can it really rain in a cold environment? D42. Yes, it can. Not in real life. I don't. Well, I guess it could, but the game doesn't have uh, the game doesn't have variable rain. In as far as let's just take Chernarus, it can't be raining in Cherno and then dry in Berezino. It's either raining or it's not across the whole map. And this map is not an ice map. This is one tiny part of a much bigger map. So. Deer Isle has got a bit that's almost tropical in the northwest and a bit that's very freezing in the northeast. Uh, but if it's raining on Deer Isle, it's raining here the same as it's raining everywhere else because that's how DayZ works, you know. It hasn't got the capacity to have like clouds and weather systems and whatnot. <laughs> Chef, that's that's uh Laughing at my uh, frustration, yeah, that was annoying. To be to be burning my own pants, that was that was frustrating. But on the upside, we're still going, you know. That was really tough. Is regional weather a thing in Armour Reforger? I have no idea. I think Armour Reforger looks quite bright in comparison to uh, Daisy. I have no idea if they've got plans to do it, how it is, none at all. We have got to go quite a long way, but I'm pretty sure we are going the right way now. My temperature's going up and down, it's fine. It doesn't really matter as long as I've got as long as I've got the bare ghillie on and it's dry. Which it now is, I'm fine. If I was to fall in this water I'd die. No emergency sticks for broken legs. We don't need emergency sticks. This is good. This is, we're, we're making decent progress. 
I've just noticed I'm getting ear ringing quite badly today. I am nine hours in, but uh, my ears are ringing like fucking crazy. Just, just turn my sound down as a result. But, so if, if I don't hear steps in the crypt, it's because my sound's down. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. <clears throat> At least I know for sure we're on the right way now. I think I can go... Oh, no. I thought I could go that way. Or clearly I can't. I've got to go over. Crowd control. I think my, I think my audio is just a bit louder than I... There, there is, is quite always a fire in my pants. Treated effectively with a suitable antifungal cream, liberally applied. Thrush, what is it good for? Absolutely, killing snails in your garden. <laughs> Ed T-Ball, thank you very much. Travis Cod, thank you Mick, thank you again. Uh, cheers for the support, guys. Yeah, I think I've had my audio a bit loud. It does rain quite a lot on Deer Isle. Uh, not as much as some maps, but yeah, it's quite a loud map. In a few different ways, but yeah. Why not check the compass? I don't need the compass because I know where I am. But also I threw the compass away, so that'll be making it a bit tricky. I don't need the compass because I've just got to follow this water and it takes me where I want to go. My ears are really bad. Sometimes what happens as well... It, well, there's a helicopter in front of me. That could be the helicopter we heard. Sometimes what happens as well is I, I turn my audio up when I'm in an encounter, like I'm thinking I might hear steps. So I turn my audio up, and then I don't realise. It just seems like it's okay. So I have it on too loud of a setting for a while. Mickleman, dude, thank you for gifting Toad for the sub. Thank you, dude. Unfortunately, it does probably mean there's going to be uh, zombies at this heli. I'm hoping. I thought I saw smoke from a heli. Maybe it was just that fog. I thought I saw. A, I thought I saw heli smoke. Need to get down a bit further. It's it's a simple this. There we go. I think it's going to be around the corner. I'm sure I saw non. It wasn't just like wispy shit like this. I'm sure I saw proper smoke. Yeah, it's there. Look. Right. Okay, so we're not too far away from the crypt now. It's not that far. I really hope we can find a pair of trousers coming up here, because ideally gorka pants as well, because I want to be able to put everything away. I, I don't want to be... Like, if a, if a boat started going past now, I'd like to be able to shoot at it, you know? Like, if I drop this on the floor, it, there's actually a chance, depending on what type of floor I'm standing on, that I could just lose everything. Sounds like I'm in water. Yeah, the water sound is there because this is kind of like meant to be ice over the top of the water, I think. It's like a glacier, isn't it? I'll take anything, but I'd really like the Gorka or patrol pants because then it gives me enough inventory space for, uh, for all my stuff. I need to not take this too lightly, you know. The zombies could really fuck me up. What are they good for? Absolutely fucking nothing. <gasps> 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 
They are kind of working, actually. They're aggroing to the sound of the <gasps> impacts and not on me. Hopefully that's all of them. It's time to start rolling. Don't like ads, so have my prime. Well, thank you very much. I, I shall take your prime and say thank you very much. <laughs> Cheers for the support, Joe Fish. Thank you for the resub. Yeah, that's kind of cool. We can loot the Zeds. Even just that can of food, it's a small thing, but it helps. It it helps, like, later on. Like, if we're still fucking around trying to get to the crypt, from the crypt to the boat or whatever. A can of spaghetti now that I just got for free is kind of a cool little bonus, you know? This might be overcomplicating things, but gives me more space. Add another zombie. I think it might be stuck in the heli. Oh, what we got here? Is that an SVD? SVD, holy shit. M79. Can't take the M79. I've got. I left a box of Mosin rounds behind. Now I've got them. I'm going to take the SVD, even though I've got no scope. Have I not got a weapon cleaning kit? Have I left the ice in there? Isn't it? Please tell me it's in there. Fuck. So this is going to leave me with no range, but. It, I'm sure I'll find a scope for it inside the inside the crypt. Still no pants though. scope on the ground not fit it. What, the one I just dropped with the blaze? No. Uh, whatever scopes I've seen here, it, it wasn't one. That, I'll double check it, but I'm pretty sure there's no scope that fits the SVD here, no. I don't think I've got an AK-101 scope, Carrot. Anyway, enough of that for now. Let me just get this fixed. The ACOG won't fit it, no. Yeah, I'll go and have a look in a minute. Ah, uh, that's that scope. I don't think will fit it. Anything like that? Anything other than the standard AK sights from Vanilla? Anything else is going to likely going to require a, a rail.
I don't want to load the 5.56 into the 60 round mag because I need it for the AK-101. Yeah, that definitely won't fit it. It's a handgun scope. Please get in some cover sparks. There, there ain't going to be anybody out here. It's highly unlikely that, that if there's anybody out here, I'll be staggered. It could happen. I got killed yesterday, but the reason I got killed yesterday is because I was uh, using a boat and they heard the boat. They were right by the river as we went past, but it's possible somebody could be here, but I, I think the chances are very small. Yeah, at the crypt, I mean, Dell. I don't mean, like, right here. I think the chances are pretty small. Sparks, I think you're kind of missing the point, though, dude. I'm, I'm here on foot, and I'm travelling on foot. And I've been here for ages, and I don't think anyone's around on foot. If anyone else is going to be here, they'll already be at the crypt, or they'll be coming up this river on a boat. They ain't going to be creeping up behind me right near that heli. I think that's that bit's unlikely. It probably was. I probably could have got in cover, but I was still like trying to fix it to double check. Like, I didn't think there was a scope, but people were like, there's a scope, there's a scope, there's a one at the front. There's what? What about? And so I just thought, oh, I'll just fix it here, and then I'll check to see if there's a scope. Zombies don't drop pants, no, unfortunately not. Well I had I had pants, J Money. I had them. I had to cut them up. It was a choice between pants or death. Tell that's cool. <laughs> Trash can site. I think I'd rather go iron sites in trash can. Ugh. Give me pants or give me death. <laughs> this is a this is a slow going thing. On it's so much different when you're on when you're on foot, isn't it? It's so fucking slow. It's so much better when you're uh, when you're not on foot. When you're on a boat, my god. Who needs pants anyway? Well, Maybe. <laughs> A boat Uber would be nice. I, I can support that. Right. Remind me not to drop all my stuff on the floor and lose it. That would be good. Have I done the zero Cherno key cards? Yes. Pants or death sound like an idiot's art joke. Yeah, cheers for that, Death. Thanks. That that's just exactly what I needed. UK Fried, interesting. Yeah. I'm having a hard time finding the time to watch telly at the moment. I've, I've been watching the the Marvel Samuel L. Jackson thing. That that's been kind of all right. I want to watch the uh, I want to watch the last season of Jack Ryan, but I've started on the Marvels one, and I've not really got the time for anything else. Mad Mac, hopefully, if I can just get to the aircraft carrier, carrier, I'll be a very very happy boy. Where could I drop the carrier? In? I'm fine to drop it anywhere now.
Johnny, uh, I don't worry about stuff like that. Uh, that ratio has been much higher than that in the past. While I had lower viewers, Hope by the way, but time, there's Love been times you. where I might have had Bye. like four or five or six hundred people watching Daisy, and there was only like six or seven, eight hundred watching the the game full stop. You know. Yeah, Jack Ryan's good. I liked all three seasons. The problem is I, I can't remember it now, you know? I can't remember any of it. I remember liking it. I remember the characters, but I don't remember the story at all. It probably doesn't really matter, but I can't remember much of the last season, you know? I think with the age of binging and stuff, I've got much worse at remembering any fucking thing. Rombie, yeah, the lack of the pants is that it's the no pants thing that's doing it. Oh no. There's two birds up in the air. Why are they up in the air? If those birds are up in the air, that could be because players have been nearby. I hope there's nobody here. We have to go back down. I just wanted to have a look. I haven't seen it. Crowd control. No, that's a western, isn't it? No, I haven't. I'm really behind on TV watching stuff. I just, I'm not. I've been so fucking busy, IRL with stuff, and then streaming and whatever else. You know, like. I, to be fair, also last weekend we went to London for the weekend. So I've been. This weekend my day off was spent. Like it was my. Uh, my missus's mum's 70th birthday kind of thing so that was that was the day offs kind of spent you know like I haven't had a day off you know where sometimes once in a blue moon you get a day off where you just like chill out and just watch telly and whatever like once like every six weeks maybe for me uh, but yeah I, I haven't had any time like that for a while a crow in the air likely means a player yeah it, it normally means someone's like s stirred the pot if you like someone's ran over it but there was two there. I don't know. I hope there's no player. I don't know the exact time. I feel like it's about a minute or so, but it might be more. I don't know. Right, the fucking hammer's playing up again. I've got to reload. You don't need full NBC on this server, Oppenheimer, but you do on some. Nearly three years. Simple render. Thank you for the 35 Bell Morden. Thank you, Creme Cheese and Chef Bananas. Thank you very much for the support, all of you guys. Vault Boy, thank you as well. This might be the run. I hope it is. Mr. Clark, yeah, that, that doesn't really worry too much for me. I, I, if you've read the novels and you want them to stick to them exactly, yeah, but I don't care about shit like that. I Like, if they change things from the novel, I never mind as long as the show's good. I, I, I haven't really read any Jack Ryan, I think. I've seen some of the, I've seen all the films over the years, like the Harrison Ford and Ben Affleck ones and whatnot. 
There was also one with our matey Chris Pine. I think he was in one as well, wasn't he? But yeah, I like I like the films. I've never read the books. <clears throat> uh, Legions, thank you for the for the support. I think when you when it comes to cinema, you've got to try and not really worry about how the books were, or because if you did, like if you worried about things like that, you'd be like, well, Greer's already dead. <laughs> he died in that one with Harrison Ford at, in, when he was, yeah, when he was Darth Vader. You know, like, I don't really worry about stuff like that. I am, I'm reading it, Arena Grand. I'm, I'm reading it every day, but it's a big book, you know. I'm, I'm somewhere around 460 now, but I'm not even halfway yet. Uh, Simplerenda, Legions, uh, Cream Cheese and Bell Morden, thank you again. Favourite book of all time? I haven't read that many books. I read a lot when I was a kid. Uh, it probably is The Long Walk, which was a short story by Stephen King. It doesn't mean it'll be longer, Elegante. It means I was up at 20 to 5 this morning. Sorry, 20 to 6 this morning. Well, I kind of was up at 20 to 5 as well, but I tried to get back to sleep. Uh, I've been up, I've been a long day today, so if I finish at midnight, my day today has been like 16 hours. Not that long, but yeah. I, well, it depends really, but if you call a three hour drive and then an hour and a half walking the dog before streaming, like that's not exactly like hard, but it's not the best preparation for a 12 hour stream. I had to drop the missus off to a... Well, I took her to a hospital appointment and then came home with her. I didn't like Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy D42. I, uh, the, I, we were talking a bit about this yesterday. I never really liked, like kind of fantasy slash sci-fi type stuff. I liked Stephen King, James Herbert, and people like that. Uh, like, I never really got into, say, Terry Pratchett, or... Not that I'm saying they're the same, but anything that was a bit more fantasy type stuff. And I really couldn't get in Hitchhiker, because I just couldn't stick it. I, I read the first 20 or 30 pages about 10 times. This is not going to work with me having this in my hands, is it? I'm just going to die. take that so that we can uh, potentially make paper. Right, there we go. We're still not full health, so I need to bear that in mind a little bit. Holy fuck. Lord Paranoid, dude, thank you very much for the gifted subs. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you, dude. Thank you. I hate these little bits. There's worse than that yet to come. Yeah, the payout has been done. I made it to the crypt. There you go. I'm inside the crypt. Congratulations, winners. Up yours, losers. Ha 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 ha. While I was dying of dying and cutting my pants up to make a fire, I bet you were rubbing your little hands together, you fucks. This seems right. Do I think John McClane tested all this stuff? I know he did, dude. He's, he's that kind of dude. Yeah, he's tested it. He's obviously, uh, when they changed the, the inertia and whatnot, he's had to go back and redo some stuff. Oh, 
that's not the way. That's the way. I'd like to find some pants. Right, we need to keep an eye out for the lever, lever, whatever. You say lever, I say lever. Don't need that. I don't think we're going to find pants. Well, I've got, I think this is maybe the sixth time I've been to the crypt. And I've still not made it from the crypt to the, the aircraft carrier, which I think is a horrendously bad ratio. In the past, when I've made it to the crypt, I pretty much made it to the helicopter. So, for those that don't know, a lot of people will have seen me doing this the last few weeks and then failing in some fantastical way at some point. What we're doing at the moment, we're looking for a lever that's on the ground, like a, a Tomb Raider style lever. We'll know it when we see it. It's, near, it's nearly like chest height. It's big. And then I have to pull that lever and then there's a particular door I have to get through. Uh, so if I can pull the lever and make it to the door on time, we're set. But the lever can be in any one of a lot of different positions. It spawns randomly, so... We also have to find the fucking thing. Oh fuck, well you hate me. What about me? I fucking did it. Can I go through how and at what point I failed? I've died to jumps a couple of times. I've died to bullets a couple of times. Uh, but I don't want to go into too many specifics because one of them's uh, one of them that I possibly haven't mentioned is uh, in another video. Right, we need to go that way, but not yet. This is actually the way out. Zackle, thank you very much for the for the uh, resub. Uh, cheers for the support, dude. Re appreciate it. Uh, sorry, Zackle, thank you for the raid. Let me get it right. Lord Paranoid, thank you for the gifted subs. You're very cool, dude. Thank you. And Mr. Schweebs, thank you for the for the gifted sub as well. Uh, cheers for the support, all of you guys. Thank you. I hope you had a good stream, Zackle. And bullets. What are they? They are regular bullets. We definitely want those. The only reason I'm coming this way was to loot that that body, and there's one more, I think. I found a scar this way, though. Connor, I don't think so, no. I don't think it should be possible to, like, help your mate and grab them up and stuff, because it would just play into the hands of people that already have an advantage, you know? If you're playing with Discord or, like, if you're playing with buddies in a squad, you have an advantage over people playing on their own. You don't need to be able to get to secret spots that the other no people can't get down. to, you know? Let's go. Cheers, Ackle dude. Thank you. Grumpy, thank you very much for the support. So I only went there just to see if there was any loot. I, I didn't think we'd be doing very much else, but it was worth a look. Will Paul make it out of the crypt alive? That, that's there. Yeah, that, that's uh, mm. up the imp. The outlook uh, not so good. So the lever can be that way. Not going that way. I know this is not the way I need to go, but I'm just going to have a look around here, see if the, the lever's around. There's also some other loot spots around this way.
it's not a bad place to be to have a look. One thing I'm noticing, there's no fucking clothes, is there? There's no clothes. Right, I've seen the lever there several times. Unfortunately, it's not there today. BK shotgun. Oh, oh shit. The lever moves every server restart, yeah, so it's somewhere else now than it'll be in four hours' time, yeah. I mean, I'm only coming this way just to see if I can find it. Didn't I just see it? I'm going to need a bit more than that, friendly. Oh, no, you didn't just see it. There it is. That's actually really lucky that I even bothered to look. I'm never going to make this in time. This is really awkward. So this is a practice run. I'm never going to make this in time. Also, my health's a bit lower than I want it to be. So it goes on a timer. I've got like five minutes to make it through some doors before they close. Is that the only loot here? This is this... Where we are here is not about loot. I did find a scar here the other day, but you're not here for loot. You're here to get through a secret door to get a key card. This is the place you come to get a key card for where the loot really is. It's like a stage. Could kill me. I'm a bit worried this might kill me, but we could do it. I might I might break my leg. Okay, I think I've done it first time. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's lucky I could have broken my leg there. Fucking hell, I'm talking about doing it first time. If I'd broken my leg then, I would cry. If you don't want to add check, if you have a Twitch Prime sub available, TRM dead worth it, man. TRM dead worth it, man. TRM dead worth it, man. Uh, dude, thank you very, very much for the support. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, Reedy, thank you. This is the door that that opens. That door would be closed, so we'd be stuck. Like, if I, if I didn't get here in time, that door would be closed.
So now we've got to wait until the smoke clears, basically. It shouldn't be too long. doors closing on the other side so that's what the lever did basically the lever closed that door on the other side m110 mag don't need that you know someone's made three fires here Right, I've actually got to wait a little while. You see, I've still got an injured leg. I need that to go before I do anything else. Yeah, I'm really struggling for, for space because I had to burn my pants in order not to die. <clears throat> we can drop those and those. do have more room in the pen without the hammer. That's a decent shout, dude. We should definitely put the key card in there. Maybe some bullets. It's time to start running! Three years of lurking. Love your content. Oh, I just heard steps. Shirt Tucker, thank you very much for the 37 months, dude. Thank you. <laughs> right, so now we're back. We've been here before. How far to the ship? We've got a ways to go. I'd really like to take those bandages. We can take the bandages, not the bandages, sorry, the two rags. I think I could just drop that. I don't need the rest. The two rags are purely useful if I start getting wet and I need to make a hand torch to dry my clothes. I could 
put them and those in there. Let's do that. I could drop the 60 round Stanag mag, but I do think there's a very good chance I'll want it. An armband, I still want to carry both, an armband won't do it. Guys, I, I, yeah, I, I'm getting a lot of backseat in here. That's that's repeti repetition. But why would I load my AK-101 bullets into a mag that doesn't fit it? If I'm going to use the AK-101, I need the bullets, not in a mag. You know. Drop one filter? Absolutely not. No, because I've got to do the the aircraft carrier. Which, if you take a little bit of time, could it take at least two filters? And then I also need filters. There's another stage after the aircraft carrier if I make it that far. Uh, in which case I'm going to need another filter. Why am I saving the meat? That's the only meat I've got. I could drop the ACOG scope maybe. But again, what's the point of carrying the mag if I... Uh, I'm carrying the Stanag mag for the right gun. I, I kind of want the scope too, but... Right, at least we've found the way out. This has been a... Doesn't mean I won't fuck up the jump and die, but this has been incredibly well executed for how much of a maze this is. I'm very lucky. I, I normally don't even bother checking that tunnel. I just thought, well, I better check it. No idea where the lever is, and it was fucking there. That was a really lucky. Matt, there's a, there's a jump in a second. That's the last jump. Just coming up around these stairs. It's not very big. I've never messed it up before, but there's always a first time. Still here running beside you. Spoonie boy, dude. Thank you very much for the support. Uh, streamer lever. Uh, Spoonie, thank you. Shirt Tucker, thank you again. I've got way more stamina than I need. We're fine on that front. Good luck. Fingers crossed this time. <laughs> See, it was easy. No bloody bother. That was the jump. We are now out of the crypt, so for those of you that gambled on me succeeding to get out of the crypt, congratulations winners. That's three winners if you did the same uh, back to back to back. Well done, believers. Unlucky number twos. Mahaha. <laughs> Yeah, the reason I'm not eating the bit of meat I've got is my only piece of food. And food make you, you go a lot further on food if you eat it when you're hungry. So if you're almost red health, sorry, almost red hunger and you eat, those calories go further than if you eat when you're really full and you're full white apple and you eat it then. It's not a straight line curve. You, you burn energy at different rates depending on how hungry you are. Do I have the key card? I do. It's in the cooking pot. Yeah, I'm not dropping the gas the gas uh, cylinders. It might seem excessive, but we need to do the aircraft carrier, and it's quite a long way. And after the aircraft carrier, we then have to do a, another gas zone later. So, Although the, the other one, I may well get lots of them there anyway. What does the keycard unlock? Well, stick around for 15, 20 minutes, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to show you. Jokes on you, I don't gamble. I only use highlights to highlight my message. I don't mind, I said. Uh, I, I, I don't mind either way. It's all good. All the points are meaningless to me. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. 
Before we started doing the gambling, whoever had the most points meant they were the most hours watched on the stream. So it was a bit of a guide, like, if someone had, like, a million points purely from watching the stream, that's kind of crazy. But now you can gamble. There'll be somebody with a couple of million or something that have just been very good choices on the gambling. So, to get to the boat, we've got to go over that ridge line over there, and then around to the right, basically. There's usually a polar bear somewhere along the way. I must be honest, if we see a polar bear, I'll probably try to kill it. Well, I will kill it. Because we've got the stove, it's just free food. We can we can get cooked like six steaks, eat them all. Even to the point where I, uh, I, I'm, I'm like full on apple and it can't go any higher. Then I, I could also carry on drink, eating them just for hydration as well. What should I use for the next prediction? Oh my god. Sorry, sorry chat, I have to slow you down. I guess it's... Uh, will Paul make it through the heli carrier and out the other side, or however you want to word it? It's the he the, he the, the aircraft carrier. Uh, that That's the next stage, you know, but it, it's, it's not very far away. But yeah, aircraft carrier... Uh, or maybe, maybe will will Paul make it through the the aircraft carrier and off the ice sheet, which means I need to be far enough away that I'm no longer cold and don't need to wear the ghillie. Will will Paul complete the aircraft carrier and make it off the ice sheet? doesn't have to be back to the mainland the the adjoining island fairly close by has got it is is uh no ghillie suit area there's several bear spawns around here how long will it take you uh i don't know exactly but i should think uh all being well. well, we've got two hours left of the stream. If I do a 12-hour stream, I'll either be dead or I'll do it before then. I wonder if there's too many... There used to be a lot of zombies at the aircraft carrier. I'm kind of hoping there won't be any today, but... Well, basically, this is as far as I've gotten, I think. So, yesterday we got this far again. We were with that ERP guy, and we were in a boat going to the aircraft carrier. The boat is more dangerous. Request, please, in God Almighty, don't blow yourself up if you make it to the carrier. My sanity can't last after yesterday. <laughs> Village idiot, dude. Thank you for the support. They, they stronger or something? 10 SVD rounds and he wasn't dead. Holy shit. He, he ran at me and see oh, that was lucky. I, I would have still killed him, but it would have been... He didn't fancy it. He didn't fancy it, did he? He was like, fucking hell, I ain't getting nearer that SVD. That hurts. I don't know what the fuck happened there, but it was lucky. I thought I was an absolute nailed on to be able to kill that with 10 SVD shots. Now, this is going to slow us down getting to the carrier a little bit, but it absolutely negates any worries about food. First things first. Let's eat this one.
He only wanted hugs, you killed him. I only wanted his bones to, to make my bread. He was just trying to give you a coke, Paul. Was he? JMC Polar Bear. Johnny Coca-Cola called. He, you just killed the Coke Christmas Polar Bear. Good. Have you seen that? That's an orgy of meat, that. Holy shit. That's a lot of meats. Holy fucking hell. I'm not going to need to cook all of this, but maybe six, possibly eight. I wish I had pants. It would be so much easier if I had pants. You can't swim with a torch, Spike. You can't swim with a torch. Although it would be good for getting out the other side. Like... I I don't really need the fat. It dries your clothes so quickly that, in theory, I only need, like, one bandage. Make leather pants. Yeah, I, I could do, but I would need uh, lime, wouldn't I? And a leather sewing kit, neither of which I have. Why only two at a time? Because they're four slots, two by two, they just don't fit anymore. That's why. You can't fit any more in. That's the way the slots are. They take up... They're square, aren't they? There's no way to fit any more in. I don't even know how I'm going to like eat all of this. Like, it's going to take me ages, but I've got to do it. I can probably carry some in here. And then we can travel. Travel and eat, travel and eat kind of thing. Yeah, well, it's not just the full food, it's hydration as well. So I'll be very, very full food-wise very soon. But I'm, I'm also eating it to top my hydration up so that I've got got no worries at all. Like, if I, eat, if I eat this over the course of the next 20 minutes, I'm set, basically. It's it's not just covering my, my energy, it's also covering uh, hydration too. I do have a leather kit actually, I should uh, fix my boots. I'll be alright, we ain't puking, don't you worry.
takes ages, doesn't it? I have never seen someone stuff so much meat down their throats. Good on you, mate. You do use sausage, boy. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Just for the support, dude. I've got to eat two more pieces before we leave as well. I can't carry the rest. Right. How am I doing this then? I don't really want to drop the paper. I could just drop that, but I don't really want to. I'll just drop. I've got a sewing kit. Yeah, let's do that. Then I only need to eat this piece and then we can go. Can you make trousers? No. <laughs> no, I can't. Gag an armband and you get three slots. Yeah, I, d I don't want to do that. Right now, I've just got to try and work out what way I'm going. I think it's this way. I have kind of lost my way just a touch. I think it's this way. You can't wear a make a skirt, dude. They were just making it up. You can't actually make leather pants on most servers. Only some servers had the leather clothing mod in. On vanilla, you can only make a leather bag. And I'm pretty sure on this server, you can probably only make a leather bag as well. Physics. Finally, some... Uh Finally, some advice I can get behind. Cut up your shirt and make improvised pants. <laughs> right. Onwards to the boat. We've still got a bit of journeying to do. The aircraft carrier is not a gimme from here. I've got to remember the way around it. There could be people around it kind of camping it as well. This is still dicey. If there's anybody at any kind of range as well, I've got no range myself. I've got no long range whatsoever. I'm not even convinced I'm going properly the right way either. I'm not. I think I've got to go. I've got to go that way. I don't know what way I was going. I think I've got to go this way. Yeah, it's this way. Oh, I am going the right way. The sun is directly behind me. At least we're full health. See, we are full apple now, so my hydration's still going up from the meat. But we're completely full apple. No, fires don't despawn, Vorian. Fires don't despawn with the server restart. Fire, the fireplace will be there for a set amount of time. Those fires were made after the, rest, after the server restart, I'm sure of that. Oh, God. Right, this should be where the boat is, over there. Ranger, if you're new to the game, there's there's no shame in playing on low-pop servers while you learn the map and stuff. I don't. I play on... Not everyone does this, but a, probably a general rule is when you're first learning the game, you've got no hours... Play on empty or low pop servers just to get a feel for the game. And then gradually join high pop servers. And when you're experienced, play on high pop servers. Depends what, you, depends what you're looking for from the game. But if you're looking for interactions, action, like maybe teaming up or holding people up or whatever, then you might want to... Uh, you might want to uh, like play on high pop servers, obviously. 
uh, village. I think it'll be. It's kind of Wim Hof esque. I think running around with your nads out in in the uh, North Pole or whatever. I think it's probably good for you. There's probably a Channel Four documentary about it. You're going to get like uh, celebrities. I don't know, like John Fashionu and Ali uh, Fash Fashionu and Ali McCoist, and then a few others. You know, like uh, maybe like. Uh, Melinda Messenger or something, and they're all going to have to go with their with their trousers off in the ice. That that, that sounds like a Channel Four show, maybe Channel Five. Sorry, Ali McCoist, I might have thrown you under the bus there. I'm sure you're watching, obviously. Greasy balls icon. Why are there crows? Why are the crows in the air? So, as far as I remember, you have to go around to get there. You can't just go straight to it. That would be too easy. There's a way round, but you have to go all the way fucking round. You have to go round to the left. I quite like Ali McCoist actually on TalkSport. Yeah, he's okay. I don't listen very much, but if I'm driving while the breakfast show's on, he's all right. Laura, I've got my name's my name's bad. Laura Thingamajig probably won't be on TalkSport very much longer. She's getting really popular on the telly, but she's really good. Thank you for the entertainment. Yeah, Simon Jordan's good as well. Laura Wood, yeah, Laura Woods, Woods, yeah, yeah, that's she's good. Yeah, she's she she got a better job on the telly, didn't she? But she was doing the breakfast show. Like, I, I've got to be honest. I, 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 Alan Brazil's kind of all right. I've, he's been on it for so long, but I preferred Laura Woods to Al, uh, to Alan Brazil, if I'm being honest. The Trailer Park Boys have started a Twitch channel. That is cool. Andy Goldstein's a knob, I'm sorry to say. I, I don't like Andy Goldstein. He's too Man United. He is... He, he's too, he, he, he does have opinions that Man U fans have about, say, Liverpool, for example. He is too Man United. I, don't, I find him not for me. And some of the things he says are just, like, ridiculous. He's, like, blindly Man U, you know. He, his opinions are really, like, too, uh, too rose-tinted spectacles for me. Yeah, they're all right when it's him and Benty having a laugh. They're okay. But whenever they actually talk seriously about football, he's an absolute knob, I'm afraid to say. Alan Brazil actually was a sports star. Laura Woods isn't. That's right, but you you can be a presenter on a TV show, right? Like, you know, like I I think that's an opinion that a lot of the footballers have sometimes. That having an opinion about football, you definitely must be a footballer. But a lot of the former footballers, a lot of them have very uh, very player positive. Like they always back the players. They don't want to be. They don't want to say anything against the players, you know, so they can be biased in a bad way. It's good to have presenters and former sports stars, you know. It does Schrodinger's. It does. Although I think, uh, I don't think he was too bad, but some of the things I've heard Goldstein say of the year. This is actually really hard because I can't fucking see a single thing. 
Is it actually still in the gas? It doesn't even look like it's in the gas. I don't think this is the way. I think I've got to go to that island, but I'm going to go this way first. It is really bright. This is not the way. Oh, I wish we could go that way. That would be epic, but I, I knew it wasn't the right way. I was still hoping, though. What well, my thoughts on Rust Granger, I've never tried it. It's just not my style of game. I don't really like the uh, kind of play with your mates, grind grind a big base, play on the same server, and whoever plays 10 hours a day every day with the biggest group wins. I know I'm not. I know that sounds like I'm being really negative. Loads of people love the base building, base raiding kind of meta that some games have, and a lot of people love DayZ that way as well. But I don't. I, I like to. I like to just play for the one life adventure that I'm on. I think we're not even going the right way now. We've got to go back and go around over there. Fuck's sake. You don't have to swim. I've done it before. You, you don't have to swim. Unless he's changed the map, but I don't think he has. You have to get to that island and then go over the, the, the islands around the back of the boat. There is a slight issue here in that there's a chance that uh, we could have somebody coming from the new island this way. Let's just get onto the land for a second. So we need to keep going until there's a land bridge over to there and then we'll be kind of set I think. I think I am a bit Warden of the North-esque right now. I'm sure I am. Please have a gun ready. It's kind of hard to do that. I, 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 <laughs> I'm not dropping my pouch. My pouch is my one true uh, hope of uh, carrying any loot. Seems a little point going to this thing if I can't carry some loot away. The gamma's not on. It's just incredibly bright white. You ain't got no gamma, it's just dark as fuck. Spider-Man, thank you. Cheers for tuning in. Appreciate it. To be fair, the editing's been done by Ancupa, but uh, the bill paying's been done by me. And the game playing as well. I did the game play. <laughs> Will there be clothes spawning? I hope so. Yeah, so when when I'm done at the, the aircraft carrier, I've got to swim over to that island there. Which is the way we swam over before. I have a funny feeling I've been on this shy sheet when I uh, got here. I think I just heard a bear. This is what the inside of DiCaprio's nostrils looks like. Is it really? Interesting. Oh, come on. That's my bag, isn't it? I think that's my bag. Oh, you know what? It's almost like I did it on purpose. <sighs> it looks quite a long swim. It's not that long, but it, it looks a long way with when I'm going to be cold as fook. If I can take the bag with me, though, I can keep the uh, bear suit dry on the way through.
I was going to suggest, dear Albert, I've got an M24 character still alive. Well, I, I may well have a, a snow owl, hopefully. I don't know. I don't know what we what we get lucky with, really. But I, I'm, I'm going to be done in about two hours. I get the feeling I'll either be dead or I'll be logged out somewhere in the north on the mainland with whatever I get from here. With the intention of trying to get to the crater. Can you not have a bag and a bear suit? No, the bear suit works like a ghillie. So just like a ghillie suit, you can't have a backpack. Uh, cream cheese, I've done the crypt. I've got the key card, which is what you get from there. That's different, maybe. I don't know. Oh, we're just coming down. The last time I did this, this island here started to have bear... Not bears. Started to have uh, zombies on it. The snow owl is like... Uh, there's two two potentially up here. A snow owl and a JMC prototype, I think. But the uh, the snow owl is like the... It is about the same. It, it's got next to no recoil. It's a one-hit kill. It fires rounds that have like a little motor in them almost. That's not a good... It fires rounds that are called Saboy rounds. S-A... Or Saboy rounds. S-A-B-O-T. Sabot. Uh, they are beastly. They used to be really slow and the gun was actually a bit shit, but they, they made it better again. Right, okay. I know the way. You have to go out that way. You don't get wet if you go that way. We need to go over to that one there. Sabo. Yeah, Sabo rounds. Sabot rounds. Toy Boy rounds. Oh, fucking bollocking. Shitting fuck. <laughs> I've forgotten all of this, right? But I have to go around this way. Right, in it. Fuck me. Getting snow blindness. Jesus Christ, I wish Sabo, I had some sunglasses. Sabo, Sabo. You're going to make people crazy if you're not careful. Love you, bye. Bob Saget. Bob Lee Swaggart. Uh, Mark Davies, thank you for the 13 months. Uh, thank you, Lennon. Cheers for coming in, dude. Appreciate it. Right, so now we are really close to where we need to drop some of this shit off. And then I'll forget the way. It's actually harder in a way because you can't fucking see. You used to be able to see where you're going. that way I think you have to go that way over there that that helicopter's not a crashed one there'll be no pants there right what else can we drop we ain't gonna need that we're not gonna need any emergency uh We're not going to need any emergency uh, fucking vitamins, are we? Not going to need to make... Oh, I'll keep that. You never know. Oh, no. Fuck that up.
Right, there we go. I'm going to put this on now just to not risk fucking it up. Let's hope we go the right way. Decent start. It's definitely yellower now, so you can see you can feel that we're in the gas. Chlorine but no water bottle. Yeah, I didn't really mean to leave the chlorine to take the chlorine, but too late now. Trust me, if you were doing this, you'd you'd take something that you didn't need as well. Everybody would, trust me. No one's fucking perfect, except for when they're in the chat. <laughs> think you go around. I don't think you go near there. I think you have to go around, don't you? I don't think you go near. I can't remember if you go near it and the, or you go around it, but anyway, we're going this way. So one of the reasons, well, like, it's very nice to do this if you've got a couple of EpiPens. Is it this way or do I have to go further? It's not this way. Oh, it's not. I have to go that way and then around. I, th I did think that. I thought I had to go near the boat. It's there, look. I've wasted a little bit of time there, but never mind. Yeah, I've got to go along that, that little ridge there. The gawky bars on me, except you fall, they aren't gluten free. Uh, Rumbo, thank you very much for the support. Don't, please don't get wet. Please don't get properly wet, I will cry. I've got four filters. I think I've got plenty of filters. But you do need quite a lot for this, you know. People were saying earlier, you should drop a filter, you should drop a filter. They didn't know where I was having to go. <laughs> I did. You don't want to be fucking running out of filters doing this. That much I know. I know there's definitely a ramp on the far side. It was just how you get to the far side. I couldn't remember that bit. I remember what I'm doing when I get over here. God, this is quite tense. So this is definitely the furthest I've gotten since we've been playing Deer Isle again the last two or three weeks. This is the best I've done. Uh, in a kind of weird way, it's cool that it's a lone wolf run to actually do it on my own, you know. like a pea. Huge old one. Right, this, this filter's nearly out. Right, save up some stamina. I think I've got to jump in a minute. Not very far, but... I don't have to jump. Yeah, that's true. My pants aren't getting wet, are they? You know, I'm planning ahead there. Just don't wear pants. Problem solved. Right, I'm going to check the yellow filter. What's that there? Let's haul all the bullets we don't need. I'm going to check the yellow tent. Might have found charcoal tubs or something. Never know. 
no one's come here to actually watch me go in the key, the, the good room, have they? they? They just want to see me try and loot a... Uh, <laughs> try and loot a filter Started when I've got four. Of you, and now out Deer Isle for first oh, there was blue pants. Oh, let's go back. Thanks for all the awesome content. And I knew there was a reason why I why I streamed. It was to people to remind me that I needed pants. Yeah, let's just check here. I saw something on one of these. I don't need SKS bullets. Let's grab them. Must keep an eye on the filter. Must keep an eye on the filter. Must keep a gun in my hands. I hope the door's not open. That would suck. These are real grenades. Oh wow, red key card and red key. Real grenades they are. So that's one of the things we came here for. That's very good. What else do we have? We have an AK-101. We have an M4 that's not ready. Uh, Snow Owl magazine. JMC prototype. JMC prototype. That'll, that'll have the Sab Sabbat rounds in, the Russ Abbott rounds. SVD 75 round drum mag. 60 round mag. Holy shit, there's some good loot in here. That's the snow owl, okay. That's a big boy scope, holy shit. Right, the Sabbath. This is the one I really wanted, the snow owl. Don't blow myself up. So you're saying I should shoot? M4. Can I... Why has it got no bits? That sucks. I've got two 60 round mags for the M4. Oh, there's a... There's an AK-101 there. That's no good. How long does the door stay open for? I can't get shut in here, can I? I think it stays open until the next restart. I don't want the AKM. I know there's a drum mag. Maybe I should take it, because well, no, it wasn't an AKM. It's an AK-101. That's the AKM, but it's got no handguards. Mind you, I can use mine. Okay, yeah, I'm sold. Where's the drum mag gone? There it is. Take a nice test shot. Fuck off. I ain't falling for... I ain't making the same mistake twice. I ain't about that today. No. Snafu AK mount, we don't need that shit. AK-1, well that would have had the handguards as well, look. What, anything else that I need to grab? I don't want a foul, I've got the snow out. Are there any more rounds? Are there any more Sabo rounds? Anyway. Have I missed any? I need those AK rounds. I knew there was a reason why I was picking up the AK rounds. 
There's a box, where? Yeah, I got the mag already though, didn't I? I've got the mag. Why not take the green balls? I'd just rather have grenades. I'm kind of disappointed there's no... Uh, kind of disappointed there's no... Uh, light plate carrier. Take a mag there for the snow owl. Where? I know there's a liar, I don't need that. I don't see a second round ma second mag for the snow owl anywhere. I don't really know why I'm taking the tack back to me. Yeah, that's it, we're done, let's go. TRMZ love. There's nothing in the first box. We're done. What's the red card for? There's a place down south where you can use the red card. We're going to try and do that next. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe not today. I don't know. Right, that's enough of that. Let's go. We got the red card and the red key. We'll we'll try and get that in here in a minute. could have gone the other way to We're going to Disney World. <laughs> uh, quite stressful when you're running out of gas. I'm so pleased we've got the snow owl. That is cool. <laughs> and we have got quite a, quite a few rounds for for it as well. That's that's quite a lot of rounds, I'd say. Right, we'll fuck around that in a while. I wasn't expecting to be coming back with an AKM. That wouldn't have been my first choice, but. It's pretty hard to turn down the uh, the AKM when you've got a 75 round mag and a suppressor and the M4 wasn't complete, no suppressor. It would have been two 60 rounders but still not complete. I was on semi-auto, I did change it all by my lonesome. Dell, I like to get maximum use out of the filter, you know. They actually pick up the JMC. No, I, I only want the Snow Owl. I didn't take the JMC. I want the Snow Owl. I, 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 it's not. It's like a VSS version. I'm happy. I want the Snow Owl. I, I really want to get some kills with that. I don't want the JMC one. I've, I want to use the the proper sniper rifle. They're both built-in suppressors. But the the other one's a bit more like a VSS equivalent to this. This is like the uh, this is like the the Uber sniper version. Apparently, it's got next to no no bullet drop. Next to no bullet drop, which is quite appealing for me. Now well, that looks almost like I'm going to get wet. Uh, go back with my backpack and I can carry both. I don't want both. I, I just want the snow owl.
Hey Lucas, how you doing? Oh my god. Let's hope there's nobody on the other side when we get there. Yeah, when you've got a gas mask on, your stamina takes a lot longer to come back, which kind of makes sense because your breathing's kind of impaired. I think we're outside of the gas, but just to be safe, I'm going to go a bit further because you know how... I, if I get that gas bug now, I will fucking cry. In fact, I'm going to play it uber, uber, uber safe. I've died to that bug in the past. I ain't dying to it now. So I'm going to keep the gas mask on and log out. I'm coming back. I'm just going to log out and log back in. Because that way I'm definitely going to get the... Uh, I'm not going to get that bug. Sometimes when you come out of the gas zone, you can, you can get bugged and then you just cough and then you get the germ symbol and you're just dead. You're right, if you have the bug, you still hear the sound of the gas, but I, my ears are kind of shot to pieces at the moment. Sometimes it's safer, but you're right, that is true. Hucker, thank you for the gifted sub. Ranger bot, Swash, thank you very much. Model boy, Model O boy, thank you as well. Next thing that we've got to try and do, I don't think we'll have the time to do it today, but ne next uh, next mission is to try and do the red key card, which is uh, back at Beringer Island. So I set off to come here from Beringer Island. First time we've done this, which is fucking cool. Well, first time I've done the aircraft carrier on the new patch. I've done it before, but not for a long time. Oh my god, finally. Actually, we need to make space for the bear gilly in here. That's more than enough room for the bear gilly in there. Let's see the snow owl. There you go. I'm not going to hold it in my hand yet, because I want to get away. It's one sexy mother trucker. It's not slow anymore, Makarot. They fixed that ages ago. Apparently. So, it used to be slow. It used to be about the same speed as a UMP. It's not anymore. In fact, I I, uh, I can't remember the name of the guy. I should remember it, but the, the name of the modder that created the Snow Owl... Uh, I was chatting with him and he created it for with in conjunction with John McLean. Uh, was talking to John McLean. I was talking to him on Twitter, and they, he went off and they they kind of changed it as a result. So hopefully it, it was changed a while ago. It won't have been my decision. John McLean makes the decisions, right? I didn't, but I did feed it back, and I think it's it probably helped get it changed, I suppose. But they wanted to make it a slow traveling round so that it was subsonic. So that it was really, really uber quiet. But the problem with being slow travelling and subsonic is that you need to be clairvoyant to hit anything. You know, it's so slow you can't... If you've got a really OP sniper rifle, what makes it OP is that you'd shoot an enemy and they die. You know, <laughs> like, So it needs to be a quick travelling round, otherwise it's no good. Where is the prediction? I've not done it yet, Huxka. The prediction, if, if it was worded how I think it was, was to get through the aircraft carrier and then back off the ice sheet, which we've not yet done. I didn't see the wording. But completing the ice sheet means getting off it. So I need to get onto that island there to the, to the point where I'm not blue flashing. Uh, then, then I've completed the ice sheet. 
Though we haven't actually done it yet, is what I'm trying to say. So those of you that have bet on me not doing it, your only hope is that some fucker kills me when I get on the other side before I get through to the bit that's no longer needing the... So when you get on the land on the other side, you still need to wear the suit as well. I have to get about maybe 200 metres into the land. Oh, fuck. I had not fathomed that very well, had I? I don't need that. I really hadn't thought about that at all. Oh, shitting fuck. Excuse my French. I never swear normally. I'm such a such a light swearer. I've I've got more pissing about to do. Chronic, I just know where they're likely to be. If you're on Beringer, you see them all the time. Or maybe it might be called uh, Sheep Island. Maybe. Uh, have I been in the team that requires Molnir? Yeah, that's how I got the bits I needed to do that boat. I was just at the aircraft carrier. Oh yeah, we've done that bit. We're past that now. Is the scope nice? I think it zooms in a shitload, but I don't know. <sighs> Let's try and make a bit more space. And thought about what? Well, I want to put my bare ghillie in, into the bag so it doesn't get wet when I swim over. But I can't do that because it's all full of loot. Fuck did I do that? Go there. Well I still need the filters, yeah, for the last bit with the red thing, yeah. Yeah, the canteen can go on the backpack. That will probably save enough space. It's time to start. Don't need any. I might take that. I might use that. Right, let's go. I think I'm going to be at least yellow health by the time I get over there. Uh, EpiPen won't make a lot of difference because I'm swimming. It, it really won't make a lot of difference. It. It would almost be better to use the EpiPen when I get on the other side and just make the land distant, cover the land better. Like the difference between front crawl and breaststroke is not that huge. Why not get the buff? Uh, it probably would help, but. It's, it's a fair shout. We're not on the mouse. It really would have helped, but we'll do it. We'll fight. We'll be fine. How does the bag stay in your hands? Magic. Cosmalgia. What, what's false? I think it would be more likely killer whales in this cold water, wouldn't it? No good for sharks either. Why not put it on my back? I should have done, actually. I, I should have done, because I've got the uh, I've got the bear suit. I could have done. It was just like me being stupid. Doc, I did see it, but it was really fun. It was like I saw it in the morning about 4am, and then I went back to sleep, and I forgot about it till now. I, I'm not sure is the honest answer. I, 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 yeah, I, I, I need, I, we might as well talk in front of the chat actually, but one of the emotes that Doc's mating for me, there's seven in total, I think we've had four by now, maybe, yeah, I think there's four, I can't remember, maybe five, four, uh, but one of them is like a, uh, like, like, 
it's meant to be for like when someone says what server and it it's meant to just be like don't ask or something like that you know for like like people that ask the same questions you know it's but at the moment it's just literally the words don't ask and i can't think of anything else like i didn't give doc much of a brief for that it was more like a like a moody looking guy like a zombie with a is like going shh but i don't think it would really work very well we've already got zombie emotes with their like doing the same kind of thing Exactly, we've got the shh emote already, you see, so it's... Uh, yeah. I should have made... I should have got the plus symbol before we left. That is another option. The other option could be... Uh, that's actually a good shout. What server are you on? And then the answer could be Russia 11. So the emote could just say Russia 11. I don't know if that works better, maybe. I fucked up a bit here. I really should have got the... Do you know why I didn't? It's because I played so much Namask, I was thinking I'd lose the plus symbol and it wouldn't be worth it, but when on Namask, the plus symbol would have worked. Really, did you... I might consider replacing the, the balloon will never get replaced because Hotfix will moan. But uh, I, I don't need to replace any yet because I've still got gaps, you know. There's space for more emotes yet. Yeah, maybe Russia 11 might work as an option. Maybe I... Like, when somebody says, what server, like, that, that's been, I think it was Spaggy and those lot, that uh, the DVS lot that kind of started it, but I'm, we've used it forever and a day, haven't we, you know, so maybe Russia 11 works as a, uh, like, what server, Russia 11, that might work. And the other the thing is, anything else is kind of similar to the finger over lips thing, isn't it? Put the bag on, oh, I don't care. Oh, my luck. I'll fuck this up and drop it. How good you would you guys say? De DRL's amazing, dude. It's one of the very best modded maps, without a doubt. I don't even know where the EpiPen is. Face palm zombie. What, what are the other zombie ones we've got now? That's the thing. I've, there's so many now. I've forgotten what they are. A face palm zombie might work. So basically, I've completed the ice sheet in my mind when I get just far enough onto this island that I'm not cold anymore. So as soon as I start going red hot and I don't need the bear ghillie anymore, it's done. When my temperature starts going up, which will be probably by that tree. I think that might be it. I don't know. That's not it. We're still too cold. The temperature is going up though. Oh, there's a lot of zombies out here. Oh, 
fuck, I'm going to use all of my fucking bullets. Oh my god. Oh, no way. Oh, fuck off. How quickly did that get ruined? That's marvellous. Now we're in fucking trouble because we're going to aggro more Zeds. I know I missed a couple. I, I wish I hadn't missed that last shot on that zombie. That's annoying. Then the, the suppressor wouldn't have got ruined. See, that's a lot quicker now than it used to be. That I know that's a close range zombie, but that's quick. Oh well, no suppressor. I was a tiny bit worried that I was going to die then. Just a tiny bit. I don't even know why I'm looking for food. Right, now it feels like we've done it. We don't go blue... Oh, we still went blue flashing. Fuck me. I can't believe that. I thought we'd definitely have done it. That was so many more zombies than I was expecting. The snail mag's loaded, yeah, it's got 10 out of 10 bullets in it. It's weird, I'm sure I didn't have to put the thing on this earlier. There we go, look, now we've done it. Now we've gone red. Zombies nearly did for me. Oh my god. I, I know there's another level to this, and there's a key card to the south, right? I know there's another level that I've not done yet. But this bit's kind of almost enough for me. Like, this is the. Like, the. the the key card and the bit to the south is an addition on this server. The Deer Isle quest is what we've done. The Deer Isle quest as done by John McLean is done already. So even if I die now, I feel quite kind of content. I obviously want to finish it off. It, if I died now, I'd have to do it again to try and do the key card thing. So naturally, I would like to do it. But. The AK is on semi on purpose for, from killing the zombies just down, dude. Yeah, I haven't switched it back yet, but we'll get there. Coob, dude, thank you for the bits. Really appreciate it. Oh, my God. It's hard to hear after all that white noise on the screen. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> uh, cheers for the support, Regan. Thank you for the bits. Put on my noggin, which is perfect, I suppose. All right, I don't need to eat this, but I'm going to eat it. No, I'm going to eat the meat. I just want a bit of space in my inventory. I'm going to eat... Eat some of this for hydration only. Burnside is looking... Look how undergeared I look for somebody with a snow owl and AKM drum mag. Just I can take it easy. Yeah, I like the idea of shooting somebody with the snow owl. That would be good. Right, no more zombies. Oh, 
Oh, my dude's properly injured. You go to the upside down, Regan, if you do that. And have to deal with the Demogorgons and the uh, whatever... Uh, what's the bad guy called in the last, the last one? I can't remember what the bad guy is called. Mind Slayer or Flayer or some shit. Vecna, that's it. Dave. <laughs> Say what you like about Vecna, but he definitely makes you better at Twister. Uh, cheers again, Coop. Thank you. Love it when you're opening the inventory before the zombie's dead. Ah. Right. Let, let's hold the beast. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. Look at it. Let's just eject these bullets as well. This is when the dude I robbed at the start holds me up. Oh my god. I've got some space there. I'd like to put some of these fuckers away. That's most of them away. That's that's a start, I think. I don't know if boats can spawn along here or not, but I saw a boat on the coastline on the left side here, so I might as well follow the left side and just see if we get lucky and see a boat. Why leave the mag? Because it doesn't fit the gun that I have, that's why. I only need the bullets for my snow owl. It wasn't a snow owl mag. I only grabbed that mag because I wanted the ten bullets out of it when I got the chance to take them out. How magnified is the scope? It is. 4, 8, 12 by the look of it. Quite, quite far enough. Oh no way! Uh, that's your fault, magnified scope, dude. It's your fault and nobody else's. <laughs> uh, no. What the fuck? I don't, I don't, there's no evidence it was a stream sniper. I just fired my AK and made a loud noise, so there's every reason for him to come and wait for me, you know. Man, that sucks. We've been on that for uh, nine hours. Nine hours to get killed immediately after doing the fucking thing. I hope that, I, I don't think it would have been a stream sniper. I think it would have been somebody coming and just, I, I doubt it was. We've done the thing, but there's another thing to do. You know, that's frustrating. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, my God. How far does it zoom? What a fucking waste of... Oh, fuck, that sucks. He was probably thinking, what the hell is that guy doing? Fuck me. Excuse the French. This might go to YouTube unedited. It might do, possibly. Wow. It's been a hell of a run. Not much kills. Life. But GG if you're still watching now after crazy. nine hours, uh, thank you very much. If, I, if this does go to YouTube, thank you very much, YouTube. Uh, cheers for tuning in. Really appreciate it. I'm definitely not salty. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Don't forget to uh, tune in next time for more salty, salty deaths. Thank you very much, YouTube. Love